Oh my god, I'm falling. falling. You're like a little picture on a screen. Uh oh. Oh, I guess I'm fine. So dramatic, Metal. I just need to <laughs> need to get get the crowd going, you know. Yeah, they're all you like excited now. They're like, ooh, someone's falling. <laughs> no, <laughs> and it's metal. Fuck yeah. Then you know it wouldn't be any fun though if you just died. They wanted to get back up and then fall again. Yeah, yeah. If you continue laughing. If you die, you can't suffer anymore. You can be Efap's very own Sisyphus. German <laughs> Sis. The worst kind of sis. Oh, maybe, uh, maybe. I don't, I don't know. Very cool. Who would you rather be, Sisyphus or Prometheus? I don't want that beat up movie. I heard it's bad. I didn't say it'd be a movie. <laughs> I think I think it's Sisyphus, right? You'd rather push a boulder than have your guts eaten out every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's. Mm -hmm. It would suck either Single way. Female lawyer. Maybe the yeah, one I... pushing the boulder eventually would be like, you know, I could go for get my guts ripped out today. That, I mean, maybe. I want to start workout more again, so maybe I'll do some Sisyphus stuff. Oh, well, that, yeah, see, that's actually a benefit. There's no benefit to getting your guts pulled out every day. Really. No, you don't, you, just... you, your guts don't get stronger, you know? Yeah, you just, you, you don't have to walk anywhere, I guess. It's like, oh, I'm just chilling here. I mean, hurts That'll get bit, annoying but... eventually. You'd rather be able to walk than not be able to walk at all, right? Yeah. You can lie on a bed, I guess. But even with that, Prometheus wasn't lying on a bed. He was, like, tied up. Yeah. So could, could call it a draw, I guess. When are they going to put Prometheus and Sisyphus into the MCU? They should. I can to answer that question, Mel. Uh, the 2025. Oh, sweet. Was that on the uh, one of those phase board things? No, they, they told me specifically. Because, like, hey, this is some sort of cool guy, that metal guy. Like, hey, we're going to do Sisyphus in 2025. It's like, I don't care, but thank you. Hmm. Um, well, uh, oh, look, chat's here. Everyone say hi. <laughs> Wait, chat was invited? They sneaked in. I, I couldn't oh, stop them. Chat, chat, I, I didn't, knew. I didn't, I didn't recall giving permission for your presence. I'm sorry. You're going to have no. to go. <clears throat> well. I was not part of the contract. Um, some people are saying, where be doggo? All right, I'm going to explain mm. this this time, and then I'm going to explain it every, probably hour, because new people... <laughs> So Rags is on a holiday of sorts, I believe, so he is unavailable. However, I'm sure he'll be back because next week there's like a there's a thing happening. Are you guys aware of that? It's like some kind of celebration on on my end. I don't know. Um, should I say no, our I'm end? About it. Like this whole thing. You know, so, maybe once or twice. <clears throat> oh, and that's not even including the potential for. A, I I said on Twitter I'm expecting to release the video in a week's time as of yesterday. Oh, jeez, I got six days to fucking finish that shit. <laughs> uh, that's, that's all on you. That's oh, all on geez. you. Oh, um, I've done my part, Mubes. It's all <clears throat> on you. Oh, well, that's the same for all of you guys, and I'm very thankful for it. It is kind of funny. It's like everyone's given in their pieces of the Voltron, and I'm the guy who's got to, like, I don't know, put put the little plug in the power socket and flip the switch. And I'm like, oh, jeez, I'm slipping over the floor, and there's several plugs. Some of them don't work. I'm just like, ah. Oh, but I haven't done shit. The manual. Mm -hmm. um, though I should, uh, I should first and foremost introduce our guest Aruni. We have managed to talk once before, but um, the, the, to help chat's confusion as well as possibly metal and memes, I believe this was the crew we had when checking out a certain video on Spider-Man No Way Home. Except Rags was here, but he's, he's not going to be here this time, unfortunately. Um, the, uh, the video was about how No Way Home's not very good. Which, like I said, we, we agree with. Um, we just had different reasons. Well, it's, it, we consider it a mixed bag, right? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> and, uh, and the video posited, among several things, that uh, it's kind of like Spider-Man has learned the r reverse of the, the expectation of the sort of rule. And um, we had backs and forths with the video about it. This is the creator of said video. And now, I don't want to get this wrong, so I'm going to ask. I think I asked you first time when I met you, but is it Nutsa or Nutsa? Well, um, it doesn't really matter. It's, I would say Nutsa, but it's weird to pronounce, so, yeah. I'll get you used to it. You can call me, yeah, I mean, Nutsa, have, or I Nutsa, I don't know. There are a <laughs> so lot of Nutsa. jokes people <laughs> make, uh, which uh, is really hard to avoid, but... Uh -huh. We'll not make any of those, we're civilized, we don't do that sort of thing, right, Metal? 
<laughs> Shut up. He's my go-to for civilized people. Yeah, I don't know why. He's crying to show that he, f he means you no harm. Yeah. I think that's what it means in his culture. Anyway, <laughs> um, nice to meet it's you. Exactly a medical condition. Thank you. Know, like you. I said, I think I, I did meet you before. We had a little chat with, uh, with yeah. the Fringo was in the call. But um, may as well catch everybody up, I guess. It's like, well, it, it's, you know, the first thing I like to talk about when I have somebody on who we've covered is just like, well, how, well, what's, what's up? Anything going through your head? What do you think of, uh, of our, our coverage, I guess? Well, first of all, uh, I was, n that was so unexpected because I got like sudden comments in, on, on that particular video, which I, you know, I try to avoid comments. But yeah, that yeah. particular day, I decided to check it out, and everybody was talking about it. And I was like, what is going on? <laughs> and I checked it. And, oh, I saw the video. And my first instinct was to basically go for a wine. <laughs> and I got, I got drunk. Uh, <laughs> and that's how I watched the video. Ah. It was really fun. So, I mean, you know, it's not, f it's never fun to, like, hear people criticize you but i mean i didn't really take it like too personally it was i actually like mm, liked it pretty much oh well that's a really was... good result of all the results that yeah. could be um <laughs> yeah yeah um yeah i was actually like quite kind of like shocked by how scared people were like in the comments how people were like impressed that uh you you guys didn't drug me through the mud throughout all of it um. uh, and they were expecting me to be like oh my god like riot and everything which definitely was not my first in instinct not before checking the video and even after this is sort of a stab in the dark here but i think uh Fring, you might be able to think about it as well but like of all the people we have covered of those who have seen that we've covered them and said something in response i think we get more positive than negative right um, um, it seems that way. We have yeah. plenty of negative, of course. <laughs> it does pop up here <laughs> and there. Um, but like, it was uh, two EFAPs ago, I think, that we had um, the guy we were covering come on during the coverage. Um, and he was, he was right. really chill. We just cool. talked to him about stuff as well. Oh, That's yeah, yeah. Pretty original. Oh, uh, funnily enough, we've had that throughout. Uh, I don't even know who the first person to do that was, but I feel like that was back in year one. Uh, the original. I feel like it goes to Jay, right? Jay's got the, the crown on the whole mm -hmm. coverage and then having a chat. But during coverage, yeah, that's not that's not that often. But we have... Everyone's saying it was Jay. That wasn't... Jay didn't come on during coverage. Guys, you're all... two streams later. All your memories... Are See, memes has got a way better memory. And he has to, because he makes memes. And you can't have yeah. effective memes without effective memory. Yeah, See, Thunder's... Jay came on after. Gosh. I think everybody <laughs> who just... Uh, just said that the, the reverse should be banned for misinformation. Got to have a clean stream, you know. But yeah, uh, well, it's good to hear that. Um, <laughs> do you have a preference of wine? Out of curiosity, I tend to have spirits. I don't like wine. Hey, um, I don't either. Oh, is it like you grab I mean, a box wine and just go for it, whatever it is? Uh, we we have that lying around in our house everywhere. It oh, seems sweet. Like. <laughs> Got a couple of casks, that's what they're called, right? The big barrels. I know that from League of Legends. I didn't know what cask <laughs> was before that. Any of you guys know what cask is? Is that a familiar word for you guys? No. I, 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 think, I think I know. I think I know it, yeah. Well, there you go. Education. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. uh, where, where should we... I, I guess uh, one of the things I told you and I stand by is that you could tell even from our coverage that we, were, we liked your editing. Um which rarely comes up. Mm -hmm. A lot of the time we cover people, they have the exact same editing yeah. style because they're all from like the same school of video essayists where they put the word yeah. on the screen Interesting. And speak the same. Interesting thing. Yeah, uh, I've noticed that too. Actually, the first time I like started, when I decided to make a video essay, my thought process was like, okay, there's just like tons of people out there. Like, I need to, first of all, I, I need to stand out somehow. And I worked as an editor like, from a very young age, for some reason, I don't know. I was not really good at it, but I got better at it. And I was like, okay, I need to stand out. And secondly, I need something that, like, if people really hate what I say, and if they hate my opinions, 
and like hate what I whatever I have to say in the video itself, they cannot like fully say that it's complete trash. They have to admit like, there was effort put in there at the yeah. very least. <laughs> yeah. I mean, um I personally um looking back, I'm not really like that big of a fan of like all the shaky shaky stuff I did in that particular video. Uh but yeah, I mean when I was making video essays it was like I will put so much effort into the video uh, like my presentation that um people won't be able to like write me off as trash right away like they will be like okay well made video opinions sucked but you know they will won't be able to completely trash me yeah well i think that it's a uh, that was a very correct conclusion to come to <laughs> because i think that a lot of the time like visuals can help tremendously in uh because I, I I would imagine for whatever reason that putting text on screen like works. Yeah. I don't know why it appeals to something. It seems, yeah. to, it seems to work. So yeah, visual seems to matter. I wonder about lot, that theory though, because there's a graveyard of channels that do that, and it goes nowhere. You know, that's mm. true. Yeah. So what is it that makes somebody? Is it just getting the one that hitches a ride on the algorithm, <laughs> or? Is it that they, they didn't put the right word in the sentence on screen? <laughs> it was a different one. <laughs> well, because there is probably a rule set to choosing the correct word to put on screen. You know, you don't want to like, put in the second word of the sentence. you got to put in the third word of the sentence. If I'm being generous, like the usual, the, I would have thought the idea is say your video is about identity and it relates to some film you're reviewing. And like, it's a casual word in the middle of a sentence, you had to explain the summary of the plot or something, you, you put it on screen as a sort of way of saying like, this is going to be relevant for many of the things we're going to be talking about, that particular word. Like, there's something to that, but it just became this thing as we covered it, where they were just putting random words in the middle of the screen, it's just like, why no, are you doing I'm, this? I'm not, it's like I'm an incomplete sure transcript. Uh, oh, I'm not I sure remember... when you uh, go for it. Oh, you, no, say whatever, yeah, I'll continue. No, no, yeah, go for it. Well, uh, I remembered about, like, No Way Home. I think uh, after, like, first video, I started really concentrating when it comes to editing about, like, making um, whatever the concept was of the video, whatever for the theme was. Um, I was trying to make it, like, pers like stylized, like the editing and the graphics would be stylized to that concept. Like in No Way Home video, for example, uh, the transitions, like the title screens and the beginning, were like stylized around uh, the ending of Homecoming, like the ending sequence yeah. when the director's name comes up. And I actually used those sequences and I added them as layers. Like I sort of, yeah, I did that. So I think those types of like small thought processes just really help it help. Most people don't notice it, but I think it helps with algorithms for some reason. I don't know. Well, I mean, it makes for a much like more entertaining that. video, right? Because uh, it, it's funny how a style can evolve to the point of becoming boring when, when it was first seen, it was really interesting. That's what I feel like the standard video essay uh, approach is, while yours felt like it was your own thing, as opposed to one we'd seen before. Yeah, and I was really scared about that when I was starting out. I was like, how do I not, like, blend in? I mean, of course, like, you blend in, of course, your video essays, like, there are thousands of them, and there are much better editors, and stuff but still like i was scared about that i was glad that it turned out and people praised me for my editing because it's, it was like the biggest praise because i actually pay attention to that type of stuff um i, I think um when you're not just looping trailer footage like you're already just yeah like uh, such a cut above the rest because wow. yeah. I, I just tune out whenever i can tell that <laughs> it's just like yep yeah, this is the same thing being looped over and over again it's like my yeah. brain turns a little bit to much mush with those visuals a lot of the time because it might as well just be like audio podcast sort of yeah or they situation. find ways around making the visual like they'll they'll try and make it seem because one of the things we, we we noticed early on in efab was like sometimes people take so little care with their visuals um there'll be a point they make and they're yes. using a visual that either like they'll mention hulk or something and then they'll just be iron man shooting someone it's like oh they didn't <laughs> care about that at all did they yeah. Worse than that, it'll actively contradict what they're saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yep. yes, yes. That happened That's before. Like... That's the worst guy. We had a recent example of that on a video me and Frenny were testing out for future EFAB. So enjoy that yeah. when that comes around. Um, yeah. It was, it was a really great moment. Actually, I, I baited it a little bit with, um, I was talking about it on Real BBC, but it's just someone's talking about how there's nothing to 
uh, Cap except him being strong in, in Avengers. Meanwhile, the, the visual is him saving a whole bunch of civilians from uh, <laughs> being killed. <laughs> it's just like, I don't, uh, I don't see... <laughs> like... Oh. Well, that, that's a very unfortunate opinion. <laughs> first of all, yes. And, like, when I'm... When I'm actually writing scripts, a lot of the time, sometimes happens that I realize while I'm editing or like recording my voice that I, oh my god, I forgot to like mention something that was like very integral to this video working out. So I just, you realize that with um, sort of a videos, you can just add that information without actually speaking it. Speaking it. It's like really important to pay attention to those type of stuff, and I always do. I always try to. Yeah, yeah. Th there's Absolutely. so much that can go into it. Uh, so much to appreciate about a, a process. Unfortunately, like whenever there's a trend or a particularly popular, I still blame. I think it's. I want to say Nerd Soup or someone. <laughs> someone started this with uh, the video essay obsession on on YouTube and made it go stagnant really quick. Um. The point where some of them, the whole point of Gedelb was like, a, it's like a reference to how a lot of videos have become Gedelb without as being as obvious, where the, they chew up an idea and then they spit out some stuff with the, the format in mind and they don't even know what their point is. I think that's kind of what happened with the guy uh, that we covered, after, the second video we covered, you know, the one that said um, the reason phase four is considered bad is because they're doing stories that are individual to the heroes rather than big ensemble ones. Like, did you? That was know? absolutely the case of a thought that like emerged, yeah. but wasn't interrogated. Like, you had the thought, and then you just went straight into justifying that position, and you never threw the arguments against that <laughs> position at it. Yeah, what would it? The enough. way it, that, that's a bit of advice, I suppose. It's like uh, you need to have positions that are falsifiable. So, what would it take to of falsify course. the position that Phase Four was only bad because it focused on individual stories? Like, well, one of the you components. Should know should be that they shouldn't be world-ending events, right? That's got to be one of the things that gets in the way of solo, small-stake stories. We had world-ending events constantly in Phase 4. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You should know what the counter-arguments are to whatever point yeah. you're making. Um, so that you can, not only to, like, bake them into your uh, into your points anyway, but just, you might be wrong. Like, <laughs> it's good to figure that <laughs> out before you make the video. And yeah, there's those other theories, right? There was no story that binds a lot of the stories together. And it's like, okay, but the binding of the previous phases wasn't exactly extensive. It was it was no, relatively wasn't. thin. But like, you know, it just doesn't sound like that's the <clears throat> that's the answer either. But I don't know if you guys have noticed it. It's been popping up in my recommended. There's loads of videos now popping up saying like this is the true problem with phase four. This is the actual pro why phase oh, yeah. four is but and it's just like it's just badly written, most of it. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah. The grim reality so lacks internal videos. consistency. Yeah, there are now. It's become a very popular thing to shit on Marvel, which I'm not against at the moment. Um, well, it's, it's it's bizarre it's as um as chat will be able to understand as well. Like our adventure, shitting on all these projects as they come out for the most part, watching all these other people celebrate them, and then these same people are like Phase Four's been bad, hasn't it? Yeah. It's like, wait, what? No, yeah. you yeah. guys loved yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> so you loved I it. Hey, that was to say otherwise. <laughs> I remember all of the things you said about Moon Knight and Multiverse. Yeah, I haven't forgotten. All right, <laughs> we never forget. Yeah, yeah. Well, even Shang Chi. I remember when that came out. Everyone was like, Shang Chi's great. Yeah. yeah. But, and I stand no. by this, nobody can tell me what happened in that movie anymore. It's been completely forgotten. Nobody can tell you anything that happens in, like, any of the films. I would be surprised if people could even tell you what the plot of Moon Knight was. Like, what it was about. Dude, that's actually one I would kind of struggle. I can picture the beginning, and then there's a gap, and then he's in Egypt, uh, and then there's and the then mental hospital. Yeah. <laughs> I remember the kaiju. <laughs> I had a funny experience with like Multiverse of Madness. Like the moment I went out of the theater, I was like, "Wait, what did I just watch?" What? I I had no idea what what was that. Yeah. And everybody wanted to talk about the plot. I was like, maybe I just blacked out. I feel like happened. nobody wanted to talk about the plot with that film. Everybody wanted to talk about the, the visuals. Film. Ooh. Yeah. No. Um, One of my I, friends. I, I, yeah, the only it. thing she talked about was like. Oh, she had lesbian mothers, and I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah I suppose. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only, yeah, okay. I was too distracted by the bee to think about like, any of that. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, oh, it's and then the memory the store. Video. You know the that's... fact that her parents are dead because they caused an incursion in whatever universe they ended up in. <laughs> There's no fucking way Michael thought about that. There's no way. Even though that's no. that was his job. And that's not even he, you know he, the he the, made so many rules that just yeah, are like so restrictive. <laughs> I don't know why. He of did all it, the characters but... who could cause incursions, right? Even the ones in No Way Home, you can at least argue all of these they examples haven't long. been here very long yet. But the parents, yeah. they're so dead. They've been they've gone been for what, like a decade? For... Yeah, they're dead. Yeah. <laughs> and they've killed trillions no, of people with them because incursions, and I'm sure that. When the multiverse saga ends, we will never see any other universes again. I'm sure that they will close the door I'm on that. I'm not even sure <laughs> we'll see an incursion again. Uh, we will see her uh, parents we'll see more than likely. We'll see I reckon. We'll definitely see incursions. They've, they, we, we didn't see one yet, right? So that well, would definitely want to show It depends one. on what you mean by that. Um, Michael Waldron's incursions versus what we saw in No Way Home. Because I don't even know if No Way Home had incursions or if it was just... I don't know. ...stuff. <laughs> It was, no it, was, it was tearing, which is very different from incursions, you have to understand. Mm. Well, they, they might pull like a book of Ashanti and just like have it be like, oh, There's here's a couple of incursions, of and now incursions can't occur anymore because we, we realize they we don't can't want work them to around occur them. Anymore. They, they won't <laughs> want them to occur anymore because, again, the rules are restrictive. Why would you have it that only... Why would you not have it that, like, Doctor Strange and other sorcerers can pretty freely move between different universes? Why would you put that limitation? Why would you bind it to only one character? Why would you then make it that if any character is in another universe for some arbitrary amount of time, it destroys that universe? Do you not think it could be cool to have characters in another universe for an extended period? Yeah. Like, why would you make these rules? Why would you make the rules so restrictive? Um... And not only make them restrictive, but then contradict those things within the same film. And the sadness that comes with it, that he's probably not got the passion level that he'll be writing his little Star Wars script, and then someone who's writing the next MCU thing will be like, oh, by the way, Michael, what uh, what causes an incursion again? He'd be like, uh, when when you travel through universes uh, in general, I guess. No. I, I uh, guess. <laughs> like, I guess. Yeah, good. He's like, can't you just watch the movie? It's in there. And you'd be like, oh, okay. I did watch the movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's the problem, confused. Mike. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> and then I watched Loki and I have more questions than answers. Uh, of course, yeah. No, but remember, there's a difference between universes, dimensions, and timelines. They're not the same thing, even though they're said interchangeably hey. in Doctor Strange. If you're gonna list it, you gotta include all of the realities is another one oh, that gets reality, thrown in. Yeah. And I don't want anyone Define in chat telling terms. me there is any level of consistency with how they use these labels. There is not. The one that really gets yeah, to like... me is when they explicitly talking about timelines and then the ancient one refers to it as a reality uh, that yeah. gets created when you do that. And then they talk about realities as a result of like... Uh, just the timeline, it's, it's, it's all so fucking confusing. Especially when you go, quantum realm. That's the only time we've ever used the word realm. And you're like, okay, cool, sweet, fine. It's a realm. That's different than the rest of the words. And then he goes, yeah. what's a realm? And he goes, well, a realm is a reality word. It's like, no! <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh... This, this really reminds me of, like, if you took all the, like, time travel movies with their own rules and put them in the same cinematic universe and was like, yeah! Yeah, that's what Endgame did. It took multiple time travel rules and then did it in one movie. Yeah, it thinks it didn't, then, but it did. It thinks it didn't, uh, and then Loki just decides to <laughs> ignore all of that too to do its <laughs> own bullshit. Oh, oh, and if you go by what if the Doctor Strange episodes adds even more rules, where if you use the time stone, you can go back and forth within your own timeline, but you can't alter anything if it stops the present outcome uh, except it, unless you like do obscene um, levels of magic wait, and then what? that breaks the universe and it melts but Doctor Strange oh. undid destroying Earth in the first film I was about to say, did that, yeah yeah this, uh, um, <laughs> I don't well, I don't know come on you, guys, uh, come on consults, come uh, on. fucking what was it Didn't what if um, episode 4 or 5 with the time stone destroyed in their main reality shouldn't Dormammu be like trying to Get back in. Get, get in a... Well, uh, Clea's his daughter, so I think maybe the... I don't know. How does that work? Wow, yeah. No idea. <laughs> Dormammu's kid is here? Okay. Stop asking yeah. questions. Stop <laughs> it. Stop it. I'm, sh I'm sure there's a way it can work, and they will not find well, it. They will not find it. <laughs> Here's a thought. If someone actually cared, and they were like, no, incursions are definitely a thing, and the, those mums would have died, they'd be like, oh, okay. Wink, wink. And you're like, wait, what? 
And then she meets up with her mums again, and they like scientists in this room. Like, what are you doing? It's like this is a gun that if you shoot it into the sky, it'll fix the incursion that's happening at the time. We're like, no, please, no. And they're like, so it was gonna happen in our universe, but we saved it, and we've been saving all incursion universes actually. And you're like, oh, okay. And then it's just you know, Doc Strange three and the well, multiverse of incursions. That's the thing. That <laughs> one. No, incursions. They'll just forget. That's no, yeah, the, the more likely. Well, because I bring this up because of the anymore, fact yeah. that. She-Hulk, which we'll talk about in a bit, um, I don't, um... it just randomly introduces, <laughs> there's a device that could make it so that I don't have to be Hulk. Also, oh, I, I, uh, oh, geez, oh. my arm is completely fucked from the Infinity Stone snapping, which is, is good consequence, but now it's not. Oh, yeah, now it's not. Because you have magic blood juice, Jennifer. That's the thing, it's, it's such a great, like, we've been saying this for ages, and it's just the same thing, it's, it's, I can't be asked to deal with the repercussions of the last story, I'm making my own story, fuck you, I don't care about whatever when this stuff is. You could just, you could take the repercussions of the last story, and then, and hell, you could even take the flaws of prior stories and integrate them into yours. Yeah, but they don't. <laughs> they do not. I mean, that's, again, that implies that you do care about the continuity, um... Which, it, yeah, it seems like nobody does. Wait, imagine the kind yeah, of shit like, you can write with Hulk not having the use of one of his arms. That's big. But, nope, never mind. Gotta <laughs> they throw that perfectly. out! Because we got single female lawyer fighting oh, no. for her client. Wear it sexy Wait, we'll get daddy there. skirt and um, be it self-reliant. That would be yeah, a wolf. That Ooh. would be hour six for me hearing that. Okay. <laughs> I was actually going to say how many people will get the reference, because I feel like it's old enough that there's going to be plenty of whippersnappers being like... I didn't watch cartoons from the 90s. Was it Futurama late 90s? Yeah, it came out. Yeah. Um, uh, early early noughts mostly, but I think maybe it premiered in 99? That, uh, um, that was from one of the earlier seasons, so it's probably 1999 or at the latest 2000. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, though, guys, but, so know, I did steal that joke yeah. from a couple of people, so I'm not the only one making the connection. Dude, everybody's making the connection. <laughs> no, all the people who can make the connection are. True. Because there's plenty of whippersnappers in this audience. Okay, Some of them don't even know what, like, uh, a cask is, okay? <laughs> so, they... That's true. Um, That's true. Yeah, so I figured that the, the, the obvious question must arise eventually. Um... What did you think of, of the overall sort of counter-argument from us about uh, your perspective on No Way Home? Oh, well. <laughs> um. <laughs> if you want, I can frame it back up to get you, if you to remind you of what, like, because the criticism yeah. was... Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I do agree with... Uh, the Aunt May stuff. Yes. That's, I mean, that's one thing I actually, I could, like, definitely admit that I did not think uh, about, like, your argument back when I made the video, for some reason. I don't know. Uh, and I definitely, like, I, get, I definitely see your point there. Because, yeah. Well, because um, it's not a really about like a sense of uh, winning or losing with this one. It's more so just um, I find it really, really meaningful, and I'm curious if you do yes. as well, or do you just find it acceptable? Um, can you just like um, summarize it? Just yeah, summarize. Yeah, yeah. So like, uh, my understanding of Spider-Man at the core is that um, you know, he has all of the potential to be able to do something with his abilities and the the choice to you know inaction leads to a lot of things that could have been stopped and a lot of those are suffering for other people it's like okay understood fully and i think the raimi trilogy explores like three sort of dimensions of that and uh, it seems that there isn't mm -hmm. really a spider-man story that doesn't cover that in some way or shape or form in fact i think the fans would be upset if it didn't and so it seemed to us that homecoming was exploring like he's so ready to be a hero that he's getting into it for the prestige now instead of the core, which is what uh, he had instilled to some degree. But he got caught up in wanting to be an Avenger because he was inspired by having grown up in a world run by the Avengers that he was like, I want to be one of them. And uh, it starts ca causing damage here and there. So it's almost like a, um, yes, you're acting with the power that you have, but uh, there are certain fights you're not supposed to just run into. There's like a level of 
understanding. And you're not supposed to be doing it for the reward of becoming an Avenger, which is what the ending of that film is, right? He's like, you can be an Avenger now. And then he's like, no, I'm good. I'm going to be um, Neighborhood Spider-Man. And I'm going to take a tangent just for a second to defend Infinity War, because everyone takes this opportunity to say Infinity War fucked this up by having him become an Avenger, which was not the point. It's the idea that he doesn't need the label, but if he's going yeah. to fight an alien to save Earth, he is an Avenger. There's nothing... Yeah, that's, that's, that's just, like 100%. Yeah. Um, Infinity War did fine. And then we have Far From Home, which did the whole, um, he's still, uh, like, the, the new thing now is, uh, how is he going to be as, as good a hero as Iron Man? Um, which is a, a level of, like, a responsibility he's taking on that is unnecessary. Obviously, the, the conclusion in that film is you're going to be Spider-Man, not Iron Man. Um, and then No Way Home does what I think is possibly the most interesting thing, uh, IMO, out of, the, out of the, the three possibilities, or the three sort of ways it challenges this idea with responsibility in the, in the films, being what if you do act in, for the right motivation with your power to save lives and it leads to a loss of life? What does that mean? Does that mean you were wrong? And the film is trying to say, especially with the Aunt May's death, no, you made the right choice. Unfortunately, it doesn't always result in the things you want. Because, mm. um, of course, uh, a lot of lives would theoretically have been saved with his choice. He made the choice for the right reasons. Unfortunately, it led to Aunt May's death. Uh, but that doesn't mean it was the wrong thing to do. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's that's definitely a like, counter-argument that I definitely can like literally just agree with. You know? It's just, what I dislike about this movie the most is that it's like, sometimes it can be so vague. It's storytelling, the character motivations. I feel like the plan overall, grand plan that he has of like, okay, we're going to just try to incorporate this entire fan service. And actually trying to make this work is really like admirable. But at the same time, while they're trying to like use this as a plot device, it's sort of like uh sort of creates a lot of questions that the mo that the movie does not definitively answer and then you then a lot of people start to have a lot of theories a lot of opinions and because there's no like single objective uh sort of answer that the movie gives you it's it leaves you with like every single opinion could be just as valid as the others and that's what i just dislike about it so much and I can definitely like still see my point of view, I think, but I definitely can agree with yours too. It's like this weird think, place, um, middle place I, I am stuck in. Sounds like um, because <clears throat> I would agree that the the plot is um, not great. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Nasty, but I think it would be that um, the character works madness still shines doesn't help through. either. Yeah, I just Why, think the rules. Yeah, the clumsy writing really like it, yeah. it was just really clumsy. I think. Oh, I checked it, and I think in the Phase Four, uh, No Way Home is like was delayed the least out of all the movies. Uh, it, it, I think it, had it was. Like, yeah, yeah, it was supposed to come out in summer, if I'm not wrong, and yes. it came out in December, which is like very short delay considering I mean, well, it was like filmed and made yeah. during pandemic mostly. And I think because this movie had like one of the biggest sort of like ambitions it was such a grand thing it was like biggest blockbuster out after endgame and i just don't think it had enough time to bake in the oven i, really I, don't. I agree um yeah the script was definitely on the coach despite that, despite that though there's a level of man you managed to nobody else managed to get this right <laughs> like so far <laughs> with the characters you you made it yeah. work except um, strange Except yeah, for Strange, the, yeah, uh, Strange is pretty sacrificed on a holy it altar. Just, it he really was like, sacrificed, yeah, so other characters could learn and grow. I guess um, it's just like it seems that John Watts is capable of working within the uh the the system that Marvel uses to make films, which probably isn't the right way to do it. Um, and he somehow manages to like get character work in there. That can shine through, whereas a lot of other stories have crumbled under the weight of the expectations yeah. of them in terms of action scenes and mandates or mm -hmm. um, how they're meant to slot into this broader timeline. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, I look back at this movie and it's just one word that comes up in my mind all the time is like flat. The cinematography is flat. Everything is just feels so one dimensional when it's, it's, I don't know, it just. Uh, um, well, sorry, you feel I, I'm not sure if you feel. One, what, do you one think about the what do you think about the cinematography in Homecoming? I, I don't hate it. I like it. I don't know. I think um, it's definitely not my favorite out of MCU, probably. I don't really what remember What would be your much. favorite? Uh, wait. Uh, well, I think there's just so much oversaturation with CGI. It's really hard to, like, not confuse. Yeah. Uh, like, colorfulness with, like, good cinematography. Um... Well, I guess uh, Homecoming uses a lot of, pretty sure it uses a good amount of just, like, actual locations. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, but... I like Homecoming cinematography, actually. Um, I mean, even though, like, Infinity War uses quite a bit of VFX and uh, stuff, I think it's, like, a pretty movie. Mm -hmm. Like, No Way Home is so dark. I, I actually skipped through, the, through it lately, and it was just, like, the first half. It's like as if it's morning and suddenly it's night and everything happens in the darkness. And I get it, it's because to cover up the CGI, but it's it's really dark. Everything. I I think I had a hard time like seeing the last action scene. It was so dark. <laughs> um, out of curiosity, do you think it's um, any worse, better, or sort of neutral with Phase Four in general for cinematography? I think it's bad. It's just overall bad. Oh, I so like compared, worse, uh, worse uh, than the other like, stuff. In, yeah, like you're saying better or uh, worse or neutral. No way home? With, yeah, compared to something like Eternal, um, Shang-Chi, stuff like that. Well, I think it's like in the middle somewhere. I like Shang-Chi. I think it used color well. Um, Fair enough. I don't know. Like some, when you have something like Dune and Batman come out at mm -hmm. the same uh, time, it's really hard to like... <laughs> just like anything in this phase really <laughs> yeah that seems um, visually it's uh it's definitely seems like there's less of an eye that can shine through um for these films <clears throat> um i though on the in the same vein i'm i was more than happy with with it visually i guess cuz uh it was like a breath of fresh air for phase 4 as far as i'm concerned um even looking back it still seems that way cuz she Hulk being the newest thing. It's like one episode, and I'm already like, oh, fuck's sake. Like, uh, <laughs> back in that uh, sort of quality. Meanwhile, like, they had so many characters in No Way Home that they could have destroyed so easily in the same way that they did in, I guess, Multiverse of Madness is the easy go to. Because, um, you know, on one hand, you have smartest man in the universe makes a huge mistake. Guy who's been experienced his whole life, not to say a word, kills himself by squealing. Uh, Professor X is defeated <laughs> in the only environment that he's the best at. It's like, wow, these are all just opposites. Then you go to Spider-Man, and it's like, you know, Sam Raimi, Tobey Maguire fans were incredibly happy with basically every last line he had, and every every second of screen time. Um, it, well, what's the difference? And it's like, well, to me, I guess it's just <laughs> the difference between John Watts and uh, Michael Waldron, I guess. Um... Yes, you know, there and, was a Celestial just poking out of Earth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, it, it's like, okay, so which of those, if we consider those two polar opposites, like, which one did we get for She-Hulk? And it's like, from one episode, I'm already sensing one rather than the other. Mm -hmm. In terms of approaches, which is unfortunate. So, yeah, you know, it's uh, people went over this with Prey. It's like, when you have something that is just not as terrible as the previous thing you were you were you were eating let's call it um it it comes across a lot more satisfying to consume at least yeah the... definitely um, it's probably why it was so nice to uh pray when i covered it myself and then we talked about it more it's like oh that's not as good as i thought it was <laughs> what do we sell on a four was it? yeah i think it was I, a four yeah. oh well yeah. Maybe next time. Break Maybe down. next time. Um, Yay. You're right, just yeah. like Bly Manor. Someone's making fun of Bly Manor. Ban him. Nah. I'm you... on it. Uh, 
So yeah, well, how how is how are you with the uh, with the MCU in general? And are you excited to see these installments come out, or are you more so just interested from a storytelling perspective? Oh, <laughs> uh, that was directed at Nutsa, by the way. Is she here? Wait, sorry. <laughs> I just can you uh, repeat it? I had to like. Go away for a minute. That's all right. Um, so, I was curious. What's your investment in in the MCU? Are you more so here for uh, the fact that you want to see how the story unfolds, or are you here in like a reviewing capability? Um, I think both. I mean, uh, I was like, when like first Iron Man dropped, I watched and um, like a lot. I I watched it all live go on. You know, like since since the first Iron Man, mm -hmm. and then um. Then Civil War came around and like during like 2015, somewhere 16, I sort of kind of lo lost interest when it was like starting to pick up for everybody else. And then like Infinity War happened and I had no idea what was going on and I just like hmm. entered the chat. And since then I was like, oh my God, they actually have a plan for this. They are like, I was not expecting it from MCU really, you know, uh, it was so unexpected suddenly like, it, everything is tied together like what the hell happened during this few years that was gone and yeah that just really surprised me and like got me into it again so yeah since then i was just like hoping that it would continue this um just great storylines and everything so yeah I, I was definitely into the stories but now i just i don't i i'm not so sure i <laughs> now um did you see thor love and thunder oh yeah so, did. what did you think of Unfortunately. that? Yeah, that's. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had there. never seen it. Um... So the th the funny yeah. thing about that one, right? When I ask someone like, "What do you think of No Way Home?" they could say anything. When I ask them, "What do you think of Multiverse of Madness?" I think it's likely they'll say it was a bit of a mess. But you know, there's still people out there who who love it. I guess. Yeah, that's fair. I have no expectation of anyone on planet Earth saying to me, "Oh, Thor: Love and Thunder, loved it." I don't think anyone's <laughs> gonna say that. <laughs> so, yeah. I Nobody I mean, liked it. it. I think it's like, when I say like, I don't have a hope for, like at least, I mean, this phase already has ended, but I, I don't really have a lot of hope for MCU moving forward, at least not for the next few years. Um, and I think Love and Thunder did it for me. It just traumatized me. It was, <laughs> it was like... Well, I guess, uh, what do you think is the problem that is likely to prevent the majority or all future productions from not being worthwhile? Like, what do you think the issue would be? I just... I think they need some, like, person to take the rails, I guess. Like, somebody or a group of people who will just make a... At least, like, a... a I think what saved, like, uh, the rest of the MCU, really, like, during Infinity War and everything, they just had to do a liner story that would just, like, follow all these, like, stones. As long as, like, they followed that narrative, it would just, like, almost was guaranteed that it would work out. I think they need something like that, or, I don't know, someone who would, like, uh, like Whereas keep it in check. Now, the problem now is that there's so many variables that they need to yeah, juggle I, all at once. Yeah. I mean, when you talked about, like, all these multiverses, yeah. it feels like every single writer has, like, their own take on the multiverse or Nobody whatever. Talks to each other. No, yeah. yeah. I mean they need to like get in get in a room and just talk well, it apparently out. Apparently that I don't did know. happen at some point. I don't, it was an article. I don't know it doesn't seem like it. It was a bunch I of mean, articles about how they oh, no, it was after though that like Loki had been made at this point and I'm pretty sure it said like Kevin Feige has now ordered all the multiverse people to get into a room to talk. And I guarantee you that conversation was as simple as like so there's lots of worlds and you can travel between them, right? Yeah. yeah. And America Chavez is the only one that can do it, right? And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone yeah. in the back, who? It's fine, just so, say yes. Someone else goes, well, oh, okay. Darkhold, you can do it with that, though. I need that for my movie. And then someone else is like, yeah. oh, oh, okay, but can we do it with the sling rings? I like, use no. that for my movie. No, I'm destroying it. I'm destroying it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm it's using the ladder like... and I'm kicking it out. I'm just behind me. <laughs> I'm getting, like, war flashbacks to, like, uh, the sequel trilogy, basically. It's just, like, all of the writers, all the directors are, like, com in a completely different places. It feels like they mm -hmm. were never in the room together. Like, what the hell is going on? Yeah. And, yeah, it's just, like, if they just 
everybody I think agrees that if like sequel trilogy writers simply like, got, got into it too, like it or even someone like made a plan that okay you need to follow this and this or just got them together in a room I think if it wouldn't be great it would just you know at least it would be a story with a beginning middle and the end which it wasn't it was just completely detached from one another and I think that's what's going on with phase four I think n n not like completely but I think it's almost the same part of the problem yeah, I could believe that Phase 5 will be more cohesive than 4, because 4 has been absolutely completely disjointed. Was there, like... Oh, yeah. Why they uh, cut the ending of 4 to Wakanda Forever when that wasn't yeah. the end of Phase 4? Change their mind. Almost as though they're, like... It's like you went off-road, and you're on this little dirt path, and you're talking to your advisor, like, where is the next road? And it's like, it's all over there. You're gonna have to cross over Thor, Love, and Thunder, the Multiverse <laughs> of Madness, and No Way Home to get to it. It's like, alright, fuck it. Blast through the ball, we'll get back to the road. Yeah. Um, because yeah, um, it could be that they are actually setting down a pathway now that leads to something that makes sense, but is it just me, or is the only thing that connects Phase 4 right now, like that one line where he's like, we had an incident with Spider-Man recently? I like, think so, is, yeah. Is that like the only thing that connects well, any of it? Or, or just, um, it seems a big connective tissue is just Wong showing up, like in stories. <laughs> he's, yeah. he's, the yeah. up. he's the connecting tissue, yeah. He the is. only thing He's I remember from Shang-Chi is the karaoke scene with Wong, because that yeah, caught exactly. me off guard. Exactly, that's what I mean. The, the thing with, like, uh, Phase 4 also is, like, it feels like MCU is just going through a middle-life crisis. I don't know. It's just, <laughs> like, they're rushing through everything. It's like, let's make, oh, I don't know, like, how many movies, how many shows they've made in, like, past two or three years. I it's crazy. They've established a lot of new characters very quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's I not, don't know how many of them are very enduring. It's just guaranteed to fail. They're just like, how can you do so much at the same time? Even if you had someone who would just like tie all these together, they would just be like, I, I, if I was that person, my, my mind would explode basically. Like, I, nobody is fit to do that job. Not so fast. Like, everybody is like, and also, everything is being written at the same time, and everything is overlapping. Like, how can you make a coherent story out of this, really? Well, and especially when we know that the writers, there is compartmentalization in terms of how much people know, because they're so concerned with preventing spoilers and leaks, mm -hmm. that nobody, you can have a writer who just legitimately doesn't know, like, what year their film is set, or how it slots in, because they weren't told. How can you write stories this way? Is um... Simpsons Badly. reference to help make a point of criticism for Phase 4 compared to other phases. Do you remember the episode with the beavers, Fringy? The beavers? I do. I do. Unless... It is Simpsons, right? I'm not referencing something else. I'm pretty sure it's because there's like an old man. There's a bunch of stuff, and I'm pretty sure Homer and Bart get into the thing where they're trying to destroy a beaver dam. I think. Yeah, that oh, sounds wait. familiar. Yeah, that does sound familiar. I'm just trying to make sure I'm talking about Simpsons and not like American Dad or some shit. Um... Yeah, there's the, uh, there's a master log. Got to get to the master log. If you get out of the master log, you can destroy the whole thing. Like I think that's what Homer says. So they have to find like a big log and pull it. I, I think that's Simpsons. Um, yeah, there's no master log anymore. The master log, for those who couldn't tell, in Phase uh, One, Two, Three, was illustrated quite well in the trailer for Endgame when they had Iron Man, Cap, and Thor walking toward Thanos. They your master mm -hmm, log, yeah. okay? Uh, two of them are gone, and the third one has just been annihilated. Like, <laughs> and they haven't been. Re Spider Man is basically like you know, but Spider Man isn't part of that. He's kind of off on his own sort of world almost, isn't he? So it's like and he's very volatile with the right situation. That's true, and so because of that, Marvel hasn't really made him the master log in a no. sense. So it's like so it's... we need replacements for the master log. We need a new master log, and, and that's meant to come in the form of new. Characters. Loads of little logs, and it's just like well, no, loads of little logs, and a decent amount of those logs are rotting. Um, yeah, yeah. Like they're not they're not great replacements. It's funny um, to think about that all these small logs basically all have survived like end of world, end of universe scenarios now. They already have, yeah. Yeah, and they're like uh, small yeah. logs in this regard. It's like, oh, so uh, who are we going to establish as the big log, anyways? Then. It's like Strange would be the only one I think to it was do meant right to be now. Dr. Strange, yeah, I think it's meant to be Strange. They've, yeah, but they've, but they've screwed it up. Yeah, they've, they've screwed it. it up. 
Part of um, screwing it up is making it so that he's diluted. He's not really a, a... He's not the kind of character when he shows up, you go, oh, it's him, and he's going to be doing and saying this, and he'll react to this, and these ways... It's, like, it's more so just, there he is. I don't know what he's going to do. Well, yeah, because yeah. the fun the fun and the, the cool aspect of Marvel originally was, what does it look like when Tony meets Steve? Like, what does that what does that meeting look like? They're very different people with different goals and different principles. What does it look like when these two meet each other and come into conflict? Now, it's like, what does it mean when Shang-Chi meets Yelena? Like, what does that mean? What mm. what, what is the interesting conflict there? And what what like, does it mean when Maria meets um I don't know, like, Cersei from Eternals. Like, what does that you, meeting look like? You have like? to say from Eternals, because those people feel like, <laughs> I, yeah, exactly, do you mean Game exactly. of Thrones? It's like, no, no, no. Um, no. Yeah, characteristically, we're in serious trouble, because think about when um, when Thor grabs Loki and just flies off with him, and Cap's like, uh, you know, they're opening the back door again, or whatever, Iron Man's about to leave, and he's like, whoa, 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 we need a plan of attack. And he just says, I have a plan. Yep. Attack. And he just leaves because it's just like, down. fuck it. That's the guy from Iron Man 1 and 2 at that point. Yeah, he, uh, he ain't fucking around. He's the boss around here, okay? Like that sort of attitude. And you're like, oh shit. And he's going for Thor, the guy we just saw in that other movie who's pretty humble when it comes to leadership at this point, but he ain't fucking around when it yeah. comes to Loki. That's his brother. And he thought he was exactly. dead. You know, so there's going to be plenty yeah. of this going on now. And then, you know, they you have that conversation with Thor and Loki. Like, we're waiting for that to be interrupted by Iron Man. He's on the way. Mm -hmm. And then it does. And it's quite yeah. a good payoff. So. The, there's so much narrative juice being squeezed out, but as as was just said, like all these tiny, these tiny little logs, and they're all gonna what surround Doctor Strange. He's gonna be the one that binds them all together. It's like I don't even see how that's happening. He has I no relationship with any of these people. Yeah, I mean, I'm listening to you guys. Like, I have flashbacks to the first MCU phases, and I'm like, wait, that was masterful. Like, how did we get here? <laughs> I mean, to me, it kind of just feels like, you know, after Endgame made so much fucking money, surely that's your, like, that should be your ticket to go, like, okay, we've done really well. First three phases, like, those were a big success. You take, like, five years to plan the next, like, three fa three phases or whatever the hell and make sure it's really cohesive because you've earned it. People will come back for this because we've established a viable brand here. We have... Other things we've just absorbed from Fox, we can take our time to plan it out, but that isn't what happened. They just wanted to keep pumping out more content mm -hmm. out of fear that people would lose interest. And this is the this is such a backwards way of working, especially when you want to go so complex with this multiverse shit. And especially yeah. now that it has to slot into the Disney Plus model as well, which is super oh. informing the way that mm. this works. You know, you need... Look at this year. Like, look at how everything's been structured. Moon, Moon Knight... As soon as that ends, Multiverse of Madness is out. Then, like a month later, Miss Marvel comes out. And then, when that ends, Love and Thunder is out. And then, like a month later, She Hulk's out. And by the time She Hulk ends, it's like a few weeks That's... until uh, Black Panther comes out. Everything leads into oh, the yeah. next thing. You can never lose interest for too long. You need to stay subscribed to the service because that's the. Yeah, like that's that's the objective is um to keep people consistently engaged, even if those people disengage with those works. Like, couple weeks, month, you know, maybe two months after people stop giving a shit about those stories, but they've already made the mm -hmm. money. Um, it's, I don't, I don't see, I don't see somebody just on a whim saying, I want to rewatch, um, I want to rewatch Multiverse of Madness in the same way that they probably would have said that for Iron Man or Captain America 1, um, or, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy 1 or 2. I just don't see it. Mm -hmm. you know, it, as much as the whole, the more of a thing there is, the less value it can accrue is true. Um, at the same time, it feels like the individual components are just less valued by people. But they've, on both oh, yeah. ends, right? Like, on the end of they're selling these things without them being that special anymore, but they're also, like, not that special in terms of what they make. Like, as storytelling goes, they're pretty bad examples. Like, if an alien came down, he's like, how, how good are these? You'd be like, oh, no. Nah, <laughs> we, don't bother with those. Yeah, no. Those, uh... Shepherd him over to the, you know, Predator, or Terminator, <laughs> or aliens. I like know? the I like the alien movie. Like, why are you going so far back in time? You're like, look, it just, just it, I don't it's need to. It's really <laughs> look right. You need to watch these to understand what comes afterward. Kind of, all right. Trust me. Like, 
Do you guys remember when like Captain Marvel made a ton of money just because it was like <laughs> bef right before Endgame? That's how mm -hmm. like rare Marvel projects were at the time. You know, like just you had to like give so much money to this movie just to get a glimpse of another one. And it was just like, it was really like celebration. It was just like a few years ago. And now we're have having this like, it's really mind blowing where how fast things escalated for this like every month there's like something new and every month every like every single time it's like worse than the other well and didn't they get hampered because of the pandemic too so this is like the slower version of what we would have gotten oh there, yeah it was like oh my god yeah i didn't I think about that can you imagine <laughs> we're at like phase five <laughs> they're already like baiting uh. phase seven and eight or something <laughs> Because that's the thing, they, they're gonna want it, they're probably gonna realize, oh fuck, we should have called phase 1, 2, 3, just phase 1 at this point, because when you get to like phase 10, people are just being like, I don't fucking care, whatever, what does yeah. that even mean, <laughs> phase 10? What's the bad guy now, it's like the, <laughs> the you know, the, 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 the Colosseum of Galactus, and you're like, oh, it's just about him, fine, fine, whatever. Yeah. This situation makes everything everywhere all at once feel like a slow burn. Like <laughs> that movie was a nice breath of fresh air. It was. Mm -hmm. That was fun. You had a couple of them every once in a while. But yeah. It's... Yeah. So, so uh, the, the, something I, I'm just uh, it'll be easy for me to segue into this because it is MCU. But uh, She Hulk came out. Uh, for those mm -hmm, who, sure who watched that, the, them EFAPs, uh, we did talk about the trailer last week. Was that last week or was that the week before? I think week it was last. before that, yeah. Time is going way too fucking quick. Uh, so, you know, there's there's a sense of, like, concern, not just because of the position of being in Phase 4, but the trailer wasn't looking great, and then there was a couple of quotes from the creators, and it was like, ooh, okay. Mm -hmm. Still, always willing to give it a shot. And uh, as you, you as you guys have heard before, you know, WandaVision's first episode, we were very happy with it. Uh, Moon Knight's first episode, we were 50-50. Uh, Loki's... Uh, no, so... <laughs> Loki's first scene, we were kind of already <laughs> done. Oh my god. I was going to say, man, they were setting records with that over time, right? Because I, I think I said in our coverage of Multiverse of Madness, I was done with the film after the first scene. Uh, that opening action scene, I was already like, you... Can't be establishing for easy powers and then not use them at all. That's very, very <laughs> frustrating. Yeah. Um, stuff like that. But anyway, uh, the, you know, you still got to give it a shot, right? You still got to give it a chance. So yeah. I guess what we'll do, has everyone here seen episode one of Shahulk? I, I did, and I even yeah. covered it already. You. So, so full, full yeah. disclosure, um, because I didn't know I was coming on until last night, I have not actually seen it yet, but everything I've heard about it has made me very deeply upset. So I'm going to be... <laughs> I, um, is it gonna... <laughs> I thought that might have happened, because I gave you zero notice uh, that you may not have seen it. Uh, to be fair, I give you zero notice not only that you're being on here, or that we were even covering that, so don't worry about it. Um, I find that sometimes it's fun having a person who hasn't seen the thing, so that they can listen to the complaints and yeah. be like for real and you can be like yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, well, something i will say though is that i'm getting more upset about this the things i'm hearing than i thought i was because i'm starting to realize that i actually really like she hulk as a premise for a character which is this basically just what if hulk but they're like uh like this quirky fun uh lawyer that occasionally break the fourth wall and they specialize in like the minutiae of superhero law. Like what does law look like in a superhero universe? Um, yeah. And that just is very fun to me. And um, the, she just seems like a fun sort of character. Like I've always, like I haven't got, never got around to actually reading many comics, but I just love that premise. And I, when I heard they announced it, I was just like, oh, so you could do like a, a quirky, like a uh, courtroom dramedy, uh, where the lawyer's green the whole time. That could be fun. That could be fun. And then everything I see is just this warped, contorted, just deformed version <laughs> of what I imagined it would be. And it's just really horrible to see unfold. And every new piece of information makes me very upset. 
very, very upset. It's funny uh, you say that. I was in that situation, and then I watched the episode, and uh, I was, like, even more upset with the context. Oh. I was like, fuck, this is worse than I thought it was going to be, even from all the complaints and the clips I saw. Um, yeah. You know, there's, like, one thing going into a movie or a show, like, expecting it to be good, and then come out and just be disappointed and depressed for a day because it was not it, mm -hmm. it didn't meet your expectations. And there's another thing to go into a project not expecting to like it at all and still be disappointed. <laughs> I just, I don't understand it. I, that was me with MOM. I, was, I, I thought it was going to be shit and then I came out disappointed. <laughs> <It's like laughs> <laughs> this is where we're at. This is where we're at right now. It's like, oh, I don't expect anything. It's like, oh, shit, that was even worse. Yeah. Good. It's, it's phenomenal, really. Like, I just. Uh, I started laughing at the end, and I was, I, I told my sister, I was like, this was one of the greatest things I've ever seen, and she was like, seriously? And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> it was great. Just blew me away completely. Um, I was not expecting that. We could talk a bit broadly for a bit before we, if we want to go scene by scene, but I was just going to say, what an odd format for our first episode. I had no idea this was the case. Like, Sorry. <laughs> you yeah, get me too. Opening it's scene, just right, for the sake of like chat and meme, I guess. Opening scene, and then she sets mm -hmm. up like, oh, I'm already Hulk, I guess you guys should know why. Play flashback, yeah. until flashback is over, one more scene, and then that's the end. Yeah. It's, it's pretty obvious weird. that that was like, they changed their mind yes. um, on where that, that episode was going to slot in. I'm pretty sure there was a quote from like the showrunner or one of the directors that that, ep like the, her and, and Hulk, like on, you know, in Mexico and, and training and stuff, that was meant to be later, and then they changed their mind. And it's so obvious. It's so obvious. Because I imagine that this show is very different in terms of its format than what we saw in that first episode. So, weird introduction, you know? Yeah, um, because as someone just brought up in chat as well, uh, it, it, one of the things that came to mind when I was watching, I was like, oh, didn't Deadpool do this? It begins on the highway, and it flashes back. Yeah. Deadpool, uh, yes. does, uh, it jumps back and forth. So it starts on the highway, then it jumps back, then it goes back to what's happening on the highway, then it jumps back. Deadpool, yeah. uh, it was clearly more deliberate. Well, I was going to say, uh, it, was built, it was built that way. This was so obviously yeah. not built this way, like, yeah. at all. Um, it's, it seems like later on they realized... Or not even realized, just chose to put all of this information at the beginning, as opposed to where it actually slotted in, and so they mm -hmm. had to like use the fourth wall to essentially explain. All right, we're doing the origin. Shut up. Here we go. <laughs> we're just starting here, and then, and then we'll get back to our. our they uh, really did do it that way. It was uh, yeah. even jarring to me knowing that was going to happen. I was like, oh, mm -hmm. okay, geez, fine. It's very uh, uh -huh. especially as well. You know, you don't have to do this, but isn't it worthwhile to get to know it before the accident? Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Don't have yeah. to. I don't know who, well, I don't know who she was before it, uh, and I guess I never will, because we never see it. Yeah. <laughs> it's Shulkin time. So, yeah, because I... I, <laughs> I thought we were talking vaguely, by the way. I wasn't sure. <laughs> oh, well, I guess, like yeah, okay, well, so we'll start, start going through well, it. Um, the, yeah. the opening... Uh, She's she's doing like a she's practicing her um is it a closing statement for yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought she was like actually quoting Uncle Ben at first I was like <laughs> she's talking about I don't really remember directly but like there was something about responsibility and like power and greatness I just like, <laughs> yeah I think she, she she did like the most obvious stuff right like is it yeah. the, is there a duty to n not misuse your power and an obligation to help people <laughs> and stuff and just, it just like... feels like the Amazing Spider Man all over again oh yeah um because I'm well I'm pretty sure. There's a good chance that that's going to, you know, opening statement of a... I'm pretty sure Falcon the Winter Soldier opened on, like, something to do with what the shield means. Like, all, all these shows tend to let you know what they're going to be about within their opening sentences, which yeah. which isn't a problem with me at all. It's, um, I just, I don't know how interesting She-Hulk is ever wow. going to be. I guess the mm. unfortunate thing is that as I, list, as I think about this, you know, this opening line for the show, um, when, you know, when when you kind of, like can enter into something expecting it to be really strong. It can be interesting to speculate on what this means. When I think about this line, all I can imagine is like, well, what do I think the writers are trying to go for? What do I think their objective is here? 
um, narratively, regardless, you know, regardless of what I think is the most potent or interesting. Um, the impression I get with the speech of this is she already is at the point where she's not going to misuse it. She's already figured that out. And so the arc is, should I be proactive in helping people? And that's going to be it. Like that, that'll be all it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, don't I don't know. It's not Probably. much usually interesting. Um, and also, I guess we can talk about, you know, we'll get there. Yeah, I was going to say that uh, theory, I think, is most informed by, dare I call it, the last yeah. scene, last line. There's something she says in, in the last scene that definitely makes you go, oh, that's going to be proven wrong. Laugh my ass off. Mm. Um, <laughs> yeah, as she's giving a, her argument here, uh, you can hear a guy in the background going, more smile. Smile more. Uh, Wait, what? Like, really? Yeah, and I was like, oh, no. <laughs> it's immediately. <laughs> All right, I'm out. <laughs> you know what I... It just annoys me about this. Like, I'm pretty sure this show is going to, like, not do well. People are not going to like it and everything. And because, like, I think a director is a woman. Writer is a woman. Mm -hmm. It's, it's like, a feminist icon show and everything. And it's going to... Like, it's going to happen, like, the same thing that happened with Elizabeth Banks and Charlie's Angels. They're just going to come out and say, oh, you're just, like, sexist. Y'all are misogynistic. You just don't value women. There's that, and um, I just... there's that great meme about the Charlie's Angels movie where it says, there's an article that says, uh, men, this movie isn't for you. Like, stay away. Yeah, sort of thing. And then yeah, there's a second yeah. article that's okay. like, why aren't men watching this movie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, can it I, happen? I actually made a feminist... I, uh, feminist a video about feminist Hollywood and that's that's basically the point I touched upon and I I talked about Elizabeth Banks and that whole situation and how like messed up it is oh well I literally just told half of humanity to not watch my movie and there was <laughs> nobody watching my movie yeah then, and then she came out and said everybody's is everybody is sexist it's just that's how it works and like it's funny because like literal contradiction are like the original Charlie's Angels. Like, a bunch of people watched that, including men. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, I watched it. I even watched the yeah the the the, the Bill Murray one. Well, oh, yeah, I guess I said wait. Cameron Diaz, Lucy Liu one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. both of them. Um, those were strange movies. <laughs> yeah, they are. I don't remember <laughs> seeing them to be honest. They're really weird. But uh, yeah, uh, when I heard him say smile more, I was like, oh, jeez. Uh, it, it begins. Here we go. <laughs> it's a two seconds movie. You guys remember show. the famous heroic character of the MCU, the Don? He's yet to get his own movie, mm. but I'm sure he will. When he said, yeah, yeah. how about a smile? You know, it's just like, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Don't do it, Don. <laughs> that's like, that's like a, attacking someone. It's a trap. Um, oh my god. Yeah, and that same guy says, I feel like it comes off better coming from me. I was like, oh. Oh <laughs> no. I already know what the show thinks of this man. I don't even need, like, I don't need any characteristics. I know I'm supposed to not like him. It's okay. I got it. I got it. Well, as yeah. it's confirmed later in the episode. Um, remind mm. me, what even, I'm sure it's not that much of a spoiler or anything. What happens to him later in the episode? Um, I can't remember. Well, because later she's about to go up to give her a closing statement and he says, like, don't screw this up. And oh, yeah. her paralytic friend rolls her eyes. It's like, right, so, yeah, so he's just a cunt. <laughs> that's, that's, what yeah. I'm, that's what I'm saying. It's like, yeah. it's so obvious what you yes. think of him, show. I know, the show is this annoying guy sitting next to you on the sofa, like, I hate that character. And you're like, I know. Yeah. I know. I know. You don't <laughs> stop talking about it. Well, <laughs> Yeah, it's, um, I mean, obviously we don't get much of an impression of her friend, but, like, I don't know, I get worried that she's not going to be much of a character, that she's just going to be, like, the affirming best friend. The validation really person, yeah. Yeah, like, who doesn't have much of a perspective on yeah. anything and kind of only exists to help prop up the main character, which isn't great. Feels like you could do a lot. I, who knows? <laughs> could be totally wrong. Um, but, yeah. I just I realized, like, well... I mean, we're about to like give a sort of summary of where Hulk's at and what's going on with him, and like this is yeah. it just feels funny because we've speculated for a couple for a while since Endgame about where to take him next. Like you guys are about to find out what is canon You're and what to happens to him next. Yeah. yeah, where he's been taken. And in good news, <laughs> it's bad. On, the, on the subject of the sexism stuff, it's kind of what's interesting about this is that just how transparent it's become that this is just a deflection tactic to keep critical eyes away from the show because 
when you're saying that your bad CGI is a like people perceiving it as bad CGI is just a result of a sexist mindset, something that most people can anyone with a pair of eyeballs can see that this CGI is not working. Like I think you kind of got to rethink what the hell you're saying to the press about this stuff because this is this is ridiculous at this point. Like this, this is there's no ambiguity like with the writing. Like you don't need to like actually really properly think about um you know stuff like internal consistency um and, and whether it just generally makes sense like with the cgi most people can see yeah this is not tracking as something that looks real yet if you're still yet yeah, people that yeah, they're still going um oh well you know if you think the cgi is bad it's clearly because you're not used to cgi being used to represent the face of a woman um no, it's just bad. <laughs> wow, it's just bad. In fact, so. you, and you see, he's standing right next to the Hulk, who looks like a, like a photorealistic man. And the, the, I'm just seeing a drastic shift in quality between the two in the same frame. What the fuck is going on? Someone's a nitpicker <laughs> <laughs> and a sexist. <laughs> Damn straight. Well, it's interesting. Like I. I was, I, it hit me today, like, literally, you have someone like Gamora in Guardians of the Galaxy, like, who's, like, practically painted green, and she looks fantastic, right? Yeah. You buy that mm -hmm. she's an alien. She could have, they could have done, like, the same thing, did the Natalie Portman thing, like, made her more muscly with CGI or something. It could have worked, and I think it would take less effort and time. I, I don't think that was better. ever a possibility. I think it was always going to be this way. It just... Um, yeah, but they could have done. They could have gone that way. I think it would would have worked well, I, so I, much I, I better. I think that they had no great options, considering that this is a television show. I yeah. think that all of your options weren't great. You need to have a convincing CG character on screen for much longer than you would ever have in a film with less money, and you also just have the problem of she looks a lot more human like than a lot of your CG characters, like Rocket. Is is easier task in that it's not a person, and so just you as a human being are not as attuned to noticing how real or fake a raccoon that stands on two legs is talking. You know what that looks like, um, and then of course Thanos is like human-like, but a little bit different. Whereas this character is, yeah, the most like a regular person. Um, it was probably doomed from the start. <laughs> uh to like be a uh, really inconsistent and somewhat uncanny um effect i mean i couldn't look away from the screen every time she came on it's it is it is something i've i when i was watching it i've realized about myself that i've come to accept that whenever i spot her i'm just looking at it like the actual work that has been done and i'm like man that's just not working <laughs> like that's all i'm doing while i'm watching her scenes which is like god when thanos turned up and uh, I think, I don't know if it was the first trailer that would have shown him that everyone was just like, whoa, he looks like a real <laughs> purple man. There's <laughs> <laughs> uh, definitely a difference for how they've done it, but hey, you know. I, um, I just feel bad for CGI people. It's so bad. Yeah. It's, okay. They're going to get so much, like, hate for this. And not, like, from general public, I think so. But they couldn't do anything about this. <laughs> I, I think if if we could see a you know Marvel as feeding wolves uh, the equivalent of charging up their resources, they threw everything at their CG yeah. artists in terms of uh, time and money. But like to uh, in terms of like you guys fix everything. The the script writer Wolf he's just, he's just sitting there dying. He's like bones. There's just nothing there. They haven't given them much time <laughs> at all. Because I actually mm -hmm. do think that as bad as the CG is or distracting as it is, like. I don't think anybody would really ultimately care that much if the scripts were great. Like, yeah, yeah of course. I mean, nothing. I, I guess CGI was bad, but I would have accepted it. If I I liked literally anything about this show. This yeah, is, this first episode, I would be like, okay. I mean, I did see a trailer. I was like, this looks out atrocious, but <laughs> whatever. I'll accept it. Sure, somehow. I mean, and. This, I mean, for me, what it, what 
I hated the most about the show was like this entire feminist thing was just so annoying. I'm so over it. I can't, I, I'd want to stop hearing about it. I want, mm -hmm. I want these movies to stop telling me that I'm oppressed. I don't want to hear about it anymore. <laughs> like these, these freaking people, like these people, I don't know, like the, this is the same industry for that like supported and thanked uh, Harvey Weinstein for years. And yeah. then these women like, like Elizabeth Banks come, come out now and just make these movies. And I'm like, I, I don't care. Go back to your million dollar mansion. I don't care. Like, I'm going to live my life now, please. This oh. is just what aggravated. I mean, maybe we'll get there and I'm skipping through it. But like that dialogue, that meditation scene that she has with Hulk, when she basically like, devalues and invalidates his entire mm -hmm. just uh, story by being um. like, well, I'm a woman. I get catcalled in the street. You will never know what happens to me. Like you're just projecting like i can't control my emotions so well and it's just like his entire story is invalidated just because he's a man that that annoyed me to no end you'll find that i think the whole panel here is ready to be furious at that scene oh <laughs> it's, yeah it's been oh. there's a reason why that clip is getting I mean, shared I couldn't, online. I, couldn't, I couldn't stop thinking about that ever since then i mean i don't really remember the rest of the plot because that's the only thing i've been thinking about for the entire time yeah um it's, it's, just... it's we've talked about it before in terms of like the awkward nature of how they don't remember their history when they write their new projects they bring in people who don't give a fuck to even watch phase one two and three but uh this is not the man that you say this to and they didn't realize that when they wrote that scene obviously mm -hmm. yeah i was just like thinking if this was like tony stark i mean this this is never okay to say to anybody else because everybody has their own stories yeah despite their gender but like if this was someone like tony stark or anybody oh uh, i would be like okay i'll let that slide but it, this is literally like bruce benner we were talking about like he is the most tragic character in the entire mcu debatably one of the tr most tragic he you know has sacrificed so much in his life and yeah. now we're just like validating everything because we need to hype women up it's it's impossible like <laughs> Well, <laughs> you could call that a taster of when, because well, the way we do it here, we'll try and give more and more context to chat for those who haven't seen yeah, the yeah, show, yeah. you know. So um, when she's heading to this case, her friend's like, you know, do it with the, just beat it with on the principle, or you could always hulk out. And then she's like, only in a legal sense. And I remember even even me, because I was caught off guard with this. I didn't understand exactly what kind of format I was dealing with. I was like, wait, does she just say Hulk out as a phrase? Is this nothing to do? And then she's like, yes, I'm a Hulk, by the way. Like, she looks at the camera and does that. I was like, whoa! Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I wasn't ready for this. I wasn't prepared. But okay, yeah, okay. I remember, she's a fourth wall character breaking person. Okay, fine. And I yeah. known I had to talk to someone. I would have combed my hair or something. Don't talk to me just like that. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> Legit, I was like, it felt a little bit, I think it was just the nature of having, how I was watching it. I did not expect someone to turn to the camera at that point and say something to me. I was like, I, blah, blah, blah. I was like what, what's up? Yeah, so she basically just says... Imagine someone in the kitchen just making some food. It's like, oh yeah, you. It's like, huh, me? What? Was, you, what? with the noodles. And you're like, I don't it's have like, noodles. Oh, <laughs> oh, I would have put pants on if I knew we were going to have this conversation. <laughs> I, could, I could totally picture him strolling over to his pads. They'd be like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you came into my house. Yeah, um, you burst in you, here. You deserve the full experience of the <laughs> meme household. Um so yeah, this is this is one of the things that we were talking about. Uh the they do like a few months earlier. And like it's mm -hmm. the I wanna say the end, the two thirds of an end of a sentence we get of them talking. The first thing we hear is like, yeah, I made a device that puts me in human form. It's like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, why? What, what are we doing? Hey, tell me, please, tell me more. It's so unreal to me. Why has the MCU never been able to understand that the difference between him and Hulk and everything to do with that is incredibly important, but they keep fucking around with it between iterations. They're just like, I yeah. use this now. It's just like, what? Yeah, Fuck. my biggest problem with Endgame was like, oh, wait, Hulk is like, I thought they would give him like this arc 
about like his psychological state and everything, but no, he's fine. Yeah, he's fine. Don't worry about it. He even says it's healing his arm. This uh, this thing. Healing. Yeah, I, I don't understand. I just it's, don't... It's, it, it, to me, it, it's it's as blatant as um. I understand what you were doing, guys, in your last thing. I want to do this. Do you mind if I just eh, just scoot around it? And then it's like, you don't, you're not asking my permission. You're gonna do it anyway. And they're like, yep, nah. I'm gonna do it anyway. I don't, I don't even I don't even understand why this would heal his arm anyway. Well, it's sci-fi device. No, the, because the way I understand, if you have Hulk powers, you already have accelerated regenerating powers, don't you? Yeah, that's, so why that's does kind of part of the deal. Putting it in human form, repairing, prepare it faster. I, I was, I was gonna. It did seem like, say, for example, you were stuck in human form and you had an injury that wasn't healing. Going to Hulk form and then back to human form, I could see how that maybe could heal it. But the reverse, where you take an injury in Hulk form, you have to go back to human and it could heal before. It's just like I don't understand. Yeah, um, I don't get it. On. Being human heals the arms. It's like I don't know, or is it the machine itself? Well, it doesn't matter because that's going to become even less relevant soon enough. Um, oh yeah. So this so is just a question about the fourth wall breaking. Now that I've been thinking about it, do they do anything more clever than just turn to the camera? Because what I've seen of She Hulk, right? She will like tear open the pages of the comic sometimes to pitch <laughs> the writer and stuff like that, and um, it gets very we'll meta very quickly. Yeah, you know, and we don't can't answer that yet. She does it like twice, actually only once, okay. because it's when we get back to the present, it's basically the same scene that we saw. So yeah. that's what the a, only thing we've seen so far. Can I just say, by the way, what a lame sci-fi device! Just look at my arm device. It does yeah. the things <laughs> I needed to do. You're like, shut up. That's, that's <laughs> the LED. And also, I'm I'm wrong. That was the second uh, part, but that's also just turning into the camera. So yeah. Yeah, hopefully we get something uh, clever with it. I don't know if we will, though. Mm -hmm. um, so this is another clip that got around. The Ben 10 Hulk. <laughs> talks about how uh, Steve Rogers is a virgin, lol. Um, I can't believe that's oh. how they started the scene. Yeah, it's I thought this would be somewhere in, in anywhere else than in the beginning of the fucking show. It's like, oh my god. A weird choice. And... Uh... It's just like, for me, the, the joke wasn't land, or the observation didn't land, because the requirement is like, he was basically doing war stuff, like, constantly. And then I was just like, no, he wasn't. Why yeah, would you think nah. that? Why would anyone think I that? I mean, there were, there were uh, years and years and years, you know? I don't, yeah, yeah. so just, it, it makes as much sense as saying, like, yeah, all of them didn't sleep around with anybody, because they were all doing Age of Ultron, and Avengers, yeah. and... Infinity War. All those things were like days apart. It's just like, why would you? Why? And like, ah, oh, it's it's funny, right? But no sure. one laughs. No, no one laughs. <laughs> the funniest. I mean, the thing I checked out a lot of like clips from She Hulk after I watched it or reviews or whatever on YouTube. I didn't watch any of them. I just went to a comment section, and everybody was just like, the only thing everybody was discussing was just like. Captain America's virginity, and I was like, this is the only thing people take away? Okay. I mean, makes sense, I guess. This so, frame that you're on, like, because you weren't looking at the road. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that is a stealthy and ship. That the entire thing. Oh, the dude, I have so many, happened. so many questions that uh, the more information we get about this Sicarian ship as the show goes on, I wonder if this scene will get worse and worse the more they tell about it. Like, I mean, it may well, because it's probably setting up a future movie. You know, for all we know, can, it's can someone guys... looking for help, right? Like, it might not even be you know, whatever twist they want to run with. What I'm trying to say is that this will become even more insane, unlikely, and just mm. hyper-coincidental. Oh, okay. Can you remind me who the Sicarians were? Were those the shapeshifter guys? Oh, no, no I think it was the Ragnarok uh, people, Ragnarok, right? Yeah. yeah, this ship looks like the Grandmaster's type Grand design. Master. So from Sicar. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So it has I wonder to if the hold. show will actually touch upon the ship, or if it just okay that that happened. That's so, it. Might, it could be as bad as it won't come back until the last episode, for the next movie, yeah. Mm -hmm. probably. Yeah. In a post credit scene, going, "Oh yeah, we stopped okay. at McDonald's on the way from crashing Hulk." <laughs> Lol. Well, they just don't make it. They'll bring it up, but it would just be funny if they didn't, because that's essentially what we expect from them at this point. Yeah. <laughs> um. She. <laughs> Talking about that, and then that just appears, and she crashes in such a way that it just fucks him up completely. Um, 
And like the, it's so obvious. I guess because I already knew what was going to happen, so it's kind of unfair to me to say. But it's just like, oh yes, she's got a wound on her arm. Is from... Bruce smiling? Probably. Uh, <laughs> well, she doesn't, in fairness, she doesn't actually have a wound, right? She cuts her arm when she's she crawling out. Her arm on the door. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then she drags Bruce out, and his the head, blood from his head gets on her arm. And I think he. So even I guess he can. Doesn't he say he like haunt, something uh, while being a little? He says, "My blood, like, watch out." It's something like that. Yeah, yeah. That would be this weird. is probably one of the worst origin stories I've ever seen. <laughs> like, <laughs> what I can't believe the... they didn't use what? the fucking source. The source is way better than this. The whole yeah, blood sorry. transfusion blood thing. Blood transfusion. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. Why not? It makes so much sense. It's sitting right there, and you clearly read the source because you're fucking with portions <laughs> of it. Like, you've taken bits of it. Why didn't you take the whole thing? I don't understand. What's the point? Wait, what's the source then? She She's so, about to die she and needs a blood transfusion? A yeah, okay, and then he okay. chooses to give her a blood transfusion. You can you can extract character from that, that he would make that choice. Yeah, yeah. Knowing the potential consequences and how does she feel about that. Exactly. The you were yeah. almost there. You, you were almost there, and then he decided to do this yeah. lame-ass bullshit. Well, that, they weren't fools. almost there. They saw it and... <laughs> They chose That's, their I mean, game to think that it was that I mean, we're while. almost there. We had the crash, and we just had to change it a little bit. Oh, the okay. Leaky, leaky crash. <laughs> yeah. There's no character writing. Just with, we can go without it. it just well, let her drop on top of him. And just... so I, I guess... Oh, wait, actually, we can get to that in a minute. Um, one thing I got from this, almost to me, I was like, holy fuck, this is one of the most jarring TV show episodes I've ever seen. Like, we're already done with that, we're already done with that, we're done with this, she's got her mm -hmm. power, she's She-Hulk already, and... Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I was just like, oh, fuck, we're moving real fucking quick. But that makes sense, because there was a lot of things I've seen people talk about with this show, and then I was like, wait, one episode's only, like, 30 minutes long? What? How, how does that happen? Like, what happens in this thing? Um... Don't worry, that makes sense, because we get a new scene every, like, two seconds. But yeah, she, um, she, she hulks out immediately and runs off into the forest. Yeah. yeah. It's just like, That scene oh. was so confusing. I was just Bye -bye. like, what happened? It's, it's crazy. It's so fast. Everything is so... Oh, yeah, they also show that Bruce is hulking out, too, because his, uh, his device got damaged. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm not looking forward to summarizing all of this. So, <laughs> she... I'm sorry. Wakes up in the forest, walks into a bar. This is so... Because I remember you telling me about this before I watched the episode for this. It's going to be as weird as when you told me. Walks into a bar, walks into the bathroom. Is like clearly just had a real bad day. Uh, four ladies walk in and just give her a makeover. Yeah. What? It's the, yeah. I don't know. Why um... would you write any of this this way? Like, <laughs> what is this? I find it also weird because she... She gets to this bar or whatever it is, and just sneakily goes to the public toilet. Yeah. And instead of going into the bar, it's like, hey, there was like a car crash, because that's surely the last thing she's, she remembers. Can I have a phone? Because that's all she apparently wanted from the, the other ladies here in a little bit when, when they arrived. So I, I, I don't know why she just sneakily went into the well, public room. It's and weird. Did you catch... Are they just roaming bands of women giving makeovers Apparently. to whoever look like they're dirty? In my experience. Wasn't there a, wasn't there a <laughs> quote from the, the creators of this scene that they were like, the women's bathroom is a very sacred, safe place and all women know what other women need when they're in there or some shit like that. It was you know like, what? excuse me. <laughs> I'll, ex I'll, ex uh, I'll, I'll expose all the women. I mean, the only... Like women, like that. That the only way we support each other is just ha hold our hairs back. Maybe I don't know. That's, <laughs> that's yeah. That's the most feminist thing that is going on there. And, you know, it just wait, wait, wait. They don't supply them a full makeover and new outfit whenever they go in. <laughs> they like it's fucking. Your shoes? It's like GTA. She walks in and it just like presses button and just got a new outfit. It's like, what? <laughs> Because I think some people in chat might not appreciate what happens here. I'll try and fast forward, but it just basically cuts, and she's just got a whole outfit done. And yeah, yeah. See, look at her. It's like, what the fuck? What? Did, like, what? Where did the first? I just, did the, what? They even, gave, give, <laughs> they even give her shoes. They give her shoes. And and you're like, wait, what? 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 What was this again? It's like She Hulk. You're like, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Um. Oh, and uh, there's a line of something like, who did this to you? Babe, he's not worth it. 
he's not worth it. What? Like, uh... oh, 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 fuck. <laughs> I, this is, this script is transparent. I can see right through to the writer. Yes. Crazy, right? Speaking of, she, uh, she stands out here for about five seconds, and then some men. Oh, the gross. men turn, oh. look at these predators. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were over this. They're like, hey, baby, you wanna? I don't even know. What... I th I think they only go as far as saying like, wanna hang out, um, which is already, you know, they're at the dawn level, so she's clear to break their hand. Um, <laughs> so it's not even like the the eighties Supergirl <sighs> movie where it's very clear they're trying to sexually assault her. It's just like, hey, what's up? And they're just like, you die now. There's this. There's this entire episode. It's just like. Like big text, it's like thirty minutes of black screen and written, like black screen and patriarchy written on it. And that <laughs> was it. That was the entire episode. It could have saved... just simply been that. It would have saved me a lot of time for sure. I mean, her just chilling yeah. there, it's like whatever. And then if just any male is like, "Hello," I'm like, "Oh, villain!" <laughs> 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 oh He's gonna get her. Run! He's gonna get you. <laughs> well, didn't, Good wasn't it a similar thing with WandaVision where as soon as the white general, the white male general shows up, yeah. it's like, oh yeah, you're gonna be like the, the antagonist for no reason. Um, they make the fatal error of giving her lots and lots of attention and she fucking screams at them. That's and the then Hulk. things get real weird, because I had to watch this like three times over because I had no idea what they were trying to say happened, but I can go frame by frame here, so chat, you can well see. She's, I'm she's, pretty sure Hulk tackles her, right? That's where I was going with it, you fuck. I was trying to- I couldn't tell if she had punched one oh. of them, or if something else had happened, and then I rewatched it. Didn't know. <laughs> and then I was like, face, well, no, though. I can go frame by frame, innit? So, oh, yeah, actually, gonna... it looked like she was gonna do something violent to them. Luckily, a superhero was in the uh, neighborhood. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank, Thank God. God. Um, yeah, Hulk just turned up, I guess, and uh, got her out of there. But again, because of how jarring the show is, we apparently go from the guys, like, chatting her up, to her about to do something to him, the Hulk tackling her, D to black screen, to her waking up in Hulk's little, like, chill place. And it's just like, wait, what? Is what? this the... The, this is the pacing of like a five minute animated skit where you have to just be like, beat, exactly. beat, 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 beat. Feels to me like, like what's um, happening? this feels like a pitch. Like you send to somebody, if this was all drawn, it's like storyboarding, and you're just like, this is kind of the broad strokes. Obviously, I'll fill it in as we go. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we're here now. It's like she got knocked out, I guess? I, I yeah. guess so. Alright. So you, you could probably see it, you could probably see it two ways. Uh, I mean, not really. I guess she got knocked out one way or another. But she either got knocked out by Bruce, or Hulk, whatever you want to prefer to say. Right. Or she just doesn't remember what happened after, because she's not in control yet. I don't know. Is that supposed to be the Ultron and... helmet, by the way? Yeah, it is. Uh, mm. It looks like it, yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know if it's I would want to keep that as a... No, I know, I know, it's not really a great so, heirloom, is it? Certainly not <laughs> for Banner. The robot I helped create yeah. and nearly destroyed the world. I mean, I would argue he is, he is equally as responsible as Tony. People don't like to think about that, but unfortunately for of Banner, he, he did agree. Uh, yeah. so. May I nitpick? Go ahead. No. So, I might be... It's been a while since I've engaged with the old Age of Ultron, like, as a full You're film. You're going to say but... the mask isn't accurate to how it should look? Is that what you going to say? Like it's it's red when I'm pretty sure it was like not red, and it looks like he painted it up to look more like Tony's mask rather than like the because he had all the little like Iron Man bots, and that's what he in, was inhabiting, and they were like blue and silver, weren't they? I think that one's blue, isn't it? Yeah, it's blue. Isn't it? Is it's it blue? Of... Oh, it might be the lighting, maybe. No, it's just blue. I think it's dark. But well, to be fair, uh, I'm not sure exactly what you're. You might you might be seeing something different to us, right? Because of the. Yeah, things. maybe. maybe I, it does look like a dark possible. blue uh, on my screen. Okay, because it looks red to me, but may, uh, I'm also like a little colorblind, so uh, maybe that's um, affecting it. But usually it doesn't go that drastic, so I'm not sure what's going on. Mm -hmm. Well, time to remove your eyes. Yeah, okay. you get new ones, that's right. And um, eyes are us. Oh, uh, chat said, some people in chat are saying, looks red, looks green, my god, this is like a litmus test. <laughs> oh god. What color do you see? 
Um, I don't see color. So then... I can't see. <laughs> Now we're about to get, like, a very long set of things being said that... Uh, it's so annoying that they have... They have the power, these random writers that get brought in, to just absolutely do whatever the fuck they want with the reality that is the timeline in the MCU. And it's so unfortunate every time I have to listen to some random be like, Right, so this is what I think happened between all these characters you've liked for decades. <laughs> just like, oh man... <laughs> Oh no. Actually, um, if I may briefly swerve back to the helmet, this is turning no. in chat into the. You remember the dress? The, the blue oh, and yeah. black dress? Oh. I think this is turning into that in chat. Like, everyone's disagreeing on what it actually is, like, depending on their frame of reference. Um, well, I, I, to be fair, I don't even know what mask necessarily that it is. It, it, it could be the first one we see Ultron wearing. It could be something else. I don't know. Um, yeah. So. Uh, yeah, uh, something I found interesting, one of the first lines he has is, um, don't worry, I talk to your parents, they know you're okay. Um, but it, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it's ADR, it's, uh, it's done off-screen, you can't even see, I don't think you can see his head, you can only see his body, uh, when he says mm. it to her. I think that's funny, because that's probably a, the matter of the writer didn't think she would give a fuck about telling her family on their first draft. Because, like, that's so consistent with the writer's, um... Across all this, I was talking to Fringy about this the other day. Um, I was grabbing a clip from X Men Two. I needed it for my mm -hmm. video. You'll all understand why when you see it. Uh, there's a part where uh, Scott and Professor X are visiting Magneto, and if you remember, it's like a trap, and they gas the Professor, and they take both him and Scott to a it's not like Hoover Dam, is it? It's some big dam place. I don't, I don't remember exactly where, but it's just a place where Stryker's doing his, his themes. Um, yeah. So, uh, when uh, Professor X comes to, he's in his chair, he's got like a thing on his head to prevent him from being able to access anybody's minds, and Stryker's like, you know, hello, Charles, or whatever, trying to do his little taunting thing. And the first thing Charles says is, where's Scott? What have you done with him? Like, ah, beautiful, because that's what the character should care about. That should be number one. He was with Scott when this happened. Worst case scenario, they killed Scott because he's not valuable compared to Professor X, so he wants to know where he is. Good stuff. Meanwhile, in this show, she's gone on this crazy rampage. She's not turned up to work. She was in a car crash. If anything, that car may have been found with her blood at the site, but no body. Mm -hmm. People will likely be panicking at this point. So it should be on her mind, like... I don't know about you guys, but like if you disappeared, quote unquote, there's a lot of people who would care, possibly, in your lives, that you want to make sure, mm -hmm. no, you're okay. She didn't. They didn't write her to care about that. So they were like, oh, fuck, we better have a line. Like, <laughs> we better have some line. What could the Hulk say? Mm -hmm. Don't worry, I talked to your parents, they know you're fine. Oh, okay. She doesn't even respond to it with language. She just sort of no, looks at him. Was, That's yeah. true, yeah. 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 yeah, it definitely was. And like, like really would that even... Would that even be good enough to be told, I've told your parents you were in a car crash and that you're okay? It's like, well, no, no I need I to speak call... to them. Yeah, the call is like, hey, I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm conscious. Yeah, and so... Was... And I'm, I'm, I'm going to presume they don't present, like, forgetfulness or something like that as, like, um, a personality trait or something as part of some kind of character framework. It's just no, they forgot no. No, I think to they just put any up. reference That's in. It. Yeah. They just screwed up. It's that simple. Someone said this That's is complete speculation by Baller. It's like, well, yeah, I, I didn't see them make this. Uh, but the fact that she doesn't respond and you don't see his face when he says it, I think it was pretty good evidence. Yeah, I'd say so. We're, uh, we're playing detective here, chat. True. That's what we always do with these things. We're trying detective to figure out Mahler. why they ended up this way. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, as for the ship, he just says he's going to get to the bottom of it. And, and I think he even says at the end of the set, it's like, weird things happen when you're a Hulk. Like, yeah. Okay. I know, I think it's kind of a funny line. I don't know why. It's just this, uh, this world, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, he, uh, he explains that he and she have unique DNA that does stuff with gamma. But... Yeah, they're able to synthesize gamma radiation with their ge uh, genetics. Um... And I was immediately like, oh, is that like a... Is that like a family thing in your family? Would your brother be able to do that too? Or is it just completely random and lucky for her that that's a thing that works? 
Well, I guess the thing is, is this is where I get confused. I would assume that, but I'm pretty sure he later says it was like one in a million. I don't know why you would say that to describe like a shared genetic trait, you know? You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't know that that, yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Yeah. Um, and there's, there's just, this happens in this episode so many times, but he says somehow like her blood is special enough that it does that, but also it healed his arm. Like he managed to synthesize her blood in such a way that it just fully healed his arm. And yeah. like, oh. Why? And her response to that is, oh, because I'm better than you? Yeah, it's like, what are you doing? Um, what are you saying? And there are so many ways you could have phrased. You chose that one. Well, okay. so she does it. You can tell what they're going for, that she's, it would be in the same way that it's why, because I'm better than you, like, smiley face, like, tee hee. But you're just sort of sitting there like, ugh. And she does it so many times throughout the episode. I was like, yep. what? Like, oh, it's yeah. like, if Ray from sequels actually like had a fourth wall break and just was like, "Yeah, I, I am, I am a god," but basically, I am a god. Well, it just doesn't. It's Love relentless, Luke, right? Because he he corrects her. He's like, "No, no, no, different." And um, different. you know, as a result of this, I can be myself again. Then she goes, "Oh, smug Hulk." <laughs> yeah. It's, like, uh... it's just like what? Kappa Hulk. And he's like, no, Smart Hulk. And she's like, it's pretty smug to choose the name Smart Hulk. And then he's like, I, I didn't choose the name. Yeah, like, this like, dialogue it's, to me, like, it's not, it's like chemistryless. It's just like, are you, do you guys hate each other? Or what's going on? Like, yeah. I mean, I definitely had her character, I can tell you that much. Well, so that's the big thing that's going around right now, is that everybody's like, man, this is a really hard to like character instantly. Which is a problem they've been having with a lot of their mm -hmm. new characters. Very difficult to like them. Because for some reason, they keep trying the strategy of, well, what if your characters you like from before say that they're cool and then also get beaten by the new person in every way, like characteristically and power wise? Wouldn't that, isn't that good? Would that, would no. that do it? And you're like, oh, no. oh, no, oh, no. That's, no. that's, that's no. not enough. That would be maybe a nice extra bonus, they would say that. The if you do all the, every, if you, <laughs> you do, <laughs> there's a few steps do, before you get to there, um, before yeah. you can earn anything even close to that. But you know, what do I know? I don't get paid millions of dollars to to write this shit. Well, that's your yeah. fault, isn't it? <laughs> Should be. That's true. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, he's like, oh, this is a big old, big old curse. Sucks to be you, Hulk, Hulk, Hulk. And then she's like, well, just give me a device like you had to make you make me not a Hulk, and then he's like, well, that was a prototype, and then she's like, do it for me, and he's like, it doesn't work like that. And I'm just sitting here like, I fucking, I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know how any of any of that works. I don't, I, it looks, it's, that's really up to the writer, isn't it? <laughs> the writer could have been like, yeah, you can have one, or no, you can't have one. Um, but obviously we quickly find out she doesn't need a device, because it's pretty much like a switch. She can just turn She-Hulk on and off whenever she wants. Apparently. Well, the, hmm. It's, it's weird, because the first time she definitely d wasn't in control, but then all of a sudden, in the lobby, it's like, "Oh no, I'm fine. I can do it myself." It's like, "Oh, can you? Why?" Like the they just established the mechanics, but I don't think they check out from what they show us earlier. Yeah, unless they want to go like, "Oh yeah, she just had to experience it twice by accident, and then she can just do it." I guess I, I don't know. Yeah, he like vaporizes her blood and says that this is hyper dangerous. That's a plot point. That's definitely going to be a plot point. Why mm -hmm. would that be? Yeah, it, to me, it felt really I like so specifically, unless that's going to be rather later. Yeah, it could have just been like you know destroyed all traces of our blood from the crimes, not crime scene, the scene. But instead, they make a big deal out of this thing, and it was like, oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know how that's going to yeah. come up. Maybe the Sakarians will relate to this in some way. They Maybe they're gonna blood. use it to make the son of Hulk from Planet Hulk or something. Like, that's mm -hmm. how you get that character. Because they do, oh, look, oh, I got I the blood. Now we've all got a Hulk. More, more plot relevant to the show. Maybe, Maybe. someone will want to get the blood. Yeah. So that they can use it to get superpowers. Um, yeah, he says you got to stay away from people until you learn how to control yourself. Because at this point, he's treating her entirely like she's got the same issue he, he did back when he was... Yeah. Uh, as he should. Yeah. yeah, it makes complete sense. Uh, they have. Oh yeah, what happens food. when She Hulk gets her period? That's a good question. Oh, that's not a good question. Why do we have to answer? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a relevant question. 
So, uh, you guys may have seen this from either trailers or clips or whatever, but there's this, there's this setup where he's got her in a room, and he's like, we gotta trigger your transformation with anger and fear. And she's... Mm -hmm. I gotta read this out, okay? I'm sorry. Okay, go on. She's like, anger and fear? Those are baseline for a woman existing. Disagree, your honor. Yeah, well, hey, she, this objection is, relevance. This is uh, <laughs> will be thoroughly enjoyed by women everywhere. I'm sure of it. So, hey, remember that comic panel that's going around? That's like the exact opposite of of this scene. I'm pretty sure mutually. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. The, I mean, uh, the that that one. yeah. Yeah, I want to see that TV show where yeah. She Hulk is like supportive of Hulk. That would be nice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, likable characters. Ugh. Get out of here. Gross. Well, and so to get a bit of the reverse, uh, he just starts up the Soul Blade machine. Mm -hmm. and... Now, this is pretty bad for him as yeah. a character, considering that later in the episode he uses a mega horn and that works. It's like, man, maybe we should like ease into this, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like, maybe I don't... start with the mega horn and then. I don't see the point of this. And move on to the torture chamber, you know, instead of. Especially considering that when you got in the crash, you got hurt, my man. Like, so she could be hurt too. I, I presume, unless that that uh that device he put on him like just it's makes just, him so that he can be seriously maimed. I guess. Yep. Part of the absurdity of this is like he's really enjoying this. He's like, oh, uh, he, like he shouldn't be. Yeah. as though he one hundred percent knows the outcome, but he couldn't possibly. He couldn't know the outcome. Yeah. And she's only transformed twice, and you understand nothing about her condition. Neither of you do, which uh, of course was. I don't know why I'd be highlighting that for any particular reason, that neither of them have much information at this moment. Yeah. And so, and um... Uh, nor will, in 30 seconds either. But, yeah. Obviously, she panics There's the fuck so out, and can. does... Like, he even makes this face of, like, ooh, hope she makes it. Just like, who, who are you? <laughs> why do I have to um, ask myself that question so much these days with the MCU? Yeah. Who is this character that I thought I know? God, that's quite Who a are you people? Quite a face, isn't it, right there? <laughs> it's like, ugh. Yeah. It's an emote it's like face. Gore. Hulk cringe. So, um, yeah, she does Hulk out. And then he's like, woohoo, you did it. And then she gets angry and, like, breaks open the door, which, to be fair, I mean, yeah, he did try to kill you, so why not? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Like, a, it was hard for me to feel things. <laughs> like, at this point, I was just like, why is any of this happening? Um, because like getting her to, to quote unquote Hulk out is a hell of a lot easier than what he just did here, and this whole yeah, facility really is fucking is. absurd. If I'm being completely honest with you, like what this particular like, not, thing. Let's oh. not forget that the Incredible Hulk established that you know all you need to Hulk out is to just get a little bit too excited in bed. I think you could get uh, I think mild electric shocks. You know the horn as mentioned, uh, not that kind. Chat. Get your mind out the gutter. Like, there are so... <laughs> there are so many fucking ways you could have tried to shock her before going like, hey, we're going to put a bunch of buzz saws into your body and see if you don't die. Uh, <laughs> I, I guess I thought it was funny. Like, or like, cool. I don't know. It's, but it's it's really dumb. Um... As she even points out, what is this chamber? You just have a chamber that has saws in it. Yeah. Did you build this beforehand, like, to test it on yourself? Do you lock yourself in and then do tests like that? Like, what? what is this chamber? When Tony was installing all this for you, yeah. <laughs> Tony helped build it. What was uh, he Tony, wondering can you... about the chainsaw Tony... room? Daniel, can you... Tony, can you make sure I have my chainsaw room prepared for this night? It's like, uh, sure? Hmm. So, like, it's the kind of room you would expect Tony to put in as, like, a multi-million dollar joke, and then it's just like, no, 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 it's the real lab. <laughs> we quickly Love discover it. she doesn't have a second Alternate personality. personality. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's just her both times, and he's like, oh, wow. And he says, you don't have an alter ego? And she goes, no. And he goes, I think I'm jealous. Is that jealousy uh, I'm feeling? I'm and the way like, he says uh... it... The, the way he and says then... it's like, have you never felt jealousy, jealousy before? What What... what... Why are you so confused by this feeling? Oh my god, that oh, facial no, I don't think 
I don't think that's what it means. I think he's just saying that he's jealous because she just gets to skip over a significant portion of I mean, yeah, uh, sure. movies he had. It's just the way I he guess- says it, though. It sounds like he never felt jealousy before. That's, that's what it sounded like to me. Uh, I just, yeah, I figured it was that he was just like, yeah, this is d- d- totally different for her. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. I guess so. so been... I, I guess what I would say already, though, first and foremost, I don't know if like this is conclusive enough. I think you need to do more tests. You know, yeah, what if there's some weird fluke or something? Like, well, I don't know. Like, um, it seems it seems kind of a uh, a bit foolish to just assume that everything's chill. You know, straight away. How long so has it been? I've got a. Cool- yeah, I've got a question about this because obviously I haven't seen the show, but like I've heard, I think Metal, you were talking to me about this yeah. scene earlier. And my just my question, the thing that kept going through my head because I, what kind of fascinates me about Hulk as a character is the whole idea that um the, you know the gamma bomb, what it was doing is it was um uh the Hulk is like a is like a is a split personality that kind of already existed in some form. So someone else going through that experience might not have the alter ego because Bruce already has like pre-built psychological issues so with the scene like this where someone else comes out pre-baked without the alter ego for me i was just like bruce you're not going to question that like beyond going you're jealous are you going to just aren't you going to go wait what is fundamentally different here is there something different with me is there something different with you is there something here like that could be a lead in to doing some interesting hulk stuff like him like trying to probe what the hell's going on in his brain where he turned into this like toddler this giant angry toddler while she just turns into bigger version of herself um uh, but from do they go any deeper than just oh i'm I'm jealous of that no oh well anyway we're gonna just go on we are Uh, We, so the so there's more that happens, but in terms of exploring the nature of alternate personalities no, and stuff, we're nothing. done. Um, we are absolutely done. <laughs> um, but then this leads into like probably like the first part where I got particularly frustrated because um, Bruce is like, oh well, I guess we can. He has like a little binder that just documents the whole journey of you know because yeah, he's a scientist and, and smart. He documented all the things that's been sure. happening. Um, yeah. so he's got, he's got the little binder, yeah, that goes through, like, getting the exposure to gamma radiation mm-hmm. all the way through, like, integrating the two selves, you know, and he, he rips it out, says, oh, we, we can skip that, and then Jennifer says, kind of seems like I'm done here. Yeah, um, uh, it's been, man. It's been, a, it's been a day, man. Like, you're not done here, and the fact that you said that you're done here, it says something about your priorities. You are it now does. quite dangerous, innately. Um, Ross described Hulk or compared him to a nuclear weapon, um, which seems apt in terms mm-hmm. of the destructive capabilities to just be like, yeah, seems like I'm done because I don't have an alter ego I have to deal with. I'm good. I can go home, right? Yeah. Like, ooh, don't like that. Um, says something about your priorities. Your priorities being you specifically with oh, yeah. no regard for like anybody else or like any potential problems that could be caused by your new condition. Do you know I mean, he immediately points out, you can't control when you transform, like, seems important. Are you even mm-hmm. just used to walking around as a much taller, much more powerful entity in the world? Like, are you used to that at all? I don't think so. You have no idea how to, like, transform back either. This is just a really um, irresponsible, I think is the, the correct word. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Um, well, so it seems bad when I think the impression that we're meant to get from that opening scene is that um she is not she is supposed to be to some extent thoughtful and considerate with regard to her moral framework um this is not indicative of that oh no you'd think so especially being a lawyer like she's uh, certainly aware mm-hmm. of how all that works uh, more so than the average person usually so feels weird but um mm-hmm. funnily enough that thought had come to my mind but they do something here that I like and then it gets completely undercut soon enough. Because you have Hulk saying, you still can't control when you transform, and you can't be emotional. Regular anger can cause death and destruction, and when people see you as a monster, that never goes away. And I, yeah, me- I when like he said that. that, I was like, oh, I'm thinking about Age of Ultron, that scene yeah. where mm-hmm. Hulk sees everyone looking at him. I was like, yeah, that probably is still weighing on him to this day. I don't know why it wouldn't. So, um, 
And mm -hmm. she seems to take that as sound advice. And I was like, all right, fine. We're, this is better. We're moving on. We'll see how far we can get with that. But um, felt like to me they're immediately making uh, fun of Hulk. Like, almost smash cutting to him being like, that, we do Zen, mindfulness, uh, you know, meditation y things. And she's like, oh. It's just like, okay, <laughs> great. We're I'm, not, all... I'm not even convinced she took that as 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 too hard as you as you said because she just says, "Oh, train, train me to be a Hulk, I guess." Like, please, like the way she says it, it sounds very cynical. I guess what I'm trying to say is that she submitted, um, which yeah, okay, to me is like fair. good, good. But unfortunately, that's only stepping stone oh, yeah, to something girl. else. Yeah. yeah. Um, I can't remember the last time a character frustrated me this much. She's just <laughs> like a she's literally like a responsible child throughout this entire episode. Mm -hmm. And like Hulk is trying to be an adult and Bruce is trying to be an adult in this situation, like, but she's like, No, I know better. Yeah. And I'm like you of don't course it's like no problem that she obviously is not happy with the situation and wants to get back to her regular life. It's just that Surely you recognize that for a time you can't, for the sake of everybody yeah. else. I feel like, if, if, like if someone tells you who has been dealing with this for 15 years, it's like, hey, if you fuck up once, like you could kill a lot of people, including your loved ones. Yeah, like, and oh, fuck. Yeah, take as much time as you need. I don't want it's that. It's been bad. one day. It's been one day, and her nature has been fundamentally altered in a way that is like potentially very dangerous to yes. just not give a shit. Is, is not great. Like, I, not for a moment, I believe that this is an adult woman with a, like, lawyer's degree, with a stable career, and does not have a better judgment than this. Like, uh, I, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's just disappointing. I don't know. I, I'm just frustrated with this entire thing. I don't I, even I... have much to say. I don't blame anybody for being frustrated with this, especially with what's coming, because uh, we're almost to that wonderful scene. Oh, God. But before then, we get to see Hulk fucking around with her some more, which is still strange to me, but whatever. Uh, just the, the horn waking her up with that. And then... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, not that this horn whole... meme. Stop it. <laughs> um, this whole episode's full... episode feels like a... Like a um, a montage that was like too yeah. long. Oh yeah. You just skip through it. Skip through everything. Um, and then he's like, you know, wherever you live in future, you need it to be reinforced. And she's like sighing, I assume, because she's like, I don't have to do any of this really. And then they're doing yeah. like exercises. He's telling her about spandex. He tosses a boulder. She tosses one, and he gets really insecure about his boulder tossing, and so he fires a fucking comet into. Earth. Um, sure hope that doesn't come down on any populated area. I don't see how this could possibly be anything but dangerous as fuck, what he does there. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, his speech does kind of ring hollow, doesn't it? This is what I mean. <laughs> I had a lot of trouble watching these little bits after having him be, like, all about the responsibility. I was like, um, okay. I well, get that. We gotta get back to the memes. Wait, it's, it falls right into our uh, category of Marvel want to tell jokes all the time. And you're like, yeah, but your jokes are overlapping with some of your dramatic elements. No, shut up. We Our jokes are in isolation. Doesn't matter what the joke is, it's in isolation. You're like, it's not, though. Mm -hmm. So they don't even try to do the smart person man thing of like, oh, I have calculated the speed and trajectory of this throw so that oh, it. That would uh, be cringe. But... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, doesn't um, I can't remember if there's like a line like they they're doing some like jumps and lands and then she just goes she doesn't she say like man or something like that yeah yeah she goes yeah. like ah oh, men men I, men I, I don't you. even know what don't the fuck that was supposed on. to be yeah I I was the same I was like is there something I'm supposed to be drawing from this like <laughs> what the fuck are you doing. Um, and I guess the that's, Zara again, thing. once once again, that's comedy, uh, question mark? It is. <sighs> Very funny. Um, men, 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 Did Emmy Schwimmer write this? Really? Uh, oh, and yeah, they do balancing, and she's better at it than he is, and he gets even more frustrated. I mm -hmm. don't know why they opted for this. Why? 
This reminds me of like, you know, how they they had a chance to make Doctor Strange teach America Chavez how to use magic. What did they opt to do? Uh, nothing. Like, oh, okay. Nothing. We have a chance here to opt to, for Hulk to teach She-Hulk about what it's like to live like this. What do they do instead? Uh, they make her way better than him at everything and make him jealous. I don't even know why he would give a fuck about that. I've never I don't associated, know why either. like, I've never jealousy with impression. fucking Bruce Banner. Yeah, but he's, like, like, hyper insecure. He's yeah. he was a more well rounded and adult man in Avengers than he has been since. <laughs> like, is that just what's funny. happened and to in him? Avengers, in Avengers, he should have been it's... quite not well rounded, really, given his life circumstances, which we'll be talking about soon enough. Yay. Oh yeah, <laughs> I feel like Bruce Banner would actually be happy for her. Especially if it's yeah. That's what I was about to say yeah, she, <laughs> he should be thrilled that he's just like, oh, you are like. You don't have to of lose years powers. of your life like yeah. I did. Yeah, that's cool. And there's yeah, so many great be. opportunities for payoffs there that he's like he celebrates for her, and then he goes, you know, I'll be back. I got to go sort something out, and then she can like catch him just, you know, despondent. And she'd be like, "Well, what's wrong?" And it's like, "Well, I, I mean, none of that worked out that way for me. Let's just put it that yeah. way." Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I don't want to take away from how well you're doing. I just, it's just, yeah, you know, and just stuff like that. Seems like that. To, Instead. Yeah. Instead, holy shit! What what can come after me saying instead? What do they do instead? This is another example, by the way. They hit the ground. He does, then she does, and hers like knocks over palm trees, and he gets mad at her, so he hits her off the cliff. Yeah. Just to think that this is the same Bruce Banner that was like in Avengers: First Avengers, like standing back to back with like Tony Stark, and like the fact that Tony Stark was like, "You're a great scientist," and now. Yeah. We're here. You could say yeah. degraded. Yeah. <laughs> As with all characters. It's not the same character. Like No. I just That's another thing I've been seeing in my recommended pop up a lot is videos about how the Hulk has been destroyed. This is like, yep. Uh Welcome. How are you doing? I think it's see. safe to pinpoint it at exactly Infinity War to Endgame. If not Infinity War, it was Infinity War's decision not, like, right at the end that really fucked everything mm. up. Yeah. Uh, they mm -hmm. had their chance and they screwed up. Endgame just put him in his coffin and then everything else has been whatever. Because, yeah, the opening of Infinity War, when we saw him get beaten up by Thanos, I think everyone expected he'd make a comeback. But it, no, he died there. <laughs> that's the yeah. Hulk that went into a Hulk. coma. See, some people are saying Ragnarok killed him. Ragnarok did not kill the Hulk. Nah. Nope. Dude, he fought uh, uh, Fenris in that, and it was epic as fuck. He took on a giant wolf and beat it. That did not ruin Hulk, okay? Now, I'll he happily concede... Hulk personality. I'll happily concede there's complications with Hulk going every step forward from the first Avengers, but uh, nothing compared to what we got now. He no. used to be an angry thing that beat things up. <laughs> that he used to have duality. He used to have a struggle. Because, you know, shit on a, what, what choices there were in, in Age of Ultron. But um, the scene where him and Iron Man fight, and all of it because of his brain getting fucked with, and him having to deal with that, I think that's all great. Mm -hmm. and, and they actively call attention to what a big deal it is. What, what was the line? Like, this is the first time the public is seeing the real Hulk, or something like that. Just, yeah. just really emphasizing what a big deal this is. Um, so, uh, because yeah, I was gonna uh, highlight as well. Some people think that um, him talking ruined him. I think people forget he said a word in Avengers <laughs> or two words, yeah. Uh, and he's been Hulk for years, um, by the time of Ragnarok, so he's probably developed more of an independent personality yeah. by that point. I think they even allude to that with lines with Banner, with how I think he even says like some certain things about the Hulk had, had changed. Um, and I think that was alluding to the fact that he had become much more of a personality rather than just f full rage all the time. Um, which, you know, they could have done something with what they did. <sighs> so, moving on. Um, I think, oh yeah, they talk about how they can get super duper 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 drunk because, what's the quote That's... exactly? Um... We can drink so much and not get drunk. And I, I, when I heard oh, that, I was like, why would you do that? <laughs> What's the point? He yeah. says it's all bus but no barf. So I guess you still get like a, you still get drunk. Well, apparently. then why would you say you don't get drunk? I don't know, because the writers are stupid. Oh. Because, you know, <laughs> buzz, like, I'm, I'm not going to lie, the buzz part of drinking is 
fine, but I'm there to be drunk. That's the fun part. Yeah. Yeah, same. Yeah. Not the, I want to get buzzed. That sounds like shit, man. To down, like, liters of Malibu and just be like, well, woohoo. This feels a little... Ooh. Could have also drank a Coke, I guess. <laughs> mm. Um... Yeah, and then... And then the, I wasn't sure how to feel about... Like, this is such complicated... Whenever they touch anything to do with Tony, Steve, and the Civil War era, I'm just like, you better be careful. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you saying? Yeah. And they're like, yeah. hands off. You know, like, ah, oh, uh, Tony, because earlier he said that Tony built him this place. And there's a line I actually quite liked where he said something like, um, he, like, trails off almost. He says, uh, Tony told me it was, like, a loner and that, you know, he would take it back. He would have it for this, that, and the other someday. And then, like, he, like, looks mm. down. It's just the implication of, like, yeah, obviously, Tony died. Um, and then he's, uh, you see their initials are carved into this thing as well. And he says mm -hmm. that a lot of the time was spent with Tony drinking and talking about Steve or complaining about him. And I was like... Uh, that's, yeah, that's fine. That's fair. I'll allow it. Um, that's gonna be relevant soon. Don't you worry about that. Mm. So, yeah, he's like, time to start the next day, and uh, we're we're pretty much there. Fortunately, it's the amazing scene. Um. So the main argument Hulk has right now. Is that you shouldn't go back to main world because you've got to get an understanding and full control over this thing. And the main thing that allows you to do that is controlling your emotions. Obviously, the, as an audience at this point, it's pretty easy to understand. Yeah, Hulk is very much an emotions bomb. And so that's the mm -hmm. part that you've got to get under control. If you rage the fuck out, you'll get people hurt. I understand. Yeah, it's all good. Alrighty. Um, so then we... Uh, we have her giving a sort of response, you could say, um, and 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 it, and it, and it's gotten around. I was gonna mm -hmm. say like I could probably play it for you guys in chat, but I think it's just too long. I'd be risking lots of copyright fees. Yeah. So, I guess I could read out the notes I've got, which are, um, you know, he's saying you got to regulate your emotions. You got to make sure you control them. Really important to do that. And so she says. I do that all the time. I, I'm catcalled. I'm told what's what by incompetent men. I do it every day because otherwise I get called emotional or difficult or uh, I might get murdered. Which I'll just read out the whole thing before. Uh, it just says, I'm an expert at controlling my anger because I do it infinitely more than you. And then she says, oh. all of this feels like you're projecting your shit on me. Mm, so, like, Bruce tried to fucking kill himself, and then Hulk wouldn't let him, and the reason he tried to kill himself is because he was sick of being this walking time bomb. Um, no. I think their biggest mistake was throwing catcalling in that. It's such a yeah. low-level yeah. offense that it's just going to be laughed at. Like, are you serious? Why would you throw that in alongside all the other shit we're trying to talk about here? Um, men, like, talking over you despite being less competent than you? Like, Jesus Christ, I'm so sorry. And then, of course, being called emotional or difficult if you don't control your emotions. You're like, you got all these, and then she says, also, I might get murdered. And you're like, what, what is hap- what are we describing here? <laughs> she just mm -hmm. goes from like catcalling to like murder. <laughs> Apparently. So uh yeah, and, and this is the thing, a lot of people have tried to talk about different angles on this. Uh one of the ones that gets taken is like maybe this all would have been fine if not for that one part where she makes it about how she does she deals with more and deals with it better than him. Had she not had that yeah. part in there, maybe this would have been fine. Um But like why the hell did you make That's it a competition? Pretty, yeah. It's just... Saying like, all of these woman... things to Bruce Banner in particular is, is, um... There's not many people in the Marvel Cinematic Universe who have, uh, suffered quite as much as he has. Yeah, that's um, what that's when it comes to the anyway. nature of dealing with this condition, the perspective that Bruce is essentially trying to get across is one of, um, being level... He's... He has been forced to get in control of his emotions because the consequences 
of not staying on top of it are very detrimental, um, not just to him, but to the people who surround him. Um, it's uh, so saying this and yeah, making it like a competition in terms of um, who is the most aggrieved while speaking to Bruce Banner is, um, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, I, well, I, I mean, guess it's, yeah. it'll stretch our memory a little bit, but if we can, just mm -hmm. from the events of the MCU, um, how many bullets has this man been shot with at this point? Many, yes. including Thousands? that one time when he, again, it's worth not glossing over, Bruce Banner, as far as I'm aware, is the only, like, character in the Marvel Cinematic Universe who's attempted suicide because of his condition. Well, that's um, where I was. I was. Yep. I was going to just try and stack it all up and essentially a giant list. Like you might, you might be wondering, well, why are you bringing up him being shot by bullets? That's not as bad as cat calling. And I'm like, no fear. Yeah, that's fear. I, <laughs> I guess all I'm trying to highlight is that getting shot by a bullet might make you angry. Let's say, maybe it might frustrate yeah. you. It might, it might change your emotional disposition. It might have an effect on it. Um, I'd be a little annoyed. Yeah. Then you have, I think, one of the biggest citations is that he was mentally like manipulated to the point of b being unleashed upon a city of innocent people, um, and he was beaten into submission by one of his best friends to stop him from killing innocent people. Uh, with everybody, so he had like super duper coverage, and it was just a worldwide public event. Something that um. Yeah. The, the, what I'm trying to highlight here is that you not only have the damage he did to those people, but also just the that's going to weigh on you forever, and it wasn't even you. you. That's not oh, even yeah. and then, something he if, did, if, you know, in in two you ways. Add, you add more onto the list. I mean, it's it's not it's it's worth not glossing over either. Like Bruce lost two years of his life, like two conscious years of his life, Ooh, yeah, gone, um, because of the condition you know, and, like, his ability or inability to control it. And that's on top of the many years that he just lost having to live in hiding. No mm -hmm. family. That's just gone. Um, it, it It's, um... I, I think, like, Bruce is trying to help. Um, you know, like... I think, I think that's what damns this entire scenario, um, is this is all from the perspective terrible. of trying to help her, yeah. What I hate about this scene, probably, like... It's also, there is a scene where it cuts to Bruce, and he's, like, basically nodding when she's, yes. like, telling him. Yeah. Yeah. To, I, I've been cat called, and Bruce is, like, nodding. I'm so sorry for that. And it's just, like, literally. And I keep thinking back to, like, the first Avenger, Avengers movie when, like, Natasha goes to find Hulk and Bruce. And that's such an, like, emotion. That's one of the... First Avengers is like the only uh, movie that actually treats him fairly as a character, and that scene is just so emotional when she's like, she points a gun at him, and she has like her eyes are full of tears, and this is like a Russian, like cold-blooded assassin. Yes, and she's like she feels so much at that moment, and she understands him so deeply, and we understand him, even though like this is literally the first time we see him, and after all of that after to put all of that into the context and then this scene it's just heartbreaking really just how much mcu has been neglecting this character and now mm. we're just treating treating him as a an emotion like as a punching bag really just a well, comic yeah, yeah. relief and then you know um, a way to push our feminist agenda in his um in that scene he tells her like it's okay you you can put the gun down and, and like you can see she's just terrified of him when we already know and she probably does too that pistol's not doing anything to him mm -hmm. like he's do he's trying to reassure her for her sake black widow trying to reassure her like that's where we were at once upon a time and what i liked yeah. as well there's loads of bits in that scene that are really good but do you remember when he first realizes it was a trick he like starts um so i don't know what the phrase would be but like turning his hands over each other again and again like, um, and looking Ringing. out windows and stuff. Yeah, like, because he now knows, it's like, so whoever you are, you work for a bunch of people who want me to hulk out and destroy something. I already know exactly yeah. what this is. And, like, uh, like, and that is reflected then in his later scene where he says, you guys drag me back into this freak show, which yeah. was so much more of a, uh, uh, had a backbone 
such a damaged character, and he had such a potential. Yeah, Hulk um, is a ripe character. Um, oh yeah, or Bruce Banner and Hulk as a pair is is ripe. Awesome, and it's being neglected. And so it's pretty lame when think... we arrive at this point, when we're being very mean to him, <laughs> you know? Just, yeah. Um, yeah, this is cruel. Yeah, so, um... so there's actually a video someone linked that kind of highlights all the stupid shit that, um, uh, that we've just been talking about. I don't know if you wanted to play that or not, uh, if it's like too copytism or what, but I put it in the chat um, if you wanted to look at it either way. Is that the one from Lofty something? Uh, Wolvie 666, um, uh, uh, just, uh, sent it to me and I think he also tagged in the Discord as well. Are you able to, just because of the sake of copyright, can you just summarize it or is it? Uh, well, it's just, it's just basically showing like the delete, because there's, because the, the scene of the suit, so it's basically him talking about, uh, it's basically her lines about cat calling and then slowly fading into like the deleted scene from... The Incredible Hulk, where he tries to kill himself, like the one that he's describing in Avengers, and then it, it's a montage of all the shit that he's lost, like Natasha and uh, all the all the other shit that he's been through, and then just then just fading right back to her just bitching about again catcalling and like this really like in relatively minor shit compared to. <laughs> I fled the planet because I felt too persecuted subconsciously or, you know, all, all this other stuff. Yeah. Um, this reminds me of that meme on YouTube where there's like a twit uh, of like, tell me a character who has gone through more and there's like a <laughs> picture of Ray, and then they literally <laughs> put every other Star Wars character in yeah. the video and all the shit that they have gone through. And yeah, this is basically that. <laughs> that situation all over again oh yeah and so i think that's probably a sufficient level of listing now a counter argument may be hey this girl may have no idea about any of this stuff though like yeah what would his cousin know about all of these events <laughs> yeah events that are pretty like damn public anyway but the, the fact that you we've even just referenced the loss of natasha like she should know about that you should know yeah. about all of it. Um, and she's actually... This is kind of what I'm getting at. Why the hell did you write her citing catcalling to this man? It's The mess. fuck are you doing? And it's not about... Like, I'm even going as far as saying if she went, Oh man, I fucking get my earphones. They get tangled so regularly. It's like... Yeah. It's annoying. It's like the <laughs> I feel like it's a little lower tier here, compared to... The realities of the... Um... Mm, it was okay. like we've forgotten as well that we're talking about Bruce's arm injury. It's like, yes, that very bad arm injury was sustained from Bruce personally restoring trillions of beings back into existence. Quadrillions, even. Yeah, and, like, and I feel like we've, we've forgotten like who Bruce is overall. Worth like, highlighting. Who he is and what his history is entirely. Worth highlighting he either brought her back or someone she loved. Like, there's no way that that wasn't happen at some point so I, I just um i think that's something that we've talked about before as well how how sad it is that there's no appreciation for banner being the one that snapped i know that there is no, for, cares, really. i know that people be like well iron man is like yeah iron man gets the appreciation good but hulk hasn't yeah. been really at all even though he was instrumental um super instrumental really well they gave uh, him his arm back and now they can slap him around i guess He's just being sort of left to the white side. Yeah. Um, yeah, and so and so in the face of all of that, it's like, man, you, you're being very mean to him. I don't know what to say. <laughs> you're just being really yeah. mean and cruel. And and just, again, if this were all in script form, and they were passing it through to me, and they were like, what do you think? I'd just be like, um, you guys can do this, but I don't know why you'd think people are going to like this new character of yours. Like, they're really going to dislike her. And if they yeah. were like, well, what do you mean? But she's explaining a lot of what she struggles in. I, I, I guess you guys may have seen those tweets where it's like, finally, a generation of uh, men will be able to understand, like, by watching this show, the kind of shit that women have to put up with. It's just like, do you really think this is a good delivery <laughs> device for that? I, I don't think so. This um, is going to backfire she's... majorly. <laughs> and, and we keep saying it, but it's true. Look who she's saying this to. 
you formatted you the don't scene get all to wrong. Put her That's up against to Bruce Banner. You well, don't. It, you just put her up against um a character who has had a pretty uh pretty bad life. Um, and also a character who just the reality is we've seen him for over a decade at this point, and she's brand new. Like she has a lot of an uphill battle in terms of endearing herself to people because you just don't know who she is yet. Um I would say that this was not a great way to start. Um no. but then again, I guess I guess a lot of people like this scene, right? Like there's tweets that got hundreds of thousands of likes that like it. Yeah, um, this is about these people. I just sure. <laughs> well, well, it's just um, I uh, it it sometimes um because I think the problem that, that um you you think about this and then you take it in conjunction with like her desire to like leave, even though by now it's what been a week. But even if you were to look at like the first day, mm -hmm. um, we have been presented with a set of traits that don't seem particularly congruent with who I'm probably meant to believe that she is. Like what her principles are, what she what she values, um, it just doesn't seem very congruent. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, when you have a scene like this, it really feels like I'm not listening to a character. It's like the writer is talking directly to us, exactly. Which is yeah, not script right. is transparent. Um, yeah. The funniest thing is that she keeps talking about projecting, but this is like this is literally writer projecting her insecurities or whatever. Uh, just her frustrations onto the script and onto these characters and also it's like we talk about fourth wall breaking this is literally a writer looking at the screen and be like yeah <laughs> and they're very proud of themselves uh which is embarrassing because yeah and the hypocrisy is just amazing I mean, female no. lawyer we're gonna devalue we're gonna devalue entire hulk's character because he's a man um, Which is not sexist at all. We're going to battle I, sexism with that. I guess uh, something that's worth touching on. This is episode one of nine. Mm -hmm. So this is the beginning of her journey. And she will doubtless be going on an arc in this uh, film. Oh. Um, do we think that the arc will address um, this particular point? Or do we think that the arc will be like different? Can I answer that question by adding a few more references from this scene, by which I sure. refer to? Mm -hmm. So she says all of that, and right at the end, she hulks out. I'll just show yeah, it right here. See, so she does. She does that, and see ironic, Hulk's see Hulk's reaction there. He's satisfied because he's like, "Ha ha, I was right." Of which she responds, "No, you're not. I did that. I'm in control." And she unhulks herself straight away. Yep. Go so, hulk yourself. I, so whatever irony that was meant to be there probably wasn't intended? I think that the, that's the writer's way of being like, yeah, you think she's not in control when she made that speech because she was loud, but that's your own, like, sort of issues you're seeing there. She's not being, uh, what, what words did she say to describe it? Uh, emotional or difficult? She's being honest. She's being forthright. She had complete control of her anger. You just think that she doesn't when in reality she was just sharing the truth i think because that's part of what she's complaining about isn't it yeah because oh, the, the, the if she, you know she said that uh she'll be seen as difficult or emotional when she lets anyone know about any of this which is what she's doing in that speech and then hulk's like haha you are and then she's like no i'm not so i what? don't my, my point overall being that i don't think the show is going to undercut that ever yeah. i think the show will no. sit on that as concrete it'll say nope the I scene is 100 percent, um, especially considering a scene we get later when she leaves where she uh, quote unquote apologizes. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, when she says harsh but very true, it's like yeah, uh, yeah, mm. and then, and then of course there's the meta as well that's kind of a bit difficult to get around. Mm. Like when you've got when 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 you have to take it within the context of like I guess the world that we're in now, I don't. Yeah, I I just don't. I don't really see that that speech getting undercut. Um, yeah, I think the most criticism she's getting is what she got in this scene, which is you were mean. It's like I was mean, mean, but yeah. I was right. Mm -hmm. as opposed to that the like whatever perspective that was a sp yeah like it's it's yeah yeah uh, the only way i can see this changing is if somehow they have um deceived us and all the other episodes after this are written by a ghost writing team <laughs> that actually knows what they're doing 
<laughs> Maybe. And they then fix everything that's in this first episode. But I don't see that happening for some reason. Some reason that's outside the realm of what I see as reality. So no, I don't see it really going anywhere. Well, I guess um, my my guess. Oh, sorry, it sounded like you had something to say, not so. Is that yeah, um, not so? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm to that right way. yeah, it's fine. Um, I think what I was like waiting for for the entire episode was like her sort of being in control, but then like suddenly turns out her alter ego was like actually in control this whole time, and she would just lash out or something would happen. Like, I think that would redeem the episode for me. It was just like, oh, wait, there's just something wrong here. But, like, no. 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 She's just, she's that perfect. It feels like the obvious thing to do here was like, oh, she thinks she's in control, but then something more severe happens, and then we see she's actually not in control at all. Yeah. No, I, I just think we're going for something. <laughs> I get the impression that the arc for the show will be um that she is initially apprehensive to embracing this new yeah. part of herself but by the end of the show she will embrace this part of herself that's that's the impression i get is that yeah, it will be uh, her realizing that yeah. she can extract a lot of value from her new uh state and so i don't really well, think that that has anything to do with what we had in this scene i think that that is done. Like that that is a self-contained thing that has been set up and resolved in in this episode, and that's it. Here's that's the impression I get. West Chin. Uh how much in terms of screen time, let's go with minutes and seconds, if you can make a guess, do you think we're gonna see of Hulk post episode one? Not much. Mm, I think this is a big dump of his uh content and we're not gonna see him he'll he'll appear every now and then, but I think this is the I wouldn't be of it. Too surprised if he gonna... turns up on like a mobile phone twice or something. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, I can see that happening. But like I would be. I, think... I would actually just say he's probably going to appear in the last episode for like five minutes. Oh, That's he'll all. probably appear in the last episode. Yeah, because you got to have your big uh, hooks and stuff for for the finale. Yeah. But otherwise, I think that I don't think we're getting any more substantive. No. Bruce stuff, and I don't think we're going to get any more substantive stuff with regard to Jennifer's relationship with Bruce. I think that's it. But we're getting Dead Devil apparently next episode. You know what? According I'll to one post, yeah, and everyone's terrified. I <laughs> hope they will. I'm pretty terrified, especially now that we got the quote where the writer said something along the lines of they were going to do a multi-episode arc for like a court case regarding uh, Abomination. But they realized as they were working on it that they couldn't write compelling court drama. That yep, was that then why the are you writing said. a She Hulk show? There we well, go. Sure, um, I, I, I sent this to you, I, Meme, didn't I? That they yep. sent this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm and, not sure why you would admit this before your show came out. Ugh. Well, here's the, here's the here's the thing. The the article I, I forgot who who did the article or the the interview. That that uh, part. Like where, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the part where this ends, where, uh, where, where she says, oh, yeah, we realize we, we don't know how to write these kind of things. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a journalist, uh, but I would probably my next question would be, oh, how, how did you how did you how did you rectify that mistake? Like, how did you solve this? But the well, but we don't get the answer because that's not the question we get, because the next thing is just yeah. something completely different. Well, there were a lot of interesting observations in that uh, interview. It, One because I think yeah. it was with uh, the head writer, and something that they yeah. said was um, they they addressed something that we touched on earlier, which is the challenges of having a CG character as like the main character of a television show. Um, they were they essentially got guidance from Kevin Feige that they could kind of write it like carte blanche and have the character appear as much as they wanted. But then mm -hmm. when it actually came to a matter of production, they started cutting scenes with She Hulk and had yeah. to like reduce it a lot because of monetary concerns. That's another instance of like, man, you would figure that this would be integrated into the plan earlier on. Um, when you get stuff like that and when you get the... I, I mean, then again, I think that that isn't as bad as admitting that in your show that is called She-Hulk Attorney at Law, that none of you felt particularly well equipped to write any legal drama. Mm -hmm. um, that was like the thing that I... That, of of all of the aspects of the show, like innately, because I agree with Meme, I think that you've got a, I think that the idea is strong, um, of having uh, essentially this character interacting with the world of like super superheroes, superhumans, and law, and how that would influence law and and you know, um, exploring that. But we're not going to do that. Clearly, yeah. that's obviously not what we're going to do. So, um. 
yeah, you know, like a big cool ass. And now that we're going to have Daredevil coming as well, when so many of the scenes that people liked in Daredevil, you think about a lot of the great scenes in that show, a lot of them took place within the courtroom. Um, Daredevil, uh, Matt, well, I say Daredevil, Matt's speech about um, the differentiation between questions of morality and questions of fact in a courtroom, um, the court scene with Punisher, um, when Daredevil was in court at the beginning of Defenders, just absolutely like obliterating the uh, that, like, opposing counsel. Hilarious. You, know, th this... the, you talk to yeah. the writers, would be like, you know, you got all that, and then they're like, oh, so what should we do when we're so inexperienced in writing court? Things. It's like, it's not, we get someone in to help us, it's not, um, we work with maybe the writers from Daredevil to see what they, you know, they just, instead they go, mm -hmm. well, let's just reduce our court scenes. Like, what the I, fuck? Well, <laughs> so, yeah, get a fucking I, I, legal I, advisor, you monkeys! I'm uh. not sure why you would lean into, because I keep marketing it as, this is a legal, like a legal comedy or a legal drama, but like, it's not gonna be though, is it? Like you're gonna it's have more than half the title, guys. Fuck off. It is more than half the yeah. title. Um, but I get the impression it's just gonna be, it's just gonna be um really shallow. Like it's it, there'll be things in courtrooms, and none of it will even remotely adhere to like the way that these things would actually operate. And as for any meaningful or interesting questions being raised, uh, and something that would be really lame is I bet you people would be like, well, yeah, it's a comedy, as though to imply that a comedy can't also meaningfully explore interesting subjects. Says more about your perspective on writing than it does mine, but you know, um, you know, I've been singing yeah. a song from a comedy that explores very meaningful subjects a lot of the time. Uh, I think it's called the Armor Future or something. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I guess I'm just, I don't know. This episode has not made a, a great first impression in terms of an indication of where we're going, it's not even over. Um, <laughs> And it's not even over. We've still not got more over, stuff yeah. to go. It's still then bad. Another great scene. Well, yeah. So this one. Um, he says, like, he's chasing because she's leaving basically after that little rant, and he's like, uh, "Who's going to protect the innocent? Like, if if not us, if not people like us." And then, Which that is a more important line in terms of saying what the arc is going to be than like mm -hmm. anything we saw before. Like, seriously, that's what it's going to be: is that she realizes that she needs to be proactive in being a hero. Nothing in terms of ad remedying or addressing her fundamental condition. Yeah. And well, so, what annoyed yeah. me is her response to her being like, "Are you quoting a comic book?" It's like, oh, yeah, that's like, another. Who cares if he's quoting a comic book? That's another signal to laugh. That's another like yeah. they're like, ain't that funny that she said he probably? And then it's just like, what the? Isn't this an interesting perspective that Bruce Banner has? Bruce Banner, who had to deal with a condition where he had an entity within him that was incredibly violent and dangerous. So now he's arrived at a point where he believes it is his obligation to help people yeah. with what he has, which he initially viewed as a curse. Is this not a cool idea? Why would you uh, mock it? Why would you reduce it to a stupid joke? I... We're not even to the, the physical part of this next thing, and I have so many issues with mm -hmm. the dialogue. So she's like outraged that he's trying to put her on his path, because he mentions superhero. And she says, like, I'm not you. I don't need to join a government contract squad and have my entire life taken away from me. Before we continue like a... with the dialogue, holy shit, how loaded was that? Like, yeah. So, well, I like, so my. He my, saved the world, man. Like, well, my primary well, so issue with this is like. Galactic Wars. He it's... fucking fried his arm with the power of all the universe just to save. You don't get to talk. So if she's, I, I, I was struggling with it for many reasons, including those, but I was like, so it sounds like she's chastising him for having signed the accords, presumably. I don't even Which know if he, he did. He like, the, yeah, referring to him as part of a government contract squad. That's very specific language, no, especially from a, a lawyer. Company. They were a private company at that so the, time, eventually. This is what I'm saying. Like, the Hulk didn't even have time to join with the accords, so he was always acting under you know, a conjoined effort from a bunch of individuals. So she's just wrong, and she should know better, especially as someone who's a lawyer. Secondly, yeah. right why are you sounds... chastising the idea that he would have worked in line with the government when you're a fucking lawyer? And I'm pretty sure at this point she's a public uh, prosecutor. I am mm -hmm. very it lost on that way. criticism. Like, fuck you, man. Yeah. I ain't working for the government. It's like, I mean... <laughs> I think she, I'm pretty sure she's like a public... Yeah, like... <laughs> So I, I, I just thought that was really weird as well. And then she said, have my entire life taken away. It's like, if you think that, what the hell was that speech just now? Yeah. 
do you believe that? And then we get the follow-up where she says, oh, so you weren't alone hiding with no friends, no family, no relationships, and totally not dealing with decades worth of trauma? I like, Jesus. my jaw hit the fucking ground at this point, because I was like, how can you agree with that that's the case? At least before, we could argue opposite. that she's a dumbass and for some reason has forgotten all of the realities of his history, but she's pointing it out. How can you be such yeah. a bitch to this man when you, you've Indeed. declared that he's had decades of trauma? I think it's, it's, it's the problem with all of this, all of these elements. The two conclusions you'd come to is either she's, like, really ignorant or arrogant. It's one of the two. Um, it's, 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 it's almost like these scenes were written by different people who, like, didn't talk to each other about what happened. I, can't, the I just scenes, couldn't believe it. Because uh, people were, were citing this moment as evidence that she does have a heart. And that that earlier scene, it was only like one of two pieces, which is this one. And I was like, this one makes that one so much worse. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. It definitely mm -hmm. makes it worse because it acknowledges, the, yeah, it acknowledges the reality of Bruce's life while still shitting on him. Yeah, there, and, and yeah, there's. Two. And Sorry. what? Just real quick, what does Banner say about all of this? You're saying mean stuff to me. Yeah. Hey, look, he's no. right. She she is saying mean things. It's, it's like a <laughs> bad for him. I, yeah, I, but he could like counter with like a million he's, things. He's a very intelligent man. He should be yeah, he should more be pointed in his criticism, better. you know. He's just like, yeah. And the, yeah, yeah, I can't imagine what the guy from Avengers would have said to all of this. Because mm. it wouldn't have been this. The dialogue would have been very different. Well, he's a different person now, isn't he? Chat, are you okay oh, with yeah. if we have Joss Whedon write the dialogue, or is he still too evil? <laughs> like, can, evil. We, yep. can we sub him okay. in? You want him back yet? It's interesting because there could have been interesting conversation to be had here just uh, of the things that she said. Like, oh, I don't want to be a superhero, but I guess I... Bruce, Bruce says, it's like, oh, yeah, but you kind of have a responsibility. But then you, you could, like, go, I don't know, over multiple episodes. It's like an ultimate episode thing you could go for, I guess, well, where you um, where you basically say, oh, yeah, they, they figure out that she is, like, much more in control already. After multiple tests, obviously we have to do a lot of tweaking here because we just do all of this in this one episode. And it's like, oh man, I guess if you if you're like actually in control and you don't actually have an alter ego, I guess you can still do the normal stuff. But then you still have to be thrown into the mix when shit is going down the drain. I guess, uh, like something yeah. like that, you know. But here's what just like, hey, here's the you mean <laughs> stuff it. It's like Jesus Christ, what are we doing? I guess what you're highlighting there, though, Metal, is like, um, in terms of the difference in their values and their goals. Yeah, yeah, cause, exactly. Cause she she believes that she can help through the way that she was already doing it, which is just continuing with her career, uh, and that's totally fine. Like yeah. that's a that's a valid perspective to hold, and it's something that can definitely be challenged over the course of the story. Um, there's no reason why these two characters can't have that conflict without it all. Without it coming constantly at his expense, exactly. why can it never just yeah, be a different absolutely. perspective that she values? And it's like, yeah, you have these values, but these are mine, as opposed to like just constantly degrading him. I don't understand. Yeah. There are two words that come to mind. Uh, firstly, cunt. Uh, but secondly, uh, there's a word you used, Fringy, which was unequipped. And I think it is the perfect word to describe the writing process here. Everyone, like, like, well, I can't speak for all of them personally, but it's very clear the final product was the product of a team that was unequipped, not just for law, but for characters, for basic story structure, for everything that just makes a story this living, breathing entity that's interesting to observe through this window we call a screen. They did not have the tools necessary to pull it off. And it is such a fucking shame. Um. Yeah. So and we're not even done with the episode yet. Well, I was gonna say, to I have cho this is how I would like to deliver this information. Hey, chat, guess what happens next? She runs over him with a car. Um, which shouldn't be possible, considering that Bruce like stopped Hulk stopped a giant Atari ship. He, he's like, not only getting run over; he gets yeeted quite gets a, quite a yeeted. distance. Dude, he's really strong. He's, he's very rock strong. So fast that it burnt up in the atmosphere. Like, hey, remember how he punched this uh, sky giant worm? Alien? <laughs> yeah. No, that remember was that was Hulk. I don't know who this guy is. 
Uh, I don't know who he is. My he's, bad. He's smart Hulk. Hulk. He's very smart Hulk. Yeah. Hulk. <laughs> like, how this should be possible? He's Hulk. He's really strong. When it's also yeah. like you know, just elephant in the room, I guess. Just like, did you really just run over your cousin, man? Okay. He, um, yeah, she did. Well, yeah. and I mean, it's it's yes, but then it continues from there because uh, he gets knocked over and then gets out of the rubble. Um, and then she approaches him and punches him in the face. Yes. I don't know what they're trying to do. Uh, I think they want it to be scene. like, oh, look, it's like siblings, you know, sibling, like, except they're two giant, like, you know, monsters <laughs> fighting each <laughs> other and destroying everything. Wait, someone just said attempted manslaughter. Isn't that... <laughs> Not, uh, incongruous attempted manslaughter. Yeah, I guess you could say, like, reckless endangerment or something. <laughs> I was just gonna say, know? isn't manslaughter like, not attempted? The whole point of it is that you kill someone without attempting to do it. But, like, no, the closest just, I can think is if you're attempting to make murder harm, look like right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grievous bodily harm. Well, I, I, you, I, mean, no, I guess not grievous because he's Hulk, but, you know, still. You... don't drive a jeep into someone into a, a rock wall whether they're Hulk or not, typically. It's just not a nice thing to do. Um, what I agree. It, it's weird because she seems to recognize, like, oh, that might have hurt him. And it's like, oh, you're a genius, aren't you? <laughs> I mean, her friend told her so. She, she called her a genius in the beginning of the episode. So, there you go. Yeah. Why did she punch him? Uh, she's upset. Cunt. He was just standing there. And this is also you so right him into a, a, a rock wall. Why'd you do that? Uh, Why'd you do that? I don't know. Um, but yeah, then uh, they have a fight, which to me almost felt um, mandatey. Like we oh, should yeah, get, like, we should get a Hulk, she Hulk fight. Yeah. I did not well, expect a fight this episode, especially not one involving Hulk and she. And remember. Remember, Metal, there's always two, so there's a second one. Oh, yeah, there's no. right after this one. Also, he does his Hulk clap on her, and then she claps back, and it's way better. It's great. Well, she fed it some ones, yeah. and she then like... she does it 15 times in a row. Well, yeah, she, like, <laughs> annihilates him. She puts him in, like, a... His, his little ear balls. Yeah. What's funny is, if you look at it, she doesn't even do anything different. It's just the same motion, and then it just works. Yeah, and she's mm. just ruining him, because uh, he doesn't know how to handle that. Gosh. And of course, a lot of people have been comparing this particular clap to the one that it looked like in Incredible Hulk because we've reached the point of Incredible Hulk, like, nostalgia because of how little Hulk has been utilized. Oh, it, Norton, we're sorry. I haven't seen that film in ages. I already know it's better than this. It's, it's oh, of even, course it is. Wouldn't even be remotely yeah, difficult. Line, what used to be bad MCU movies has changed. <laughs> we warned all of you this would happen. <laughs> <laughs> that phase one, two, and three, they're all gonna... Oh, God. Especially Avengers. Avengers is a movie that I keep going back to, and it keeps improving. Um, it was said before, but, like, it's, like, the best Black Widow, Loki, and um, uh, yeah, Hulk, Hulk movie. Like, yeah, all yeah. of those characters got served so well by that film. Um, <laughs> just the uh, idea just... of a Hulk versus She-Hulk fight, that kind of is weird to me, because I just see as She-Hulk as such a separate entity that I just never, I don't even really desire to see, to, to see a, conf a physical conflict between these two. It's... Yeah, but mandate and trailer footage. Mm. It's good trailer yeah. footage to have Hulk fight She-Hulk, because, you know, you, you can, the, if, if people fighting in trailers, it's just easier to insert than people talking about things, even though you'd figure that this would be a show that would be predominantly, like of all the shows, the least action-oriented. Yeah. But nope, we need two action scenes per episode, and this is the first one. And yeah, by the way, uh, they fight, They in the middle of their fight, they just crash into the little bar. That... The bar that Tony helped Bruce yeah. build, his, his deceased friend. I just... Uh, like, 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 I knew at this, but when I was watching, I was just like, why, why, like, why? Why twist the knife? What's wrong with you? Like, why are you doing this? <laughs> mm -hmm. At least she helps him fix it. Even, but, it's, yeah. It's something, I guess. But you, but you started it. Like, I don't, oh, yeah. You know, like, All I don't... of this was crazy, and we've still got the jarring nice. editing, because the fight is over now. Just, it just is mm -hmm. over. And then we cut to the bar being fully built, and we just have him go, okay, you can leave. You can leave, yeah. I was yeah. just like, like, what was all that? Why? If, uh, okay. 
it's an it, we needed a fight scene for the trailers and for the mandate. People were getting bored, I guess, with conversations. I feel like this image sums up a lot it's about like, the show. Yeah, this show is trying to make like Hulk versus Tony thing. <laughs> Hulk versus Tony? What do you mean? Oh, Iron Man. Like, which one? Which movie was that? Oh, that was Age of Ultron. Yeah. You saying yeah. like they're trying I remember to that was a it. big thing. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I guess. I, I feel like they came through on that they though. Have different attributes. They have different attributes that are at play. One of them is obviously Hulk, but the other one is an Iron Man suit specifically designed to account for Hulk's abilities. Yeah. Here it's just Hulk versus Hulk. Essentially, they seem to have the same attributes. There's um, so many, which seems wonderful odd. character moments in that fight as well. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Doing that, yeah, with like this this jackhammer punch into his face, and then he he spits out a tooth, and you get that. Yeah, still I'm shot of, of Tony. And he, he seems so <laughs> yeah, and genuine. Then, um, and I'm then sorry. what was it like, you, ver you know, Veronica, like, how are we doing? It's like, bloop, bloop, bloop. well, that's comprehensive. Like, can we stop <laughs> oh, dude, what a great line. Like, how quickly can we buy this building? Like, before he destroys it? That's, yeah, before that's... he destroys it. <laughs> so many <laughs> fucking... Look, Age, Age of Ultron is bad, but it's still got some good lines, all right? Well, yeah, and yeah. what you want in a bad movie is at least... The characters are alright. If you can, the characters yeah. can make it through, you'll be alright then, I guess. But because mm -hmm. you know, the Ultron, we'd happily settle his shit. But like, uh, so many good lines in, Ultron, in Age yeah. of Ultron. Yeah. Um, I'm yeah. just gonna binge entire MCU after this, like the beginning <laughs> part. I just got like nostalgic all of a sudden. Yeah, the, the we're thinking about doing some kind of coverage eventually in some way for the earlier MCU stuff because it's, it's it'll be fun to go back eventually because they're gonna they're gonna have aged better probably. Um, Every time you, you post, post like a, a clip on your on on the Twitter, it's like, oh man, that's so good. I want to watch that again. <laughs> that's some so good, <laughs> so much good character stuff there. Jesus. And it mustn't be understated that. The whole reason the MCU took off wasn't because of the big bombastic action that they keep crowbarring into every fucking episode of these shows, even beyond reason. It was it was the fact that those action scenes would pay off to the great character writing that was present leading into it. We cared that two characters were fighting or a character was in an action-oriented situation and questioning, okay, how are they going to get out of this? What does it mean to be in that situation? Like, like the the whole reason that ending action extravaganza at the end of Avengers is really satisfying is because we had, well, all the movies, for one thing, leading up to it, but also all the scenes ahead of time, bringing them all together, showing how they're butting heads, showing the differences in their philosophy, showing them overcoming their differences, and this is the culmination of them finally fucking coming together and punching aliens. Like, if you just smash, it's the DCEU problem, if you just smash cut to them punching aliens without giving us a reason to give a fuck, like, they're, it's meaningless, no one goes to see the film, uh, or they might see it once, then they go, well, I'm just going to forget about that the next day, they don't see it again, big box office drop off, you don't have a franchise, you don't have any of this, and they've forgotten that with all of these. I think they're aware that they're in serious danger of that happening with the, the next team up they have. I think they have to be. They're gonna yeah. be like, oh, yeah. realistically, I think they don't care enough. They know it's gonna make money. It's it's making well, that, money right that, now. That, so the, point is, the concern is, will will the bubble pop? When the appeal of the Avengers yeah. was the novelty of seeing these characters that you liked coming together. What does it mean when that novelty doesn't exist anymore, and you're not that invested in any of the characters? Um, like, I keep comparing appeal? this to Star Wars, and like. Even though like Star Wars has been like continuously like disappointing its entire fandom, yeah. it's still doing fine. So um, this makes me depressed. But I think that's MCU. a fair concern. I think it's a yeah. fair concern, even in the face of a lot of because a lot of people have already turned on Obi Wan Kenobi, but they weren't when they were watching it, and they forget because yeah. when Mando season three comes out, oh, they're gonna love it. They'll probably get a good response, and then who knows afterward? We'll be the only um, fuckers oh, on earth that don't like I Mando season Andrew, three again. Right? Andal oh yeah, might Andal's be on his way, yeah. yeah. I feel like Disney is hoping that same ha will happen with MCU, and we don't know, I mean, it can go anyway, but there's a huge danger that it will just basically be the same scenario as with to Star Wars. To quote one of my favorite Star Wars stories, apathy is death. 
Hmm. Mm. Well, uh, apathy's what killed Game of Thrones as well. The mm -hmm. writers just didn't care anymore. Yep. So, yeah. Uh, he, he, he's literally like, if you want to go back, go back, whatever. You can call me anytime. Doors open. Like, oh. Alright then. And, yeah. um, I guess you're nice, but what about your, all your concerns you mentioned earlier? Nah, that's the fine. one with the, all, all the dead people that might be happening? Is that, is that cool? Okay. No. See, and then we cut back to where we were. And it's like, there you go, you're caught up. Now let's get on with my show. It's like, wow. That really was <laughs> what that was, wasn't it? Like, yeah, I, I want to tell my story here. What do I have to do to get there? It's like, oh, uh, I got created by this accident. He tried to teach me to be it. I was already good at it. He tried to tell me it's about controlling my emotions. Of course I know how to control my emotions. Right, back on with my story. And it's like, oh. Yeah. She also says, oh, she emphasizes when we go back, it's like, he was wrong, I was right, by the way. Okay, let's go win this case. It's like, oh, okay. Well, she, so what she says, I think, is that um, I was right, Bruce was wrong, I never have to be a Hulk. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. the point of the show is going to be that she needs to push on being a Hulk a bit more to help people. That's probably going to be... Well, as we'll see in the, sub, in the scene soon, very much here, it's about, <sighs> to, yeah. right. it's about to emerge. So... This is this actually? Can you can you sort this? One out? What happens in this scene? Like, what is this? Um, oh, so it's what like I guess they're doing their closing. This is the one with Tiddy Tanya, right? Closing statements in like a case that we know nothing about. Um, except it seems to be like against an evil corporation or something that had like some product that harmed a bunch of people. So it's actually very similar to the one that they did in the Defenders for uh, Matt. Was against like a pharmaceutical company or something. I have no idea. Like I have no idea what the actual case is. But then Jennifer gets up to do the speech, and then fucking somebody just busts through the wall. Yeah. <laughs> and you might be through. asking, who is this? this Why is, such is a, she like, here? Yeah, like, like what? Tanya. Who is this? What is going on? You? Just goes through Why the wall. You... It's like, so. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh yeah, this is, this is a Family Guy out. joke. This is a Family it's, Guy joke. It's, it's actually the Kool Aid guy. Yeah, it's the Kool Aid guy, except it's not. Um, yeah, yeah. So just bust through the wall. I don't know who you are. I don't know why you can bust through walls. I I have no idea why you're here. I don't even know what this case is about. No. Nope. Um, and then and then like no sooner has she busted through the wall. That just off in the background while Jen is hiding behind her desk, like this, there's just a fight going on. I have no idea what's happening. No, it is um, jank as then, hell. It's probably the jankiest uh, episode of TV I've ever seen. It is. Uh, it might be the jankiest. Yes. And then this, this is the important part though. Here, so she's hiding behind her desk, and her friend says, "Like, you gotta go help. You gotta do like, the thing. You gotta, you gotta turn into Hulk and and help." And uh, Jen doesn't want to do that. Yeah, it's like. Oh, Meanwhile, like as this... we can see in the as in the background, there's guys there fighting a woman who busts through a wall. Yeah. So she's probably very strong, and their lives are in serious danger. That and everybody else in the courtroom, and you mm -hmm. just don't want to help because you don't want to deal with the fallout of it's helping um, these people. It's characterization. Her... So I wonder if they'll hang on to this or not. Yeah. No, they no, they won't. They want the judge remark. Yeah, yeah, like Who's that's like your outfit? big concern. Oh, my suit's gonna get torn up. <laughs> Not oh no, if I don't help quickly, these guys in the back might be dead. Yeah. And, uh, with other people in the courtroom. <laughs> um our hero. And the way she takes off like the shoes. Yeah, like it's so this is this is this is a clear example of in the writer's room, they probably didn't realize that this is building character. No, the character that it builds is my personal convenience is more important than saving lives when I am yeah. uniquely well positioned to save lives. They were just like, Bad. wouldn't it be funny if she says she doesn't want the suit to break? That would be, well, that would be funny. What happened was they're like, well, her arc is that she doesn't want to be proactive in like being a hero. They're like, that's her arc. But you put her in a situation where her not actively jumping in to help is kind of damning. Um, yeah, because probably kills people. Well, it's, it's it's just you you can help. You are uniquely well positioned to help, but you don't want to because yeah. you don't want to cause inconvenience to your personal and professional life. Ooh, not great. Not and then we get possibly great. the worst edited fight scene I have ever yeah, seen in my entire life. Possibly, possibly Dude, the worst. Edited. When I saw yeah. this, I was 
shocked because I saw astounding. obviously you've seen this yeah. you've seen this on Twitter already or yeah. YouTube or whatever. And I was like, oh, they probably cut this together for like I don't know social media stuff. And then I saw this here, and it was the no. exact same scene. I was like, yeah. what the fuck did you do? Why would you put this in your show? This is yeah, so, pre-cut. Um, to try, I'll do my best here because of copyright. So, it, it, chat, you would have seen bad guy over there said something, I don't know. Then She-Hulk says weird. something. And then it like, just weird. cuts. Look at that cut. Yeah. What the hell? Look, we've only just begun this adventure. All of a um, sudden, she's right next to the desk that Jennifer was standing beside. How did she get ooh, there? Did she run across there while break. Jen was standing next to it? Oh god, this is so horribly done. Just like saying, I don't know what like what what she said. She Hulk says she just, says Jennifer Walters, attorney at law, and then all of a sudden the other woman <laughs> is next to the desk. And they just have throws it. likely mm -hmm. they have chopped out a whole portion of this fight that we didn't get. They to They have. See. They've clearly. They've clearly because Jennifer would have been standing right next to her. She would have been right there next to that desk. Oh, but now all of, and like so. So one of the important parts of like editing especially in a fight scene, is uh, continuity. It is really important that the viewer understands where people are, where they're going, and what they're doing. Like, that's the important part, showing enough information so that everybody can understand that. When you but have, what like, if I, these... What if I don't want to do that? Well, I mean, if you don't want to do that, the result <laughs> is that a character that you told me was standing over there is all of a sudden standing over here, and this other character is all of a sudden standing over there. Yeah, but that's really useful um, for it's, it's, solving It's not the problems. other desk. It's her <laughs> desk. It's literally her desk. You can see yeah. her friend cowering underneath that desk. Don't confidently... It's, you're wrong. <laughs> it's her desk. And she was standing right next to it. And if it was the other desk, she would have also been standing right next to it because they are perpendicular. They're right next to each other. The desks are lined up in the same place. <laughs> God, this seems so fucking funny. And also, it couldn't be the other desk, because if it was the other desk, it would be right next to the jury box, and she throws it across the courtroom to the jury box. You're wrong, yeah. dude. I don't know why you said that so confidently. You were completely wrong. So anyway. <laughs> and then, yeah, so they throw. she throws the desk, and then She-Hulk catches it and then throws it at her. And then it just cuts to She-Hulk just standing there. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, the woman is in the air, jumping, lunging to kick at her. It's like, like it, we what, changed what? Uh, genres suddenly into something goofy as fuck. Yeah. It's not goofy, it's just shit. That is goofy. <laughs> wow. This is this is way more suitable for a, a... Like, if it was in Kung Pao or some shit like that, I could totally what understand it. This is what I'm saying. That's like, what I saw you. You were underneath the desk. What happened? When did you get up from underneath it? When did you build up speed to run? Like, I didn't I see any of that. I need to see these things to know you're where you are. You're saying you don't like that Zohan kick she does. <laughs> um, this is what I mean. It feels like I'm watching a different genre now. Like, yeah. Uh, the, 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 it, but you know, that, that was, uh, yeah, sorry, to make it clear, I wasn't talking about the editing. I was talking about this particular choice of choreography here suddenly yeah. happening when we haven't seen anything like this at all it's just like oh and then by the way you can't even appreciate how good this is chat because i haven't got the music on uh that also is abrupt in terms of starting oh, up and stopping i forgot about that well it lasts for about 20 seconds they have the music start up and then it's over because the yep, fight she's is down. over yeah, who, who the fuck was this and why did any of this happen <laughs> who knows no idea and oh, i don't think geez. we're gonna and man, we'll, like we will figure that out in the future. I don't know. It's, it's I don't know. It's happened. Well, well, she I, is because uh, like the chick who plays her was actually at the premiere, and she was part of the. I think she's going to be a recurring character. This Titania person. Yeah, she's person. got she's got a uh, like close to top billing, so she's probably the main villain. What? Okay. Yeah. This, uh, yeah. I, I don't know who's Titania because it makes me giggle. What's well, it's Titania, right? That's the character. Yeah. Who's like she holds Titania. arch enemy. But I, yeah. but, but again, most people haven't read She-Hulk comics or even know about that. So you've just had a super strong woman just burst into the courtroom and say nothing except for who are you? Who is she? Yeah. What does she want? Why is she so... Because we did this in, <laughs> in... It was the same in Falcon and Winter Soldier when all of a sudden you've got people who are like super soldiers jumping around. There aren't many of these people, I thought. You can't just like throw them into the story oh, well, and then expect people not to ask questions. The trailer for this to be like, show is arguing there's a shit ton of just random superhero people now. I don't know what they're gonna say the cause is. Mm-hmm. They just maybe they just I'm... given up at this point. They're like, no, there just is. 
there are just superhuman people around. Fuck it. Um, yeah, I, I'd... Uh, yeah, I don't this know. This feels like, like, Clark Kent working at, like, the Daily Planet, and then he's just, oh, da, 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 and then Zod, without any build-up, just <laughs> smashes through the wall, it's just like, I am Kryptonian, man. <laughs> then I will just a shit find fight you. Also, I mean, the, I think the construction is clear, right? Like, because of what we were highlighting, also dialogue says... Uh, I was right, Bruce was wrong, I'll never have to be a Hulk. And then this scene is like, oh, you better be a Hulk to help. Oh, gosh, I guess I'll be a Hulk. Yeah. And then I helped. Oh, well, yeah. Look at that, Bruce was I mean, right. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, okay then. Well, I guess. I guess. So, yeah. That's the episode, pretty much. Oh, well, there's one more scene. Well, there's one more scene at uh, the end. Because she's like, I want to <laughs> do my closing statement. It's like, you know what? I think court is adjourned for the day. You know, I, I think, think I'll do, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I meant I the um, I the Steve Rogers the post credit scene. scene. Yeah. With... My favorite thing is that uh, when like this scene happens, like the only time we get to the court for this entire episode, and the writers were like, "Oh, wait, we don't know how to write this shit," and <laughs> just. Was... Jump yeah, into no, the action scene. That's like, actually pretty someone funny. Someone quickly burst through the wall. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're they're like, okay, so the she stands up to the jury, and then fuck, I don't know, I don't know what they what do they say? Someone Google it. Go, just make someone burst through a wall. Like... Fuck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a shit show. G Hulk episode one. Um, well, wait, you talked about the post credit scene. I guess there's nothing to say about it. She just Hulk yeah. just explains who Cap fucked back in the day, and then she goes, yeah. ah, Captain America fucks. Because they found that joke to be oh, very, fuck. very funny. Yeah. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. No, I, guess, I guess people can't <laughs> I don't know, but I don't, yeah, I don't know. <sighs> yeah, I am um, deeply upset. But yeah, that's the end of the episode, not a great start. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking trash, dude. <laughs> um, yeah, it just goes, it was worse than I thought it was going to be. I can't believe I'm saying yeah, that every yeah, goddamn actually, time we watch these time. things. It's just every like, time. oh, wow. Because you figure that, that this show would be lower variables compared to a lot of the other stuff lately, right? Because it's it's the lo relatively low stakes compared to where we're at now, the Hulk story, yeah. relatively low stakes. It, for me, the big thing is just that um, if you would ask me, like, so what, what would you, what would they have to do to be, like, the worst? And I should be like, well, you're going to have to destroy... Hulk, you're gonna have to like really rip into him, both have, through his actions and what people say about him, and then you're gonna have to make a main character who's just fucking difficult as hell to like. Possibly one of the worst. She's worse than Plank, guys. Plank was blank. All right, she was. She was. There was nothing no, really going on. She yeah. was smug to a degree, but like she wasn't but she's this still bad. Saving people, right? She was still trying to do the right thing and and wanted to help save the world. Um. This is a like plank on steroids, I guess. Like she's she's well, maybe not steroids. Maybe uh, with horns. Like she's just eviler and worse. Um, she's very mean. Um, uh, I think that's a good way to describe it. She's a very mean person. It's really yeah. fucking awkward that uh, like the best of the new female characters is probably Yelena, and it's only because there's not much to say about her, as opposed to it mm -hmm. being negative. Like Yelena. Uh, I guess. What Oh, because we keep forgetting because we didn't watch Hawkeye. I guess I heard more positive things about Kate Bishop than anybody. Obviously, we can't speak on the ones we haven't watched. I, I'm assuming mm -hmm. you still haven't watched it. I haven't. Um, mm. So maybe Kate Bishop, yeah, but like, goddamn, they're doing real bad with all their new characters. Atrocious. They really do. It's real bad. You know the VLC glitches you get when you pause and you just to go through the frames and stuff? They're going to start, like, baking that in to the episodes proper. That's how they're going to continue digging below the bottom i think you're just gonna <laughs> the cgr gonna just, just literally give up. unwatchable i'm just looking forward for them to like going even worse than this like i i cannot <sighs> physically imagine myself anything like this is rock bottom of mcu <laughs> i just like what what are you how creative can you get really i don't know that the rock loki and multiverse and like love and thunder exist you know, like, I guess. Well, is that what you mean when you say rock bomb, that. like, the combo of this, all of this? Or do you just mean this? I think, like, from the filmmaking perspective, or, like, it's just... How is it going to get more incompetent production-wise, you mean? Well, because, yeah. um, if we go by I mean, history, this show will get worse, no matter what. Yeah. Like, this is the good episode, as far as we know. Well, because you keep <laughs> getting more material that gets added on, just more and more material, just... more chances to screw up. Yeah. I'm just looking forward for the memes. <laughs> they will be. Um, 
That oh, won't yeah. be mean. Yeah. Yeah. Especially if they fuck with Daredevil. Great. Oh, they will incite a um, shitstorm if they fuck with Daredevil. Well, yeah, that mm. that might be because I I found the episode pretty um frustrating, but I guess it's like yeah, now I look forward with a sense of dread uh, in terms of what's going to happen with uh, you know characters that I'm more invested in. Um, yeah, no, yeah, just I'm just, pretty just obvious stuff. She'll talk to him about his you know operation, and then she'll be critical of how toxic he is. Maybe you know we, uh, if if we get scenes like that, oof, don't do it. You don't have to, okay. You don't you have hope to do that it. in this case there is because nobody seems to. Well, it seems the investment in Bruce has been renewed by the realization of how little material he's got. But in the case of Daredevil, it's like we're dealing with a character who had a show that's pretty beloved. Mm. You'd hope that that would uh, encourage one to be a little bit more uh, careful in terms of the decisions that they make with uh, with writing that character. But who knows, really? Um, rocky, I'm super worried. Rocky start to say the least. Yeah. Um, like the rocks that Bruce got flung into when he got run over with his car. What, um, mm. when are these releasing, these episodes? Is it every, every week? Every Thursday. Week. Thursday, okay. Yeah. Who knows, maybe we'll cover one, thing, of the, one of the episodes for the anniversary. Uh, <laughs> or in the oh, anniversary man. at some point. Oh, it's, wow. Uh, we'll see, we'll see about it. Because, like, maybe this will be the format for covering She-Hulk. What episode at a time thrown in with maybe mm. something else happening in EFAP? Because... Uh, there would be no point in covering episode one again now. I feel like we just annihilated it. Right. Oh, yeah. Um, Rags will have to re-watch this himself. Oh, God. Rags will have to watch the episode and then watch this so that he's caught up. And he's going to fucking <laughs> hate both experiences. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so oh, sorry, Oh, man. Rag. Rags is going to fucking hate this. This episode. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Poor guy. I can hear him crying already. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Rags, yeah. Do, 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 You'd do, think do, Rags... Do. Of Rags, tears running down his face as he's watching Punish <laughs> Bruce just there. I could already picture, like, being in a call with him while I'm editing and just letting it play. And then, uh, I could just, just hear him complain again and I'll just be like, I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. You know the you know the the sad Hulk music from the '70s show that was also in the Incredible do, Hulk. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, should be the end uh, credit music for this show. <laughs> just like while Bruce is sitting uh, alone on the island, just you know sitting there. You know, Thor and Matt Murdock showed up in that show, or at least that continuity as well. I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's <laughs> kind of funny. Yep. No, she Hulk. Oof. I'm pretty sure, though. Uh, was she invented then, or was that, she? In that's the a good 80s? question. She might be a child of the '80s. Thinking about it, yeah. well, because wasn't check. she? Uh, she was created because of rights-related stuff, right? They created she Hulk to make sure that they would have that as like a as a right available to them. Yeah, um, I think it might be a Spider Woman situation. Although is, I think she Hulk yeah. has been much more successful than Spider Woman because there's been so many Spider Women and the figuring out what to do with the gender swap well, heroes that's what, is often uh, that's a hard what, thing. What Madam Web is right? That's like basically a Spider Woman movie by the sounds of it. Yeah, plus Peter's parents for some reason. Yeah, like the, well, because it not? seems that the plot of that is that you've got a team of Spider Women who have to uh like. I don't know if they've gone back in time or if it's just set in like a, like that, you know, set at an earlier time, but it's protecting an unborn Peter from being killed by some like Spider Man villain. That's, huh. That seems to be the, uh, the, the plot or the rumored one anyway. Interesting. Because, because Sony really needs to keep making Spider Man movies if they want to retain these rights. Yeah. <laughs> they will never let them go. They're never going to let them go. Never going to give them up. Never going to let them down. <laughs> which completes our coverage of She-Hulk, which coverage. means we are now going to start answering good old messages from, from the More chat, messages. which is usually the time where I say, if uh, metal, not some meme, if any of you would like to evacuate, to abandon, to run to the hills that is off this stream, you are welcome to do so. Not that you weren't before... But now is a better time than before. Now it's more socially acceptable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're putting the gun down. Yeah. Well, you know me. I'm staying. Very well. Yeah, I'll stay. Very well. All right. I gotta wait for the last yeah. one to say whether or not she's. I gotta wait. Well, how long does this take? Because I'm. 
Um, well, let's. If it took between ten minutes and ten years, I would expect you to just leave if you want to leave. It's all good. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, I'm just like having problems with connection, uh, as of late. So I think it would be better if I just. I'd love to stay, but there's like problems with technical right. problems, basically. No problemo oh. whatsoever. I appreciate you popping in for the for the three yeah, hours that you did. On. It's been fun. Thank yeah. you. It's, um, yeah, really. I enjoyed it um, very much. Thank good. you for, good for stuff. inviting me. Fun. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, if we cover more She Hulk. <laughs> 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 like, my brain is like, you really doing that? I'm like, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> if you'd like to join us some other time to talk She Hulk, maybe, you know, you could jump back yeah. in. Oh, I'm very excited. Why not? Yeah. Well, again, thank you so much for being uh, so cool thank about you. everything. And, um, in no. good company good Thank luck you so much with whatever you're up to Thank before you. you go though do you want to tell our chat our community what it is you get up to on your channel and uh maybe why they should Thank subscribe you. oh well um i do video essays and yeah I, I, that's it <laughs> there's not much you'd be surprised how many people who guest on the show have that same approach with selling their own channel <laughs> they just go like i make yeah. videos i don't know shut there's... up <laughs> Oh, <laughs> there's. I'm having like middle school flashbacks right now. Just introduce yourself. I'm like, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, that's. I mean, yeah. Well, um, I mean, you know, chat. We covered a video on Spooderman. She's got videos on plenty of subjects. Just because yeah. we disagree with her on something doesn't mean she's probably got plenty of based and amaze pilled perspectives on all kinds of movies. You didn't like the uh, Rise of Skywalker, right? There you go. <laughs> people <laughs> people don't tend to like So yeah, you know, okay. jump in, take a look at the channel, see if there's anything that tickles your fancy and have a look see. Um and again, thank you. Thank, so you. Much, you guys. thank you so much for joining you, us. You guys, are, you guys are great sports and very chill. And thank you for having me. No problemo. Welcome back whenever you want, and uh, have a good rest of the night, whatever you're up to. Thank you, bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Right then. I'm just looking, I'm just looking up She Hulk trade paperbacks and collections <laughs> and arcs because I'm just like, I need something to wash the taste out. I I'll need really it now. To, uh, to read some of those comic books just to compare and contrast because it would be interesting if it's like really is quite different. At least based on that, because there was that one panel where it was, um, or one page that was showing like it was, uh, Jennifer was comforting Bruce while he was struggling with, uh, what was it specifically? It's like struggling with, um, because he's feeling uh, really guilty about it, and she's really yeah. actually quite happy oh, that yeah, she's right, right. now. I'm pretty guilty sure it's here in the in in our message yes. uh, messages the panel. From what well, I'm yeah, because she. So, oh yeah, right, because he believes that she would blame him for the decision he made, and he's really upset about it. But she's um, she has a much more optimistic outlook in the on the nature of yeah of their condition. She's like, "It's great. I love this. I like I like being green." I think she actually says. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I thought that was the whole shit with She-Hulk, is that she, unlike Bruce, who really struggles with it, she finds it very liberating and cool. Yeah. Yeah, she, she intentionally stays in She-Hulk form. That's the that's mm. part of the thing. Mm. It's kind well, of, it's I guess, part of the, again, the imagery, yeah. The show is going to say that that's the arc, I guess, that she'll reach that point eventually. Um, and then they cancel the show because it's... No, nah, they're not going to cancel this. No, they'll probably keep it going. It's probably. No, I, know. I was trying to make a joke for me. No, I don't. So, I saw <laughs> wishful thinking. Saw some complaints about something X. Dare I say of the day super chats? But what I'll do is I'm going to collect them as we go, as opposed to doing them as we go, and then we'll do them all in a big bunch. Be them Pokedex entries or Yu-Gi-Oh oh, cards, wow. or animals of the day, all right? Because mm -hmm. I will agree with some of the criticisms. They have been popping up a lot, and it doesn't really make sense anymore to have, like, ten animals of the day. Because you can't, you can't do that ten times. It's supposed to be one time, right? But the thing is, more than one person wants to do it. So, um... That's crazy. What I'll do, see, is collect them all up, and then post all of the, like, Pokedex ones in the chat that we have, so that Metal can... Start grabbing them while I 
sort all out right. uh, whichever one. You know, like I said, I'll stack them all up at the end, and we'll do them all like that. Because uh, they're getting excessive, okay? And it's not that they're not appreciated, it's just that they're uh, a lot different than answering other questions. They, they involve other logistics, so we'll have prep and execute it faster and more efficiently. So don't think you're being skipped, you're being added to a little thing that we'll do at the end, all right? So the first one was a Pokedex entry, but I'm going to skip over it and keep it for now. Go on to, why are you talking about Spooderman when She-Hulk is out? Well, we Ooh. did talk about both of them. Multitasking on this EFAP, how about that? Dude, we're crazy. Yeah. What up, Toxic Brood? Any of you lovely gents a fan of the isometric RPG genre, e.g. Disco Elysium, Fallout 1 and 2, Baldur's Gate, etc. Also high rags. Haven't played a lot of um, them. I played a little bit of the first Fallout. Um, I think I need to, I want to get back into it at some point and play it properly, but it's like, it's, it's a bit of an adjustment period just because of, you know, the mechanics and everything, but it's... um. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm interested, just I, I wouldn't call myself an enthusiast just yet. Hmm. Uh, I'm not really. I, I can't think of any I've played and loved sort of thing. Wait, was that fo the Fallout games? Uh, well, yeah, any two. isometric RPGs. Oh, oh shit. I, I need to look up which ones are out there. Isometric... I mean, I don't have a have an answer have an answer straight away. I think. Uh, let's see, Pillars of Eternity. I think I played that a little bit, but not for long. Uh, I guess only first two Fallout's are isometric, right? The other ones are three. Uh, I'm trying to think of someone. I played some on stream, not too long ago. Shit, what was that? Someone in chat probably knows. Which one I played recently on stream. Uh, shit. I'm blanking right now. Uh, fuck. I don't, I don't remember. Okay. The game <laughs> I played recently. I just, I just can't think of the game right now. Well, uh, give a... no one cares me at all. Hey, fuck you, man, okay? Fuck you. Oh my god. <laughs> Pathfinder, oh. that's the one. See? Someone cares. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, the Pathfinder uh, games. That was a uh, that was fun. Uh, Longman, you were asked to look up the Digimon Behemoth, and you thought it was a dude on a bike. No, no, the bike is Behemoth. The dude on the bike is a different Digimon. Oh, <laughs> the bike is Behemoth. Wonderful, excellent, good. Mm. Um, hope you're doing well, Mola. How do you feel about the Better Call Saul finale? I think it was fantastic and raised the series to above Breaking Bad. I don't know about the second bit, but I don't know if it's a hot take either, but I would say it's better than Breaking Bad's finale. Um, I didn't feel more for it. I was super into Breaking Bad's finale, but Breaking Bad's finale has a shit ton of contrivances in it, um, unfortunately, because okay, I really love it. Right? But uh, Better Call Souls is a much more, dare I call it, straightforward, um, and and very much under like the point they made is very clear. And uh, it even made me think that the some of the prior episodes had a lot more purpose. Um, I don't know that there was a better ending they could really have done, uh, and 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 I enjoyed it. Um, I don't I don't have a huge amount to say about uh, Better Call Saul, unfortunately. Uh, like if if you guys were like do a stream reviewing it, it would probably take me like ten minutes. I, I would be I would have very relatively simple thoughts. Um. Ones that I don't think are very, very hot takey. I guess I'm just not much of the the man for the job when it comes to Better Call Saul. I, I, my heart wasn't as in it as uh, have been with other things. It would have been interesting to see what would have happened if we had this sort of format and setup going while Breaking Bad was airing. I wonder if we would have covered it because I was oh, uh, be cool. was super into cool. Breaking Bad when that was coming out. I was super late on Breaking Bad when I watched it. it was all out already when I finally finished it. Um... But I liked it a lot. We got a, a today's animal. I'll just save him up. You guys should watch My Hero Academia, at least the first two episodes, to decide whether or not you want to watch it. I mean, I, I think I watched really three seasons on it. Oh, how was it? I think it was pretty alright. It's been a while, but oh, no. I, I did enjoy it. You hated it? 
That's not what I yeah. said. You're not listening to me. We heard right. you loud and clear. Subtext. Yeah, but I think the Love sixth season is coming out. Like I, I, I just completely forgot to watch more. I don't want. I don't know when to watch stuff. Okay, this is too much stuff. It's too much stuff. Um. Welcome to the brood, Nutsa Mazeltov. Oh, that's nice. Welcome in. Broody. <clears throat> Mola, what effects do you put on your voice commentary for your rages, praises, critique videos, etc.? Voices to make it sound so good. Um. I think there's a compressor and an equalizer, but I haven't touched them in so yeah. long now, I don't even know what to tell you about them. Uh, Wait, what about the equalizer? It's a good movie. Oh, okay. Um, I'm pretty sure that's not true. Yeah, what? How dare you? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't have anything super complex going on. Uh, a friend set it up at some point. I'd have to go and look at it to be able to give you more information, but... Yeah, no, nothing, no like special, super special filters, just they, they come with most programs, if not all programs, I think, for recording. Um, yeah, I, I mean, my, my mixer is not, has anything special on. I just have the thing where you hear yourself a little bit, so you know it sounds fine. Uh, and then just because I have to play around with the gain and stuff, so it doesn't sound shit. Mm. G-Hulk? Not using any software or anything, that was the question. From what I've heard from people I trust and friends, is awful and the worst, depending on who you ask. I wouldn't say it's the worst. Um, there's other things yeah. it can destroy, and it might just do that by the time we reach the end of the season, so... Mm -hmm. Good time. Uh, it's time for the EFAP Direct spin-off, Better Call Long, starring Jay Wixler, mm. Mootal Goodman, and Mike Raspiratory. Also, thoughts on Better Call Saul finale, Morley? Hey, I already took care of that. It's all good. Yeah. Um. Is that a woman? Unbelievable. Anyway, hi to all of you. Hello. Hello. Um. Mola, next Yo. time you need to do a fart, please do it into the microphone. I want to hear it and smell it. Sniff, sniff. Oh yeah. Don't forget to grunt. British fart shadiversity too. All right. Well, that was a super chat. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Mm hmm. Please read the Pokedex entries for... Alright, I'll save that one as well. Oh, we've already got five. Can you believe oh it? Oh my. Jeez. Uh, Grungy, loving your new Soulsborne-like game, Thymesia. Now we know what you two can really do. Also, Hyrax. I think that's a different Plague Doctor. Well, I, no, I think. It definitely is. I was going to say, you should know, right? You remember? Like, yeah, I suppose I should know. That's right. Um, if you want a good laugh, watch a guy called Erod talk about She-Hulk. He's the ultimate Marvel simp, and his excuses for She-Hulk are hilarious. Well, I'm sure yeah. I've seen plenty of people love it, and you know that's fine. I just this ain't this ain't for me for sure. There's one of them. This was not made for you, Mole Blow, and I'm like, oh. seems like it wasn't made for a Marvel movie uh, show. <laughs> this wasn't made for people. Well, it meant for people with brains, definitely. <gasps> oh my god. Can't believe you hate women that much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the misogyny must flow. Sorry, meant fringy autocorrect sucks. Yeah, because they said grungy. <laughs> 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 <Yeah>. <laughs> I figured How that was a meme. Do your best Mike Ehrmantraut impression. Also, hi, dog. Hmm. Doggo isn't here today. Uh, What's up, dog? So, Ow. Mike Ehrman trying impression, he's like, um, no half measures, Walter. You, you, you hear me, I Walter? You can't go... A little more gruffness in the voice. I'm trying to think of what he even says. No <laughs> half measures, Walter. Yeah, that's closer. Um, fuck, what does Mike say? I'm, trying, I'm even he like, said, You just have to blow it up, you and your pride and your ego. And your pride and you your. You have to be the big man. You know? Yeah. Let's see. Mike quotes. I wonder if Mike is good enough. Oh, Mike Tyson. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little bit different. Just Mike quotes, yeah. No kids. <laughs> oh, there might be quotes on the. Hmm. Doesn't... Oh, um. <laughs> have you. <laughs> 
<laughs> what are the- oh fuck, where's, where's the one that's child killing Frigg? Have you guys read that one? It's funny as hell. Oh, if I can find that one, I'll try and read it. It's like a Twitter meme. Damn it, I'm not gonna be able to find this. It's too specific. Oh, um, I think I've- uh, so are you looking for the full thing? Well, it's not a real quote, it's a made-up one, but it's really funny. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> um, give me a sec, see if I can find it. God, this is like the one time where I'm like, Twitter, can you help? <laughs> <laughs> Which I don't recommend anybody ever do. These are desperate times. Oh, this could be it. Please. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, fuck, no, it's that's the so real quote. It. That's not the meme quote. Oh, no. Because a lot of people make the meme with Mike and Trout, it just begins with like, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna... And then he like describes a bunch of shit that's absurd. Um, oh, no, everyone keeps giving me the real quote. Ooh, not the meme one. <sighs> I'm not gonna be able to find it, am I? <laughs> it's a um. Yeah, because you got like, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna make the same potato salad with Miracle Whip. You're gonna use it the same as mayonnaise. Exact recipe. No more, <laughs> no less. You're gonna <laughs> serve it. You're gonna eat it. You're not gonna say a goddamn thing. It's just like that. It's completely made up. And it just sounds like my urban trout dialogue. Mm. All right. Single female lawyer. Of all the people listening, one of you must know what I'm talking about. And if you at me it in the Discord, that would be useful. Because it made me. I think I sent it to you at some point, Fringy. Um, I'm not sure. Doesn't ring a bell. Certain. All right. Well, you know, what? I'll read another thing so we have something else happening while I search for it because yeah. I'm obsessed. <laughs> Jay Longbone just tweeted: "She Hulk's editing is so bad it actually fucks up my editing." Yeah, <laughs> I, I could totally understand that happening. Yeah. Mm. It's so bad. Like that editing is insane. They clearly had a longer scene that they chopped up. Yeah. Um, okay. Hey, Morley. Single female. Where's the pupper? No high rags? He is on an holidays of sorts. Um, I think he's back literally like in hours from now. He'll, um, he'll have the wonderful things to catch up on. Genuinely, he's going to be so excited. Uh, don't you worry, he'll be big. Probably the uh, next time you'll see him and myself and Ringy, probably Wednesday. If, uh, yeah. if things go the way I'm hoping they go, then yes, Wednesday it probably is. That's just crazy. Uh, Single female cum shot. Oh, hot. Not it. Yeah. I can provide that right now if you want. Oh. What? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello, lady, gentle ladies. Just finished watching Finding Nemo. Remember when Pixar was good rat? Also, hide a rags for me. Oh, well. I do remember when they were good rat. Your name always good rat. Well, good fish, I guess. Yeah. Good fish. Good and fishing. Ah, hello. Just finished making my first video You're last right. week. It was harder than I thought it would be. Mad respect, lads. Also high rags. Nice. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, I would warn anybody getting into video making. It's harder than it looks. Or maybe I should say <laughs> yep, it's yep, longer yep. than it looks. Rather than harder? I'm not sure, but um, yeah, when you're like, I'll just do the visuals for five minutes, like, <laughs> will you now? Is that <laughs> what you're gonna do? Hey, hey, metal. Yeah. Hey, metal. Yeah. Hey, metal. Yeah. Metal. Yeah. Metal. Yeah. Metal. Look, yeah. Metal. Metal. Look at this chat. Uh, Look at this chat. Look at this chat. It's uploading. Look at this chat. Metal, the female cum shot provider. That's me. Yeah. The greatest thing to be known by. You own by. that. <laughs> Uh, Rewatching Hunter Hunter after years. Surprised how well it holds up. Bit exposition heavy, but lots of strong writing here. Defo, a favorite anime of mine. 
I really like Hunter Hunter. I think it's pretty great. Did they know they repeated the same word twice? Was that an accident? Uh, I think it was an accident. Sure, so like, oh, no, we did it for like two seasons, and it's just, well, they were just like, just put an X in the middle. Not gonna lie, that's probably, pretty probably, awkward. Yeah, but it kind of worked out. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I uh, found the meme. Oh, nice. Yeah. So the the original quote is the, uh, you know, the we had a good thing, you stupid son of a bitch. We had Fring. We had a lab. We had everything we needed, and we all ran like clockwork. So, you got that, and then someone made a meme version where he goes, We had a good thing, you stupid son of a bitch. We had child murder in Frigg. We had a lab where Frigg randomly, brutally murdered one of his most loyal employees for no reason at all. We had Frigg threatening to kill your infant daughter, and it all ran like clockwork. But you, you and your pride and your ego, you just had to blow it up. If you'd done your job and known your place, Frigg would have killed you and replaced you with Gale, and it would be fine. <laughs> it's just funny as fuck, like... Mike's just clearly ignored how much, like, it's been hell for Walt with Frigg. <laughs> we had a good thing. <laughs> Child-killing Frigg. <laughs> uh, Frigg is great. What a what a good villain, Gus Spring. Oh yeah, yeah. Gus Springy. No, <laughs> someone make that Gus fan art. Springy, Springy. Oh, no. We'll do like the half face thing, but it's the Fringy mask, and then it's the skull on the other side. Uh, Mola, how much would one have to donate for your next video to be on Bly Manor? I'm afraid that's not possible. It's N slash A. Not applicable. Um, mm. So I would like to make something on Bly Manor someday. Because that show was neat. Yas. Oh, we got oh, some God. more. If that's a weird request for a Pokedex entry. I guess we'll get to that. Just finished. Oh, wait. Um, hey, I got a new one for you guys. One Piece Devil Fruit of the Week. Oh, my God. A fruit that gives you a superpower when eaten, but in exchange, you lose the ability to swim. First one is the Gomu Gomu no Mi. Would you eat this fruit? I'm that's confused. Just uh, it's just Luffy's one. It's from the main character, the one. Oh, so... Uh, well, is that the point, though, that they're asking us what we think about it? A fruit that gives you a superpower when eaten, but in exchange, you lose the ability to swim. Yeah, so, so he gets to... Go to a video Wait, or is that character. actually? I, I, it's been a while since I had any contact with One Piece. Is it just a thing for every person? No, I don't think it is. It's just him. So he basically gets rubber body and can extend stuff off his body. Mister Fantastic, then, but he can't swim. Rip. I guess so. <laughs> hmm. Well, I mean, I don't know. I get. I, I mean, I don't go swimming that often. But I wouldn't like. I'd like to retain well, they, they my ability to swim. Well, they are pirates, so. Oh, in that case, fuck that. <laughs> it's, a little, it's a little, uh, a little problematic. Tiny bit. Well, the thing is, though, if you gained like the ability to fly, would that just counter the fact that you can't swim? Would you just fly through the water or whatever? Oh, I guess so. I mean, you can just fly over the water. <laughs> well, even in the water. I feel right? like the. I feel like the description in that specific chat is also very broad because it's just like you gain a power and it's just like, you know, I could make that very, very, I could break that and just say, oh, well, my power is to control all reality. I guess I can trade the swimming thing there because I can just yeah. have water be breathable at a whim. I guess I can uh, live with that. I think the thing is in One Piece, if you like get drowned in water or like go underwater, that's that's the problem. Not the swimming part is the problem. I think. Yeah. You just get super weak. Or at least Luffy does. I don't know. It's been, as I said, it's been years. I don't know. Could be sh talking out of my ass here. Mm hmm. Well, all right. Uh, uh, Fringy, what's your opinion on Crash Boom Bang? Um, man, I, I did play that game, but I don't remember much about it. I remember it being. I imagine that if I played it now, I'd consider it to be not very good. Like, it was kind of Crash Bash, but worse. Um, and I mean, I like Crash Bash a lot, um, but that game was already fairly inconsistent. Um, uh, well, uh, partially inconsistent. Some of the games were inconsistent. Some of them were really cool. The Pogo one was, uh, that was fun. I guess hmm. it's just lots of random elements and just like the, the brawling. 
Have any of you guys played Crash Bash? No. 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 Oh man, you missed it. that game is fun. Um that was uh that was actually the first one that wasn't developed by Naughty Dog, because I made one through Crash Team Racing. Um and Crash Bash was what? Oh, so someone in chat just randomly wrote, Will you tweak my nipples? Well. Oh well just... uh, getting back to Crash Bandicoot adventures. <laughs> Crash Bash is uh yeah, Crash Bash um was was fun. It's it's like uh kind of like the only party crash game and until boom bang which isn't as good yeah all right uh morbius an exploration in identity when that could be a fun video to make actually could it or do we think that the meme at this point is uh no like a serious kind of... analysis of the plot line and drawing some kind of thing about identity from it oh playing it straight like the whole would... time the only real appraisal of that film in existence. <laughs> yeah, and like there's no hint, not even a hint of it being a joke, except oh, for the fact that it releases yeah. on April 1st. <laughs> <laughs> <That could be. laughs> like the so that if the video is seen on any other day, well, any other time, it'll just come across as like a legit analysis of Morbius. <laughs> yeah, that could be funny. Morbius is important. And then important comes on screen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seriously, it's so generic, that style. It's so easy to do. Uh, Morbius asks the question, why are we here? When is it <laughs> Morbin time? <laughs> no, see, none of that. None of that. All very uh, serious. Uh, I don't think I could contain myself. <laughs> to what does it mean to, to be alive? What does it mean to feel emotions? <laughs> <laughs> Matt Smith's dance is crucial no, to the thematic content. Oh, well, that's okay. Yeah, we can, as long as you say that it's crucial somewhere thematically or in terms of character, you can't meme it up, though. Yeah, I would want to, because, like, the games. the one I made for Rise of Skywalker, there's loads of, like, very weird, dumbass shit in that. I would want to make, like, a legit one for Morbius. With that, that generic-as-fuck voice, though. And pretty simplistic editing, grab a normal track. Oh, it would be fun to do. Uh, you know what, chat? If you bug me enough about that, I will consider doing that for April April first next year. Okay, because that sounds like something I could actually do in like a couple of weeks. Um, what are you watching that new Game of Thrones? Isn't that out like today or tomorrow? Oh shit! Is it? That's that's yeah, really Jesus Christ! Christ. <laughs> yeah. It's not fair, mummy. Why do I have to watch all of the shitty? I'm things? really happy. I don't give a toss about that. I don't, I don't need to watch that, that one. Either, yeah. As far as I know, the people in my spheres who care about it is literally Gary. That's it. So, is he gonna watch it? Is he gonna care? Sure he's gonna care for sure. Uh, okay. As for whether or not I care, it might be dependent on whether or not he cares to have me. If he cares to have me care. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh shit, I've actually got a message from him about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay, I'll have to look at that after Remember. the stream. I guess it's got to press on because Game of Thrones is one of Warner Brothers Discovery's most important franchises alongside 90 Day Finance Universe. <laughs> you mean Fiance? <laughs> you keep saying Finance. So completely. 90 Day Fiance, right? Oh, yeah, right. I don't know why I keep <laughs> you saying, saying Finance. finance. Yeah, time. I've said it a lot. I thought yeah, it was no, like. I just picture that TV know. show, the 90 Day Finance show. Where yeah, gonna... it should be a live show where they help people budget. And yeah. <laughs> figure out a plan to like buy a house or a car. Um, I, I'd watch it. I'd give it a shot. I guess, yeah. Though seriously, though, like Warner Brothers, in terms of like reputation, is just scorching right now. Um, jeez. Um, welcome, Nutsa. Good to have you. I recently ranked all MCU movies and shows and determined there are at most ten good ones, being six or above out of ten. Top five is seven out of ten plus. Well, fair enough. We have we are considering doing a sort of like ranking thing for uh, the anniversary for the current MCU slate. Yeah. What we will probably do is abstain from, you know, <laughs> voting stuff like Hawkeye and everything. Yeah. Uh, I look up Rhino Milk and find a documentary naming Milking the Rhino made in 2009. Well, wow. neat. Hmm. Uh, hello, Massives. Thanks for the inspiration you've given us. We've finally released our major project, a critique of the Nolan Batman films, High Rags. Oh. Oh my. Yes, All I of them? Miss. Including the Dark of the Night? I'm sure it's mainly just a couple of criticisms and then praises. That's probably what it is. Yeah. 
Uh, this one's for rags, I'll save that. Howdy, hate mongers. Hello. How do y'all deal with editing burnout? I've been working on a video, but I've had a hard time finding the energy and desire to edit it unless it's 3 a.m. Keep up the good fight, high rags. Um, well, I guess I can relate to this a little bit <laughs> <laughs> over the last... That's I, I don't, really I don't know tough that to I, answer. Uh, well, because usually I don't... The, the actual work of, like, editing and getting the footage in and making it all slot in, that's usually not difficult for me, like, as a process mentally. It takes a lot of work um, and a lot of time, but usually burnout stems from more broad creative problems rather than, I guess, doing the work, if you get what I mean? Yeah. Um, like, how do you how do you work through like uh what feels like an absence of ideas or that the ideas that you have aren't particularly worthwhile like when you start to doubt like any concept that you could come up with as opposed to i guess editing burnout would be i guess getting tired of doing the work which is i i don't know maybe that's a different problem i guess i don't know go for a walk maybe <laughs> i don't know i feel <laughs> like, like variety that, that might help. spicing up the different things you can do in your life is really going to help reset your boredom levels of uh editing yeah Obviously, that's not useful if you need to get something done. You're like, no, I need it now. How do I get motivated right now? And I, um, I just don't know how to answer that question consistently. Yeah. It's different for like everybody. I guess I think it is different because in my case, if it needs to be done, then it will get done, like regardless of how I feel about it. Like if there is a hard deadline and it needs to get done, then it's, I don't know. I'm not sure how to incorporate advice for burnout with like, because I guess in this case, it would be that you're probably doing it as, like, your hobby, like, you're making videos because that's something you want to do. In which case, it might be, um, I don't know, the, the more you can break down that task into smaller and smaller tasks, and to be able to frame uh, doing those tasks as accomplishments might help. So, like, if your objective in a day is not to get X amount of work done, but to rather work for X amount of minutes, that's an easier task to... Mm -hmm. It, like envision and accomplish um whereas if you have the task of getting things done that can be a bit um that can be a bit harder because sometimes you just have problems when you're working on something right sometimes you can get through a creative problem really easily sometimes it's really difficult and so something that you would dedicate you know like tasks take a different amount of time so if you can think of it more as like i have succeeded simply by doing the work today for a certain amount of time Maybe that can start like a positive feedback loop where you feel like you're making progress and then, you know, you can sort of snowball that and keep going. <clears throat> yeah, um, I think there's a there's a few different things there. One, if it's if you if your motivation is um limited to three AM, that that could actually be a symptom of ADHD. So maybe I uh, get a psychiatrist to do a little assessment there. But uh speaking more broadly, um there's a few different things you can do. Um, firstly, um, trying to streamline your process so that you can do more work in less time is really helpful. Like when I discovered scene edit detection in Adobe Premiere, that might have actually changed my life because instead of having to go scroll through the film, find the shot, find the place where the cut is, manually cut it out, I can just right click on the entire film file go scene edit detection and then it goes oh would you like this deposited into a handy little folder as well it's just like oh yeah i would and then adobe just takes five minutes to just cut up the entire film into its individual shots puts it into a folder for me and then i just have all the footage just broken down for me and that saves me so much time and that allows me to engage with the creative process a little bit more um and i've further refined it by then taking the shots and breaking them down into scenes so that they load faster um, so that's another way I've done that. So just getting some of those technical headaches out of the way, the things that will drag you down, that will allow you to do more work while still being able to live a life, I guess, is, is a good one. Um, another one for me is just, you know, try to, you know, let your hair down a little bit with the editing. Like if you think there's going to be a, there's a funny joke there, or if you think you can experiment with something visually, or you have a joke that you want to put in there, but you might not know, like, um how to do quite properly um you know uh, maybe experiment a little bit look up some tutorials on how to do something within your editing setup uh pe look at some other visual stuff and just experiment a little bit i know with this multiverse of madness one like i a, a, a large way i stayed engaged was um i was um i was just trying some new joke uh some new jokes by learning some new 
VFX techniques uh, to to do some visual gags, and uh, that that kept me very energized. Um, oh, they have that to look forward it, to, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> so uh, that that would be my my advice for for that sort of thing. I am. Um, it's kind of weird and possibly not healthy advice, but uh, if I got bored with visual editing, I'd be like, all right, can I do some recording? And let's say I did an hour of recording, I'm like, oh, I'm really losing my thing on this. It's like, all right, time to stop, and then I'll just start processing audio. As soon as that gets too boring, it's like, can I go back to visual editing? And maybe my boredom on visual editing has refreshed now since that, <laughs> because I've been doing other things, and my body has processed it in that way. It's like a kind of a cheat code to reboot, but while tricking a bot. Because... Dare I call it voice acting? Feels like a very different operation than searching for visuals to visual edit, right? And so it's like I'm pretty sure that this is uh, just well documented to be helpful. It's switching tasks when uh, oh, yeah. one task involves one, I guess, aspect of uh, your mind, and then you switch to another one. Like it's just a refresh. Well, and if I couldn't do it that way, this video never would have been made in time. This has been nonstop for the past like two months, and. Uh, my god, uh, you know, it's, 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 no, it's not exactly a secret, it's uh, it's days away from finally getting out, and it's fucking large, it's a fat video. It is fat. Lots of yeah. scenes in it. Almost six hours. I was gonna oh say, it is, it is getting to the absurd level of being like, you would, if you want to watch this video live, you might have to book a, a day off work. <laughs> like, oh, well, why, why do you make such long videos? What's wrong with you? Oh, I don't yeah, know. man. When's the last time that you touched grass? I, I, I've got some of that. I've got a grass in a little like uh, plant pot that I keep on my desk, so I can touch it whenever yeah. I want. That's cheating. Yeah. So, um, actually, speaking of um, advice, there was one thing I forgot to mention, which is kind of related, which is take breaks. Do take breaks. Like yes. fucking. You know, get through like give yourself if if you need to. Um, what what's helpful is instead of just trying to churn out as much as your body will physically give, you know, just give yourself like um, little little uh, little goals. Like uh, maybe you put in all the essential clips first. Um, like if you like the because sometimes I do things a bit non-linearly, so sometimes I'll just slot in all the essential clips that I know um, I need first, and then. Um, I might just watch an episode of something uh, as a reward for that. And then I might fill in the gaps between the essential clips and then I will go and have dinner or I'll go and give myself a snack or I'm hungry right now. I can only think of food related reward systems at the moment. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> but, uh, mm -hmm. Or I'll play a bit of a game or, um, or I'll go outside and see the sun and touch Aww. the grass yeah. under my feet. Hey, um, you know, just, 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 just variety in your life in general is going to mean you will hate editing a lot less. Um, that's, that's, a, that's a good one. I don't know. If you have a girlfriend, maybe have sex with them if, after a certain amount of time or something. I don't know. I don't know. What do you people, what do you weird Women. people do? Well, Women yeah. in editing. Unless, of <laughs> course, yourself. unless, of course, that's cage time for the girlfriend, in which case, keep her in there. You don't want to have that That's true. Her. That's true. Um... <laughs> Better Call Saul's existence really contextualizes why most Marvel stuff is less than a 4 out of 10. Alright, well that's a gross over-exaggeration if you're talking about Phase 4. Cause... Yeah, it got down. <laughs> the average is a 2. Uh, but yeah, there was a... Because I've been keeping up with Better Call Saul, there was definitely a sense of... You put that on, and it's like, you know... It's like, okay, we're being serious, and we're actually telling a story now. It's like, you're right, yeah, yeah. You, you sit down, and you're like, okay. It's not like... You know, Thor, Love, and Thunder, where you're just like, what is this? What have you done? What is happening? Mm -hmm. um, uh, oh, others... well, uh, someone wants me to p p p draw attention to the Gustavo Fringy memes in the, <laughs> the chat. Um, do they want me to put them on the screen? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, they, they wanted they wanted to wanted them to be shown for the for the world to see. Oh, one of these portrays him as looking like he's dead. I don't appreciate this. Okay, Fringy's alive and well. He's right there. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. It's what we call fake news. Mm -hmm. um, other streamers like Gary, Adam, and Sitch read uh, Super Chat values. You guys don't. Got any thoughts on it? I mean, it comes up every once in a while, but uh, it's to do with the uh, sort of the sense of rewarding um, a viewer for their money amounts, you want to try to avoid that. Um, 
Fuck, I, I, I was telling Frank about this. I watched uh, the, the documentary. Anybody who watches uh, Real BBC will know why I did this. Like, my homework. I uh, Seduced. It's a four-part documentary about the Nixium cult. My god. I guess I knew this already, but humans are so susceptible to manipulation. <laughs> like, yeah. it's terrible. It's so easy and so... Like, it gets so bad. To the point where you can get people to do all kinds of things if you um, do the right things in the right places. And, um, yeah, cults can form so easily as well, and cult mindsets. And so, uh, we, we at EFAP like to, you know, entertain, and we like to make sure you guys are doing all right, and we'd like to inspire, but at the same time, there needs to be, like, a separation. I want it to, it to be clear that uh, we are not your friends, um, as much as that may seem harsh. And I think part of it, to, to make sure that's clear, is the money that's used to support the work to see more of it. Um... I think it's it's better if we don't like be like ah oh, person who gave in ten you're pretty cool person who gave in twenty you're even cool ah oh, person who gave in fifty wow you're the best hundred oh, because then it'll make people feel like oh if I want to get more um, sort of appreciation from the cast I just have to give them more money which feels uh, a little bit gross on our end in a lot of ways so I'd rather try and gun for the um, <clears throat> the substance, which is that you send in a message, you want the message answered, we will read it and we will answer it. And um, there's no, there's like a prestige that comes with the money amount being read or the name even being read. Um, and by the way, I don't consider it immoral to do that. Um, it's just not something that I would uh, want to do. For example, if Fringy was to stream on his own or if Rags were to and they, they opt for it, that's totally fine. But uh, it's not something that I have a preference for. And so EFAP has kind of ended up that way. Um, yeah, I'm I'm kind of in the same place. I just don't want um, people to feel like if they couldn't give money to support the show, then they're not worth as much as other people or whatever. It's like, no, 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 no. It's all good. Everybody, we really appreciate all forms of support. It's fucking uh, indeed. Thank you all incredibly. Trust me. It's uh, it's uh, all this stuff. None of it would have happened anywhere near as the way that it is without you guys. Um, uh, also, are you excited for any new media? Um. Uh, there's a couple of games, right? That's High on Life looks cool. Justin Rowland's game. Okay, like, it is that, uh, um, about that. Uh, it's, uh, it's like you're in space and you have talking guns, like that are aliens. <laughs> that looks cool. That sounds um, like a Rowland thing, to be honest. <laughs> well, yeah, because one of the guns sounds just like Morty. Uh. <laughs> it's very. Uh, <laughs> um, and then uh, Bayonetta Three looks cool. Um, what what else is there? Well, I, I Ragnarok. I think me and Metal will be very oh, much right, on board yeah, with that one. Be, I guess. I mean, yeah. If I if I can play it at some point. Remind Let's me, see. is that coming out on PS Five and Four or just Five? I, four I and Five, yeah. But yeah. I don't want to play it on Four. I don't trust the I mean, system. Understandable. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't trust it. Um, um, okay, Insomniac Spider Man Two, uh, I think, is like the, no, next, the only year. one that's on my radar. Oh, Ragnarok! Oh, I just wait, gotta get around to finishing God of War Four as well. Yeah. I thought they said this year. No, it's all upcoming. Yeah, I guess. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we'll see about that one. Yeah. Um, I'm sure what I'm looking at in terms of movies right now. Scorn? That's like an horror FPS or something that's coming out. Yeah, that and Callisto cool. Protocol, um, both things we got our eye on. Uh, oh, oh, right, right, right. Callisto Protocol. Protocol. Splatoon yeah. 3. Yeah, Splatoon 3 is coming out soon. That's going to be cool. Well, lots of video games. Yeah, there you go. Um, movies, I'd have to be reminded if there's anything I'm actually I care about. I can't think of. Obviously, we're all hyper excited for the next content from Star Wars or Marvel. Mm. Yeah, so I um, can't lie. pipe is yeah, full no. the next month. That's... It's just what, you're not rain. excited for Black Adam. Mm. You know, like mm. I oh, forgot Adam. about that. <laughs> oh. Um, shit, Adam, yeah. Um, of what? No, I mean, Dwayne Johnson looks amazing. Black Adam to launch the Black Cat Adam DC universe. Um, yeah, all will revolve around the villain of Shazam <laughs> because the, he's the being only, played by Dwayne Johnson. The only silver lining of that film is that he was being tossed up between two characters at one point, I'm pretty sure, which was Black Adam and the John Stewart Green Lantern. And I'm very glad that he got Black Adam rather than John Stewart. Um, I don't know what it would have done. So maybe I'm leaning into the meta, but like personally, I find it really odd and kind of lame that because Black Adam is being played by Dwayne Johnson, we're probably going to end up with this weird warped DC universe where Black Adam 
is like one of the more important players in this world mm. at the expense of other characters I would prefer to see. So maybe mm-hmm. I would have preferred if he was Jon Stewart because that would, like at the very least, if you had like a, I, I would be much happier with a DC universe that revolved more around Green Lanterns than Black Adam specifically. Mm. Um, uh, yeah. But that's the that... meta seeping in. Hope, maybe Black Adam will fail and then we don't have to worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I can definitely see that perspective. I think my I think my 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 perspective was definitely more informed by like the whole like I don't think he's that good an actor, so I don't really want him playing either. Fine. But if I had to make the choice, yeah, he's okay. Um, yeah, like he's all right. I don't, know, he's, um, I don't know him playing somebody who's meant to be much more cold and callous though. Doesn't uh, yeah. doesn't strike me as a role that he would typically play. And again, the marketing shtick just doesn't work. Oh, I'm edgy, and I kill people not like other superheroes even though like iron man punched the dude so hard that he went flying <laughs> into a wall in yeah. this first movie yeah really <laughs> this weird. universe started off with superman neck snaps and exactly. fucking, I mean, like, this is school the shooter batman universe. yeah yeah and and thinking about phase one it's like cap iron man and thor they all kill people so does hulk yeah and of course mm-hmm. avengers yeah black widow and hawkeye um, yeah they, they all kill people <laughs> spider man is, is quite unique yeah, this guy it's not the norm. I, I guess they thought Spider-Man and Batman is like, oh, well, that's the norm. Even though their Batman is not, yeah, yeah. whatever. Uh, but they sell toys of him in supermarkets. Of course they do. He's cool. He brands people. Woo! <laughs> and apparently the Peacemaker show insists he doesn't kill people, which is like, uh, what universe are you in? Um, I guess, I don't know, they're changing their minds. I don't know, man. When, he, when he punched that guy's head into the floor, I felt like he, he died. Probably. Well, he shot a bullet into a gas canister, and the result was immolation of no, the that person. that guy's fine. That guy's fine. The one that he landed his car on top of, he's also fine. Mm, well, on top yeah. of his head. You even see it run through his head. That's fine. He's fine. I'm sure he's fine. Or, or like the people in the car that he shredded with machine gun bullets <laughs> and then smashed and through. Dragged around, Do you remember that? Remember that guy who we covered responding to Jay's video live, where he was like, Getting so fucking furious yeah. at Jay for being critical of Snyder's win. Yeah. <laughs> he was so angry. Like, ah, uh, what a. They're a strange breed, the, the Snides, the Sneeds, the Snoods. Sneeds. Um, she Hulk is basically a name only. She's absolutely nothing like a comic character. If anything, she's the complete opposite. That's what I That's come to understand. Getting. Yeah, yeah. Really unfortunate. Uh, salutations, Lord Longbone of Mutington Abbey, and hello, good boy, Wagsies. Uh, no Kong Fap Super Chat today. My dog Sunny has reached her end. Uh, she's a loyal Aww. friend. It's been very hard. Can I get some well wishes and condolences for a good girl? Uh, oh, that, that, that is really, really tough. Yeah. Yeah, that um, sucks, man. Never easy when a loyal, loving pet passes away. Uh, hope you're doing okay, of course, and rest in peace to a Good doggo. Yeah. Uh, one one must imagine Sisyphus happy. Um, happy to push the boulder to continue. You mean? Yeah. Isn't that because that's the yeah, that's part uh, of the point uh, of Sisyphus? From the uh, well, oh, but I thought there was it wasn't. Ah, oh, damn! I'm forgetting the philosopher. Someone in chat will know. There was a philosopher who said like he talked about Sisyphus, and I think he said like that. I don't know. Smiling through it, did you yeah. have to? Keep fighting. Something to do with like the absurdity of life. You just got a smile in the face. But someone in chat will know, hopefully. Uh, this is the first live stream I was able to catch and enjoy. All hail the EFAB crew, Drinker, Az, Gary, and the other great minds guiding us through the sea of awful factory sludge. Long live continuity, character, and plot. Ah. Yeah, I mean, if you nail all of those, I feel like you'll be okay. No matter what yeah. story you're telling. Um, yeah, glad you enjoyed. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> Wings quote of the day. I ain't got nothing to life. I'm washed up, man. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, jeez. Oh. Bonus. Uh, I'm texting my FBI agent about the trolls right now. <laughs> <laughs> my, F- my FBI agent. I like you can just, like, have an FBI agent. Like, Wait, you don't have one? Yeah, it's uh, you got hey, like a vending talk, machine. I got the guy sending in some super chats. <laughs> <laughs> Go I'm on, get him, get him, FBI man. 
And then he hangs up. Yeah. <laughs> you got an FBI agent on speed. <laughs> um, I really hate it when people say the problem with the MCU is it's a boring series where nothing interesting happens. And I say the problems are so much worse than that. The only response I get is, oh, those problems are not important. Okay. I, I really don't go for the whole boring thing with anything they've done so far. In fact, I would argue that no. their motivation to be not boring is what helps kill it. Yeah. We could use a, lot, a little bit more boring in these yes. stories. <laughs> I believe so, too. Uh, when your fans say you're wrong about this, they hate it when you say I don't care about this. They see it as you're saying I'm allowed to be wrong on this. Um, I'm trying to think of a context where say if someone said you, you had a bad opinion on blah 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 and then you say I don't care about it. I mean, they could take that from it, but I guess what that person's saying is they don't care to find out if they're right or wrong on it. Which, um, you know, it can happen. There can be people who just don't want to deal with the, the particular subject. Um, guest up the little platoon, please. They are certainly the next big thing in Long, and I think they and Jay would be superb together. The Little Platoon. I have never heard of them, but I, you know, it's always nice to have a fellow long on the on the stream. Efat movies, Charlie's Angels. You talking about the new one or the older one? Old year. Could be like a triple feature with like all the versions. Yeah, maybe. Uh, how about covering Hawkeye for Christmas? It is a Christmas-themed show, after all. It's got solid character work and doesn't have uh, world-ending stakes. So, fun enough, if we're gonna try and cover one we've missed, uh, it's probably gonna be Moon Knight. I've seen a lot of people are very upset that Moon Knight got shelved, and uh, mm. I can see there's a chance, as time goes on, that I will find time to be able to rewatch it all and get all the notes ready, because I guess Fringing Rags wouldn't really need to rewatch it if they had me as the sort of reference machine. And then, of course, we can, we can have on a couple of guests if they would be on board with doing it. I know it would be out of uh, sync a little bit, timeline-wise, but... I've just, I, it, out of all the things we missed, Moon Knight seems to be the one that a lot of people are very upset that we missed. I was like, oh, oh dear. Oh dear. So, uh, if we're going to try and recover one, it'll probably be that. Um, it also, because it means I don't have to force Fringy and Rags to see another show, technically. They don't have to rewatch Moon Knight. That's cheating. It's not allowed. What, what is the best media that's come out since EFAP started? My pick would be Arcane. Hi, Fringy. Hmm. So Joker and the Father would be my picks, I think. I yeah, I was about to say those too. Uh, those were those were good shit. It was really good shit. I love Arcane a lot. Um yeah. but I don't think it can match up to the the tightness of uh of the others. Which to be fair, it's harder for them to do Arcane to do that. Arcane has way more variables, but mm -hmm. um oh of course Bly Manor is another uh, I fucking adored as well. Oh, you're right. I thought it was just movies. So, yeah, Bly, of course. Oh, they, said, they said media, I think. Yeah, best media. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. So, Bly Zay. <clears throat> wow. Um, I imagine Fringy would agree with these choices. Uh, I'm not sure if he would maybe suggest a video when game of some EFAP's, kind. I don't know. When did EFAP te theoretically start? 2018. Well, I guess God of War is still in there, then. God of War 2018. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's actually a good question. Did I stream my playthrough of God of War 2018 before or after EFAP has started? Oh. Hmm. I can't remember. Hey, chat, you tell me. Was Wait, when do you know the release date for God of War? Because obviously EFAP started August 22nd of 2018. Let's see. God of War 2018. Quick chat, answer only with nipple. Confuse him. That would be April 2018. It was before EFAP. Yeah. Oh, damn. Well, guess, guess that's out. Interesting. Good job, <laughs> meme. They're all writing nipple. <laughs> Can you believe it? Oh, I shouldn't a... have such power, but I do. There was a time where EFAP wasn't a thing. I can't believe it. Weird. Proven today. <laughs> Proven today that EFAP was not... Um, it makes me so sad thinking about how we lost on getting an MCU She-Hulk who could have been endearing, humble, and quirky character like a comic counterpart. Instead, we get this super entitled jerk. 
Yeah. Um, hey, maybe she'll come around as the episodes go on. I doubt it, but hey, maybe. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> uh, what is the best media? Oh, wait, I read that one. What, there's a panel of sensational She-Hulk where she's changing and she gets the artist to enlarge the spaces between panels to form a censorship bar. Yeah, apparently there's lots of ways she fucks with the comics as you read them, which is pretty cool. Um... So, yeah, I don't know if they'll do that with a TV show. Doubtful, but it'd be really neat if they did. Yeah, it would be neat. Uh, if Cap was just doing ops for the years, then that just speaks to massive PTSD and not being able to cope with the modern world. But yeah, lol, virgin. I, I, like I said, the joke was weird. It was weird. Uh, both ends of the joke. Good luck with that. Have fun, I guess. Uh, the men should have said hello there in Kenobi voice. By the way, she totally murdered those dudes. She almost did. The Hulk saved them. A true hero. Because she couldn't handle her emotions. That's what that scene told us. Part 1. The Doctor Doom origin was better where he held Jen hostage and forced Hulk to attack the UN and took his blood for super soldiers. After the Fantastic... Was that the ultimate origin? Dunno. After the Fantastic hmm. Four stops Hulk and saves Jen, she was shot. Hulk has to make the choice of saving her or not. Uh, intro to Fantastic Four and Doom in the MCU. Yeah, they could do that. They probably well, won't, Well, that though. changed it. They've not now, I guess. That's over. That, op that opportunity's come and gone. I'm going to frighten you guys. I just remembered that She-Hulk was once part of the Fantastic Four at one point. So what if they just shoehorn her into that franchise as well? Maybe she creates the Fantastic Four in a lab herself, and then she's like, you guys can be called the Fantastic Four. That would be, really, be really good, right? Help. Yeah, awesome. Help. Send help. Call the police. I can't catch episode 200 live. Bye, rags. Oh. Don't you worry, because they'll get re-uploaded. Uh, surprise you don't think that it's probably... Iron Man's mask? I didn't think it was Iron Man's mask because it, it looks like Ultron's, the scarring Ultron had on his first mask. Uh, from memory, it almost fitted exactly in my head. Um, it's the one that got like sprayed with acid or something in the beginning of Age of Ultron. It looks just like that one. Uh, but I guess it could be an Iron Man mask. I don't know. Pretty sure it's an Ultron one. That's what I thought, yeah. Are you guys working on a project together where you poo-poo on like 10 super popular movies that are actually bad? I.e. The Dark Knight and Interstellar. I hear y'all's whispered talks about it. No, we've been working on Multiverse of Madness. That's not a secret at yeah. this point. <laughs> like, <laughs> we, uh, got announced last week, right? And I don't think it's the secret who's worked on it. So it would be myself, Fringy, Meme, Goga, and Jay. Each have provided portions. Uh, because it would be hard to exactly specify how much of everybody's in there. But you'll you'll probably notice certain things. You'll notice memes, memes, and edits in yeah. that vein. You'll notice uh, uh, references to the Simpsons that could be from anybody. Got some, I think, I was about to say there's some cum in there, but then I was like, oh, well, that could be meme or Jay, so you can't really be <laughs> sure of that. No, no, you cut um, my cum, remember? I cut the oh. one of the cums, yes. There's not all That's of the cum. Um, That's true. I think Jay put a secret cum in there as well. It's a lot more hidden than your cum. <laughs> That's so. true. That's true. Mine was a little less subtle. I gotta upload that to, like, the third channel or something at some point. So, yeah. There's, there's flair. That, seriously, guys. It's a fucking... It, it, six hours, pretty much, of just me complaining about a movie. It's, uh... That's pretty one, cringe, bro. One movie. That's how bad <laughs> it was. Hashtag release the cum cut. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, literally the one time you had a good chance to summon Nick Rakita as a guest and you blew it, Mugelington. You blew it. We got, how many episodes of She-Hulk are there? Like a million? Nine, so we still got We'll be more. fine. I'll, I'll totally grab up Nick if he wants to. The thing is, there was no law in this episode, so. <laughs> oh, so maybe it'd be better to wait until we have an actual case. Yeah, maybe we'll have an episode where they mention a law and then we'll have Nick on. Yeah. <laughs> he could I'm go. Sure that, that was bullshit. Specific law, or even just recognize the difference <laughs> between federal and state laws. <laughs> oh, remember the Book of Ashanti will be referenced as a. Oh no, the Book of uh -huh. America. Yeah. You know what's funny? We... In the in the podcast we did on Doctor Strange, we all agree they're never going to bring up the Book of Ashanti again. 
I guess we were wrong. <laughs> oh, yeah. I they guess brought we were it up wrong. with a meme that doesn't make sense. That's what I mean. Can't do like, by the non existent book, yeah. We are wrong, but at the same time, what the hell are they bringing it up for there? It's so what weird. What does he mean to fix by the book of Ashanti? I don't There's no know. book. It's been burnt. Does Wong have a degenerative is... brain disease? Because he's speaking like a fucking alien <laughs> person. Well, he did. Yeah. Remember how, he, how much he mean. fell? So you hit his uh, head several times. You hit his head on the car, remember? Oh yeah, maybe this is maybe we're seeing consequences. <laughs> kind of like catching up with him, all of the <laughs> injuries. concussions. Yeah. Like I'm the yeah. Socrates uh, Prupreme, so Sora scene. <laughs> you're like, oh no, Wong. Oh god, yeah. Wong no. Uh, boop 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 boop. End games. The one that ruined this opportunity, but wouldn't it have been cool if we still had the Hulk alter ego and we see him react to having a family member who is like him? Well, yeah, it's, it's, I, it's funny, like, we haven't even talked about all the missed stuff you have with that, because that's, like, downstream of all the other stuff they've missed, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, they've missed, there's all the extended branches of the whole tree that they didn't plant, because they, they, they make decisions that are baffling. Yeah, like, we haven't talked on, like, all the various Hulk personalities that are, like, locked in there that they're never gonna use, or that if they do use, it'll be really, really retarded. Like, I can only imagine how they would do Joe Fix-It, for example. Official this rule. Great. A woman cannot be saved by a man or mentored by a man. Ask Robert Meyer Burnett. He found the rules in the Discovery Writer's Room. If that's true, I fucking hate that as restriction. <laughs> Because that are imposed that are just that make it so that you have a lot of story potential that is impossible to explore. This genuinely has Could nothing to do with uh, men or women when I say this, but I'd be like, guys, you have created a world where many of the veteran heroes are male. Therefore, new heroes, if they are going to be mentored by anyone, it's very likely going to be male characters, and that's okay. It is okay for Doctor Strange to teach America how to use her power. That is okay. No. Oh. No. Take no. Back. No. I tried. Mantor, more like. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, I, uh, I hope that's not an actual restriction that they have in the Marvel Ryan room. That would suck. Uh, Jen doesn't even change with anger. She changes when she's confident. I, I mean, I guess we'll find out more. Because, <laughs> yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I don't know exactly what they're going to say. The rule it, By the judging for the end of the show, it looked like she just turns it on and off whenever she wants. I thought that was the idea. I don't know. Mm. Uh, being a female lawyer in the first world is a life-threatening job, don't you know? Apparently. See how women suffer being rudely complimented for looks, working with imperfect co-workers, cut to male slash female self-delete and homelessness rate. Yeah, let's not. Let's not. We, we don't even want to do that. Cat calling, you see. It's an epidemic, and uh, it's good now that more and more people know about it. I don't even know how I would react to being cat called. I'd be like, oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you do you, presumably builder guy. I think it would depend on the cat caller for, for me. If it was a hyper, super duper hot, but super old man, what, do you, what would you say? Hmm. Well, I would, I would take the flattery, even mm. if I had no interest. Uh... Or if it was like in an alleyway, I would just like be walking very, very fast. You know, the context location is very important for these things. I've been catcalled. I know exactly how to control my anger. My mother was beaten to death in front of me by my father, and I tried to put a bullet in my mouth, and I spat it out. What were you saying about control again? This is this is the discourse. This is all around the internet, unfortunately. I don't know why they would have expected anything else. Maybe this is what they expected. Or hoped for, you know? I don't know. I wonder how she'll interact with Thunderbolt Ross. Isn't he, uh, he's gonna be recast now, right? Gotta be. Very sorry? Uh, Thunderbolt Ross is is General Ross, right? Oh, yeah, because uh, William Hurt passed away last year, or was it this year? Um, I, I think, think it was, it was this th year. I would guess it's this year, yeah. Uh, but I don't um, I don't know how they're going to deal with that because Ross is quite an important figure in the world. Uh, like yeah. they literally got a movie coming up called The Thunderbolts. So, <laughs> well, he doesn't technically you wouldn't have to be on screen at any moment, right? You just have other characters delegating, but you'd think they'd recast. 
Uh, I, I don't know, though. You'd hope so. Banner. With great power comes great responsibility. She-Hulk. No thanks, emo kid. Also, scratches for the good gym and more Mario Kart fringy. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I've been playing it all morning. I guess they, they're saying stream more of it. Even oh, more? Yeah, Someone just said Sam Elliott is dead. No, no, no. That no, was the that other was, one. That was Ross in the uh, Eric Banner Hulk movie. Uh, we're talking about the MCU one. Uh, I think Kevin and Disney are delusional and think they're leading some virtuous movement against other IPs. Meanwhile, Zaslav made his own snap. Yeah, he did. We'll have to see how that all turns out. Male uh, pissing producers. Better Call Saul ended two days before this. What I drop in quality, anyone? What did you think about B Better Call Saul ending and the ending to the BB universe? I guess you could say, oh yeah, I guess that's an ending to the book. Bring Bring universe. Bad universe, which didn't, uh, because uh, Aaron Paul said that is his last time playing Jesse. Is there even a need to announce that? I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's kind of funny that we're in the world where that does need to be announced. I guess so. Is it like, so there's not going to be a show called Jesse. <laughs> it's like no better call jesse um but yeah uh if you want to know my thoughts on better call soul it was at the beginning ish of the super chat section no oh, don't end up doing that again and again you know hulk is stronger the angrier he gets so they nerfed him by having him find inner peace i don't think they cared to even make that line up they just they've nerfed him in general no. he's yep. so much smaller than he used to be He's way smaller. You, again, you just compare him in the first in the in the Incredible Hulk. He's yeah. enormous, and look at how big Abomination is. In uh, when you see him in that uh that clip, he's huge. Yeah, he's way bigger than Bruce is. Bruce but they're is about little... the same size. And that's the thing. I think they'll just if they need him to be bigger, they'll just make him bigger. He'll just they'll be just bigger. Make him bigger. Yeah, because remember in Endgame, right? Like, it, they have passed Hulk for scale, and they're the same size, even though it's pretty fucking clear that there should be a size differential there, right? Yeah, I remember what you're saying. Like, the, the Raging Hulk is around. Like yeah. The classic boy. Mm. Uh, destroy the bar Tony Stark built, but then have She-Hulk rebuild it. Subtle messaging there, Disney. I don't know about that. I just felt rude. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I got on that. I was just like, fucking don't establish he helped build it, then destroy it. That's just a dick move. Uh, Spider Man had a great word on that. If you're in a position to help and you have the power, but you don't, you're also to blame for whatever happens. Um, that is, this is part of what Spider Man believes. Um, you know, there's, there's plenty of arguments to be had about the specific circumstances for all the ways that could apply. Uh, but it does seem like that's what Bruce is getting at, and we don't get to talk about it. Instead, she just goes, is that from a comic? Laugh my ass off. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Imagine Hulk one-shot She-Hulk as soon as the bar got destroyed because he actually got angry and then dismissed her. She'd dwell on maybe how she was wrong. Oh, dude, I'd, I'd make, I'd make anything else happen that's more interesting, please. Yeah. We don't, like, it, I love that, right? Bruce has lost Tony Stark. How does he feel about that? We didn't even... Who cares? We're doing other stuff. He's a yeah. side character in someone else's show. It's just like, okay, fine. So lame. <sighs> How is she dealing with becoming a Hulk so well? The fact that it happened at all should be a huge deal. Strange writing choices for a first episode. She's taken it very well. Very, very well. She likes it. Yeah. I think it's kind of the point we're getting to, isn't it? Um, opinion on Southpaw and SK defending the scene where Jen berates Bruce and saying the scene after it redeems it. I think uh, I've seen a lot of people say that. That's one of the things we went over. It's, it's a relatively common opinion, I guess, at this point. But like I said, I feel that uh, it makes it worse. I think my biggest definitive issue in terms of a contradiction of the scene is that Jen should understand his history better than pretty much anyone on Earth, except maybe an Avenger. At least one of the originals. But the and reason why she doesn't is probably because the writers themselves may well be unfamiliar with yeah. the details like, of his history. If she were the kind of person um, that I believe the show wants her to be, you know, like a good-hearted person, uh, she should know the kind of damage she's dealing by sort of that rant she gives. 
and how like inappropriate it is and how much more care Bruce deserves than what she gave um and you know I'm uh, I'm willing for uh, the show to have him ha have him hear stuff like that and fight back but we didn't even get that um we mainly it's got kind of her. <laughs> yeah and it's really disappointing and uh it just reminds me of what they've done to uh the Hulk as a character and then obviously what what I'm reminded of about these sort of new characters they bring in. Yeah, um, but something um something else they could have done is that she starts going down that rant and then like she has that moment of like that self-aware moment of oh fuck who I just remembered who I'm talking to. This is actually really banal shit compared to that. Like there could have been like a I have my own issues that I'm venting right now but now but I just rem but now I'm kind of you know you know sometimes when you're saying things but you don't uh, you don't quite compute who you're talking to um and then you just have that moment of like oh i should actually just reassess what i'm doing just, at the moment um, that could have been something but fuck nope not even that we could like because i i'd want to reset all of this i'd be like why wouldn't the first episode be a day in the life and we have it be stressful as fuck the lawyer life mm -hmm. you know you've got constant calls messages and cases to juggle at the same time you went in and out of court she's got to see all kinds of people Maybe she's got a really tough home life as well. And then um, maybe she's taking care of Bruce because of his, his arm and some other stuff. And so you get bits and bobs and just show the weight she's got on her shoulders. And uh, we can still have that scene of her kind of snapping, but then realizing that even with everything she's going through, think of what he's gone through. And he's like, oh, it's so fucking awkward that she's looking at a man and his wound from having saved half of the universe. It, it, <laughs> like how how is this not how is this not on your mind when you when you're a dick oh. to him I don't know I highly encourage watching Hawkeye episode two whilst flawed it shows some of the good character work in the show episodes one and six were easily the weakest all right yeah one was weak <laughs> that's for sure I kind of it's interesting uh, that nobody's been recommending Miss Marvel to us um but a couple no, people no, have said no, to watch Hawkeye yes. yeah. I'm guessing no one, either no one saw this Marvel or no one thought it was good. I can't say the most, show exists. Yeah, the most I've heard from Miss Marvel outside of the mutant stuff is that it might be okay, but I don't have any, like, way to verify that. Well, That's well, the only thing I've heard. In it, I haven't, I've literally heard no details. So I, I, or at least I heard, like, the first couple of episodes were decent, and then it shat the bed or something. So basically, Disney, standard Disney Plus then. Okay, well, That's enough. a formula. Usually it starts out, well, I mean, depends on your definition of starts out okay, but it usually deteriorates. Yes. Um, yeah. And pretty much unanimously, the finales have been bad. Um... Like, really bad. Bad enough that people recognize them as being bad broadly. Mm hmm. But they keep coming back for more. Yeah, which is the important part. There's always more. Uh, look up the She Hulk Benny Hill sketch. It's great. I will put that on my big old possibly maybe pile for, for later. I'll put in little notes. Uh, the commie moments in these films don't fit the scenes in context with the characters. It's cringe, it's unwatchable, and it hits you like a, a grazed nutsack. Ow. Mm <laughs> hmm. I don't like that. <laughs> it, it could be grazed with like a pillow. I guess you wouldn't call that grazed. You'd just call that something nicer. You know. I'm trying to soften it. Ew. Uh, uh, heard your bear versus <laughs> Sabretooth musings in 154 catch up. It was a year ago that we did that. Believe it. Really? Oh yeah. As a paleontologist, I could tell you all about that stuff if you so desire. We've had a couple of offers of that. We even had, a, I think, comments on the re-upload. There was, like, paragraphs and paragraphs Ooh. going over how the whole fight would run out. I mean, we just we just said, like, okay, okay, it's the bear. The bear wins. I think that was the conclusion, <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, we got another of the day. I'll grab him up. Complaining to Hulk about having a hard life is like complaining about your disability to Matt Murdock if she stubbed her toe. Also, hi, not rags. Um, yeah, it just Hello. feels like they may have been so busy sort of having a deliver the dialogue they wanted they forgot who she was talking to that's how it feels but then again that following scene it makes you feel like oh they did know then why the fuck did they write it this way because fuck the old characters that's why 
Fuck him. Here's one to add to your pile. Versus match of the day. Jinx versus Green Goblin. LOL slash Arcane versus Raimi Trilogy MCU. Full arsenals included for both fighters. If we're going Jinx pre um Shimmer. Pre Shimmer? She no, loses. Uh, yeah. If she's going post Shimmer, I think she wins. She's got like super speed, strength, and all kinds of weapons. The speed is the big advantage she has. I'm not sure the green got. Remember, she's even got the uh, hyper powerful, like, the uh, hex tech shit as well. I'm not sure the green goblin's gonna be able to put up with that. So there you go. I must draw attention <laughs> to the pain. I must draw attention to the pain I have just injected into the chat. Was it? So does green goblin. Green goblin doesn't have super speed. Oh, what is this? Pain. Um, it's been interesting that the defensive response a lot of people have had to defend Jen's dialogue is that she's just talking about women's issues. She's not trying to say it in comparison when she's very much talking about the comparison. She explicitly says... I thought she says, said infinitely more than you. Yeah, That's a she, direct she makes comparison. it... Yep. That's the big. I honestly wonder how much better this would have gone on mistake, if they didn't have yeah. that one line. If it was, if it was without that, line. and then of course we could go as far as saying editing the whole speech. But remove the one part where she says more than you. I, I wonder how much better it would have gone over. I think that might have been the nice. big mistake. Yeah. Um. Has anyone seen Ally McBeal in recent memory? The show doesn't seem like that or the She-Hulk comics so far. I feel like Ally McBeal is primarily about lore despite all the sex relationship stuff. I watched the entire show when I was super young to the point where I'm pretty sure I saw it before I saw Buffy and Angel and I didn't absorb like any of it memory-wise. When did Ally McBeal come out? Like late 90s, 2000s, I think. 97. Oh, so it would have been around the same time. Well, I can tell you which one I enjoyed more. <laughs> Shocking, I know. What's crazy though, if, I think if I were to watch that show, I would get a really weird experience because it would be like things that would trigger really, really old memories. Because I haven't seen that show at all since that era of my life. For example, I remember one of the main characters in that show is one of the main characters in the Mr. Bean movie. Um, one of the Mr. Bean movies, anyway. The one where he destroys the painting. That's like a very. Peter McNichol. Yeah, I, I don't know that he's in, like, literally anything else, but... Oh, yeah, and Lucy Liu's in it, right? I think she is. Um, yeah. Be interesting to check out again someday. Uh, look up the Gen 8 fossil... Oh, right, we'll, we'll put that in our... Oh! You're not allowed to do that. <laughs> Got a lot of them. It's, 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 uh... What is the worst character assassination you've seen? I'd say for my money, it's Sins past the Spider-Man comic. It ruined Gwen and damaged MJ. Oh, they undid that one, I think, pretty recently. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, that, that one's up there. Uh, Wanda, probably. I don't know that we've ever seen anything worse than that. Yeah, w Wanda's like the... Ooh. But then it's, it's, it's so hard because there's just so many examples of character assassination to just really sift through, but uh, my gut is saying Wanda too. Mm -hmm. Like, we can't understate. She goes on a fucking killing rampage. Um, oh, yeah. It, some people say, like, like Danny, Joel, and Luke. So for Luke, again, it's like... Well, it's, you know, all of these are bad. There are degrees, but, though. But, like, Wanda is literally annihilating scores of humans in order to hang out with people who aren't related to her at all. You know what I mean? Like, Daenerys burned yeah, a bunch of people while attacking a city in the middle of a war. That was out of character, complete assassination, but there's more there. Uh, Luke got real sad because he's shit. <laughs> and then Joel got old and stupid. You know what I mean? Like, there's these, they have lines of logic as flimsy as they are, but like, with Wanda's, like, they were really pushing that. To the point where behind the scenes stuff, they're like, you know what, Wanda, she wanted this, and they stood in her way, you know? They they, they, uh, they, they, they really brought it on themselves in, in some ways. <laughs> it's just like, no. And no. You, no. Like, like Wanda, the Wanda's assassination is sort of like, this is kind of like the cartoon version of character assassination we br you would bring out as like an extreme <laughs> hypothetical 
uh, or just like an example, like in a very broad textbook sense. But now it just it's there. That's what they chose to do. That is what you think when you're really like catastrophizing for what character assassination can be. That's what you got. Well, so <laughs> if you want to go by like there. greatest impact from where they stood previous, like where they stood to where they are now, it could be Luke. Yeah, um, like uh, Luke, there yeah. might be more lost with Luke, given the franchise um, and I all could, the implications um, there. But yeah, yeah. I, could, I could understand choosing Luke then. Yeah. Uh, ba -ba -ba. I recently convinced my cousin to give EFAP a shot. He watched 147 and found it hilarious. Please welcome Colton to the Toxic Brood. Hi, oh, Colton. Hello. Welcome. Hi, hi, um, Coley. I'm gonna call you Coley. What was uh, what was EFAP? One four seven. One four seven would have been like just before an anniversary too. So, what what was what was being said? What was being covered? Let us find out. It was oh Hassan Piker versus JXE with Sitch and Adam. <laughs> yeah, those those are fan favorites. The Hassan coverage ones. <laughs> God, I have a feeling the uh, the Twitch trio that's going to be voted like the favorite arc of this year. The recent year, anyway. The uh, the R relevant Denim's Hassan adventure. Yeah, that was wild. That was so wild. I ranted for about that for like forty five minutes on my own when I was well, yeah, just doing a normal stream. We've been existing over so on YouTube happily, playing by the rules. Meanwhile, these fuckers <laughs> like farming yeah. people for their content. Ugh. Anyway, do do do. What you bring me, She-Hulk, pain. Only pain. I'll be right back. First Super Chat, would all of you do me a solid and call my friend Bo mean names of some kind? I like the idea of sending him an audio clip of it. Alright, I'll go first. Bo, you're a... you're an idiot. You know that? You, you're, you're a stupid... you're a stupid head, Bo. Down with Bo. That was the harshest I could go. Alright. Oh, you have penis breath, and I don't like you very much. Damn. Bringy, what have you got for Bo? Um. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I can bring it. I I don't know if I have it in me to be mean. To just um, you know, I don't know. I'll well, say Who something mean? to Bo. Bo. More like Bo Tai. Oh. Ho -ho. <laughs> Damn, dude. Oh, there See, you go. you took the high road, I would have gone boner. But, you know, I am mm -hmm. I am a less evolved person. <laughs> well, there you go. Roasted. Uh, Nutsa was great. I hope you get her on more, and maybe you'll eventually MCU EFAP to have two female hosts uh, for every one male host. Oh. Well, that'd be neat. More women in EFAP. Hashtag. Hi, beautiful people. EVAP movie suggestion. It's called Dr. Jekyll and Mrs. Hyde. So bad it's good. 95 Sean Young comedy. Check it out. Hi, Rags a Rock. He would have said hi back. I've never heard of that. Dr. Jekyll I and Mrs. Hyde. I think I have, Hyde. actually. Yeah. Hmm. I don't think I've seen it, though. Um... Hey guys, heard you mention Afterlife a while back and decided to give it a watch. I loved it and was wondering what you thought of each season. Um, well, I like the first two and I don't like the third one. I was very happy with the first season. I was like pretty much happy like fully with the, with the second season. There's something that happens in that one that I thought was a good way to go story-wise. Uh, third season felt like it really dragged and he didn't know what he was doing. And he, he just yeah. didn't quite want to end it because it was... That might have been one of the most cost-effective TV shows ever made. It would have been Ricky Gervais, a team that can film about like six locations in a little town where he would have rented out like just a couple of days to be able to do it. He wrote it himself, edited it himself. I imagine that budget would be pretty damn low compared to how much money it would have made. Um, and I think that's why it kept going past what he necessarily intended as an ending. I don't think he knew what his ending was going to be when he first made that. And, no, uh, I don't think so either. Settled for being a little bit ambiguous at the end of the first season. Second season is a progression that could easily have ended the show. And then the third season, it sort of keeps going. And then he does that again at the end. Just like, all right, it's ended this time. I don't know what it was, but 
I thought it was funny as fuck in the first season and kind of the second season, but the third season the jokes got really awkward really fast. It was um, kind of just like you lost interest in making it. Yeah. Um. Hey, did you guys know that Luke in Return of the Jedi was boring? Also, the worst thing about Prey is the criticism. Uh, these are both RLM quotes. Yeah, they say weird stuff. I don't know. Uh, do the Morbius video to expose Matheme people. Oh, the April Fool's one? Um, expose the Matheme people. I think that as soon as they find out I'm the one who... There was people who thought the fucking Rise of Skywalker one was legit. Uh, I can't remember which Reddit thread it was, but there was some people being like... You know, he makes some good points, to be fair, in this one. And what a shock, considering it's, like, the only one he's actually edited properly. And what they're referring to is the fact that it's under an hour. Because that's what editing is. Um, no, it's not. So if I made one like that for Morbius, there probably would be a couple people being like, he makes some good points in here, you know? Um, here's a potential thing of the day. Alright, I'm going to have to keep that for the thing of the day readings. <laughs> Just stop doing things of the day. As soon as more than one person does it, it's just wasting time. We don't need ten Pokemon of the day in one stream. I mean, that's true, but at the same time, you know. What about ten soups of the day? Try to we try to get through everyone's massages, you know? Mm -hmm. um, it's just that, yeah, if everyone sent in Pokemon of the day, we'd probably have to do something. I'm not sure what it would be, though. Or we'd just be like, alright, no more Pokemon of the day. Uh, Transformer, fuck me, of the day. <laughs> Forgot to mention last time, SOT is on Game Pass. SOT? What is SOT? Sea of Thieves? Uh, yeah, it could be. Well, if they're talking Game Pass, probably. Also, fun fact, Witcher 3 is Charles Dance's first video game role, and the Elder Speech is based on Welsh. Hey. That is reason enough for me to play it, I think. Oh boy. You have officially been uninvited to eChat's birthday. Oh, this is regarding me saying we're not friends. Harry. <laughs> Can't non-friends still come to birthdays? You know, as a plus one. I was about to say, yeah. Another thing I appreciate about classic Simpsons is how they handled celebrity cameos. They felt just as vulnerable to jokes as the rest of the town. Um, all I know is that the Lady Gaga episode is considered one of the worst Simpsons episodes ever, right? Yeah. Uh, I hear that, yeah. That's what I, I, I'm almost certain I watched it back in the day, but I've completely forgotten that now, it's wiped. Um, Basically yeah. just, um, 22 minutes of hyping up Lady Gaga and everyone just going Gaga for Lady Gaga, it's very strange. Hmm. But, uh, Classic Simpsons is indeed God tier. Have you tried MPCHC? It's a lightweight alt to VLC. It handles X twenty six five better. I have not. I am. Uh, I have. I'm not updated on the newest things that people should have on their PCs. To be honest, going with VLC for the past like fifteen years or something. It's reliable. But um, yeah, maybe MPCHC is even better. Um. Got another Pokemon one. Thoughts on the fly. Dot other films where Protag ends up villain. Uh, are you asking us for what films have a protagonist that ends up being the villain? I mean, there's not many. No, not many at all. I'm trying to think what even off the top of my head, because uh, maybe this was prompted by talking about Breaking Bad. Might have been. Um, falling down, that's fair, yeah. The Prestige, yeah, I think that's, damn, I didn't even think about that. That's a good choice. <laughs> yeah. The Shining, yeah, that's fair. American Psycho. Oh yeah, Joker. Fucking hell, apparently I, my brain just blanked on this concept. I guess many Tarantino films as well. Man of Steel. <laughs> <laughs> True. Well, there you go. Chat suggested oh, way yeah. more. Revenge of the Sith, of course, yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Death Note. But that's not a movie, but still. She-Hulk. 
<laughs> uh, throws Pokeball, summons FBI agent gun type. Oh no. Morley, you should check out the metal songs in MGR. Um, yeah, that's probably a good shout, actually. Do, do, do. Will you do a full breakdown of Top Gun and Maverick? Probably not. Uh, Fringy's the only one that's seen Maverick. I think I'm the only one that's seen mm -hmm. Top Gun out of the three of us. So it's a little disjointed, and neither of me or Fringy are passionate about either of those. Yeah. I hate how generic ending music of Soul Gone wa was. Oh. Um, I'd have to listen to it again. I'm, I'm not sure I, I soaked that in, per se. Uh, six hour rage video. I can't wait to see it. Also, in topic of reading names of people who super chats, it always amuses me when English speakers try to pronounce my name. Oh, jeez. Um, I think Rags has some familiarity with like Russian, right? So he might be able to pronounce it, but I'll give it a shot. Uh, um, oh my. Raunius Shisk? That's the best I'm not even going to bother attempting that. Um, uh, Raunius Shisk? Yeah, that sounds there pretty we go. close. Yeah. Perfect. Um, unless that wasn't... Oh, because the name of the profile is Bartholomew Musha. Musha, maybe? I'm not sure. I tried, damn it. CW, cancel shows like Batwoman and etc. Uh, Disney MCU, don't worry, we'll take care of all that. Releases She-Hulk and soon Ironheart, aka somewhat a CW Batwoman. Oh, maybe. That could be the... That be fun. Why not? What's Ironheart getting? Is it a TV show? Yeah. Well, fun, fun, fun. Ahoy, Faps. I heard your critiques of Prey and raise you this. A smug gif of someone looking frustrated at you. Bet you feel pretty debunked now, huh? You, you got us. You fucking got us. Well, um, seems to me there's not... We were probably the m most in favor of defending Prey when it came down to uh, the discourse sort of settling on that film. I still feel like we highlighted a lot what was working and what wasn't in... We, we, we talked about it for, what was it, seven hours? Eight hours? Something like that? It was yeah, a long boy. The super chat of the day is this one right here. Nice. I'm pretty behind in the stream, but is Jen seriously not wearing tights with her heels? Does she hate being comfortable? Yes. Uh, I guess so. I don't know. I don't know women's clothing. Why? Why would I? Why shouldn't she just wear Wellingtons? That'd be the. That's the best way for a lawyer to dress, isn't it? She should wear Hulk Crocs. Yeah, Molly was a stage in my life where I had trouble sleeping due to health problems, and your videos were my best bedside friend. Thanks. Oh, that's excellent to hear that I could help <laughs> help with sleeping problems. Um. That's the one thing I regret in my videos if I have like payoffs that are sudden loudish sounds when people have like my voice for sleep aid or whatever. I'm just like, oh, I hope that doesn't fuck it up. Mm. There's a couple of jokes like that in the new video. Underrated non DC and Marvel superhero flick, Mystery Man. Who has seen that? I no, that's don't familiar. think I've ever heard about it. I have. That's a bizarre movie that's pretty fun. I do recommend it, especially with everything that's come out nowadays. Get some fun. Well, I think I'm thinking of Mad Men. No, then I haven't heard this one. Mystery Men is a crazy film. with It's just a bunch of, like, not really superhero superheroes that team up to try and take out a bad guy. It's all very fun and comic booky almost. Dare I say. Today's day of the day is Thursday. Oh, how about that? Uh, for your information, I Am Groot is bad. Bad writing and animation. Oh. Oh, that's a shame. I didn't even know that was out yet. Or did I? Did I know that was out that yet? Wow, seems like you didn't. Apparently, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm trying to keep everything in track. Uh, I noticed something when you were going over the air horn wake-up scene. In one shot of the whole room, you can see the bed Bruce Hulk is sitting on, and there's zero depression. Maybe it's made of steel. The, the real hard bed so that he can it can support his weight. That must be it. 
Uh, if you ever do a charity stream, you should call it Pause for a Cause or Objectivity Without Borders. Ah. Hmm. Pause for a Cause, I can see that. You could even intertwine pause for, 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 like, for like little, you know, animal hands, you know? Them kinds yeah. of pause. Alrighty. I suppose it's time to do the of the days. Oh my. Uh oh. <clears throat> um, what I'll do is find all the Pokedex ones and post them so you can gradually get them going if you want, Mr. Metal. Okay. Um, but we'll start on my end with the animal of the day, which is the Fossa. Foss Fossa? Alrighty, let's have a look at this guy. Oh, he's, he's, he's unique. Uh, a little look -see. Let's take a looky looky. Oh, oh look yeah. at that. Yeah. It's kind of like it couldn't decide between being a dingo and a kangaroo or a monkey, so it shows all three. Yeah. It does feel like the sliders were pushed in different directions from some animals yeah. I recognize. <laughs> it's like, uh, <laughs> I made my own one, Dad. It's like, yeah, he looks pretty cool. Oh, someone said ugly. That's, oh. Hey, mean. Yeah. You that's... wouldn't like it if someone called you ugly. True. Um. What else we got here? <clears throat> Molly, a bug of the day. The Trachylophorus uh, giraffe. Oh. Is it yellow? No, he's red and black. He's, hmm. he's pretty... This guy looks like he's from Spore. <laughs> like, did, oh, look at him and tell me he's <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's a Spore. Uh, yeah. I can see where the giraffe part comes from. Yep. Well, I like him. As long as he's friendly and non-poisonous. It, it really does know. look like someone... It really does look like someone took one of the leg parts and turned it into a neck. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. So someone's got a, a Yu-Gi-Oh card of the day. I guess these are the, the, coming up as well. Um. Alrighty, I've got it. One second. <coughs> Sonic Duck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> A winged beast, a duck which can walk at sonic speed. Sometimes he cannot deal with his incredible pace and loses control. Oh my god. Oh, that's, that's annoying. Hell yeah. It's quite the burden. I like his little bucket helmet, though. Quite the yeah. burden. The burden. B-R... D? Bur burden. Ah, yeah, my, my brain took a second, yeah. but I, I, I'm, I get what you're putting out there. I appreciated it, too. Yeah. There's another Pokedex. Do you, have you got any of them ready, Mr. Metal? I've, I, I have the. I'm basically waiting for you to tell me to go ahead. Those, let's, uh, let's hear one of them, or two, or three. Well, you just post the third one. Let me just get this one out. Pokedex entry. Pokedex. Oh, okay, so we start with a uh, Phantom. Phantom. Uh, I think I've seen that one before. Uh. Let me give you guys a picturino. There you go. Phantom. Doesn't look too bad yet. So let's see. Um, Pokédex entries. So far... Uh, do, 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 do. These Pokémon are created when spirits possess rotten tree stumps. They prefer to live in abandoned forests. Okay. Nice and chill. Uh, according to old tales, these Pokémon are stumps possessed by the spirits of children who died while lost in the forest. Oh, good. Oh, great. Maybe this is one we've read before. Yeah. Unless, this of course, familiar. we've covered so many about children's dead spirits inheriting, you know, like, yeah. it's hard to tell which is new anymore. By imitating the voice of a child that causes people to get hopelessly lost deep in a forest that's trying to make friends with them. Hmm. According right. to a legend, medicine to cure any illness can be made by plucking the green leaves on its head, brewing them, and boiling down the liquid. Oh. Damn. Well, that's one of them. Then we got Bonnet, a marionette Pokemon. That's this fella. 
He has one really long teeth. Tooth. That's one <laughs> yeah, tooth. that is one long tooth. <laughs> Let's see. Bennett generates energy for laying strong curses by sticking pins into its own body. Oh, jeez. This Pokemon was originally a pit... A pitiful plush doll that was thrown away. Okay. I mean, it doesn't sound too bad. Oh, wait, there's Where's something the with children ball? again. An abandoned plush go. doll became this Pokemon. They're said to live in garbage dumps and wander about in search of the children that threw them away. Oh. Uh, if it opens its mouth, its cursed energy escapes. Okay. Um, that's quite a lot of Pokedex entries. Oh, that isn't a tooth. That's a zip. Ah. Uh. That's weird. Yeah, because that's a zipper mouth, I think. So, like, if you... Because if it opens its mouth, if it unleashes the energy, so that it's zipped up. So, I guess if it unzips the mouth, that would be where the energy would come out. My presumption. <laughs> that one looks kind of funny. This one is called... Oh, no, I don't want to save that to my... I'm just going to copy it. There we go. Uh, this one is called Drampa. Drampa. Whatever that one I'm pretty sure we have done. This looks familiar, right? Looks like a dragon grandpa, which I guess... You know, oh, yeah, we did we him. did that one. I remember that one. It has a compassionate personality, but if it's in, uh, angered, it completely destroys its surroundings when it's intense... With in, its intense breath. That's sort of... Tss. Yeah, we, we did that one. For shizzle. It's like me, first thing in the morning. Okay. Um, so, here's a potential thing of the day. Obscure comic book villains. First up, onomatopoeia... A DC serial killer who speaks in sound effects. Bang, bang. Oh, I know him. Interesting. Is he fun? Is he good? Well, I haven't read any stories, but I know of him. I've, I've seen quite... I've seen him around. Um, it seem, it seem, seems like a fun concept. Um, got like a... Got a good picture up. Transformer of the day, Tripodeca, he transforms into a tripod. Not much else for his Transformers wiki entry. He did die, though, sadly. Oh. Transformer that's a tripod, and he died. I suppose you could say he died as he lived. Die pod. Nice. Yeah. Oh, here's Onomatopoeia Man eating. Guess what sound he makes? Chomp. Close. Splunk. <laughs> Blork. <laughs> Bloosh. Tata. Brunch. Okay. What's more reasonable? Yeah. Well, alrighty. Uh. Okay. This one says, uh, look up the Gen 8 fossil Pokemon, no dex, just look. Gen 8 fossil Pokemon? These guys? What the fuck is this? I don't know if this is accurate or not, but I'm assuming this might be what you wanted me to say. These are not what I would call impressive. Uh huh. That's the result I got. I don't know if this is real. These look like randomized. Like, it looks like <laughs> if you were to fucking procedurally... These are like the random creatures you would see in Spore, like, if we're going back to that one. Yeah, these these are, uh... These are terrible. I, I would rather not see them again. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, Once I got those three you posted earlier... Do it. We want... So we got... Durand. It's an iron ant Pokemon. Uh huh. If you, if you couldn't tell. There it is. Let's see here. They attack in groups, covering themselves in steel armor to protect themselves from heat more. Oh, wait, that's the other Pokemon that was mentioned. Okay. Uh, Durand dig nests in mountains. They build their complicated interconnected tunnels in mazes. Uh, they attack in groups. Blah, blah, blah. It's the same. So I guess that's this one. Uh, Where are the dead children? Well, it was supposed to be a combination of Heatmore and Dur Durand. Which, uh, well, I guess this one looks like an anteater, so I guess that makes sense. Uh, let's see. Uh, it breathes through a hole in its tail while it burns its 
with an internal fire, Durand is its prey. Huh. Using their very hot flame-covered tongues, they burn through Durand's steel bodies and consume their insides. Oh no. Neat. It's poor ants. Uh, yeah, I think that's that's those two. And then we got Buzzwole or Buzzwole. That one looks powerful. It's like a ras wrestling Pokemon. Oh wow! Let's see here. It's like Larry the Lobster got an upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> this Ultra Beast appeared from another world. Of course it did. It shows off its body, but whether the display is a boast or a threat remains unclear. Oh, that's bad. A mysterious life form called an Ultra Beast. Witnesses saw it pulverize a dump truck with a single punch. Hmm. Whoa. Although it's alien to this world and a danger here, it's apparently a common organism in the world where it normally lives. Okay. Well, there you go. Right. Um, and we got a Digimon. Digimon. Oh wait, you have the Digimons as well? Okay. Eidramon. I I think it was going to be <laughs> something from the sea. Is the I wonder if they just want us to judge its design. What do you think? It sounds like guys? it has a filthy name though. Seed. Oh, you already Dramon. got it. Oh. I mean, it looks well, better than a lot of the other Digimon I've seen. I don't even, like know what the premise of Digimon is. Like, what is it supposed to be? A combination of something and something, or I, uh, like a I, I digital think world digital they monsters. get dragged in or something? Yeah, nothing about this screams digital to me. You know, I guess. Well, it's like they're all the in a thing, game yeah. or something. I'm not sure because I just don't know much about Digimon at all. Pokemon is, and I guess I uh, maybe this will be a stupid statement, but I wonder if there's like a reason why Pokemon was the one that stuck around while Digimon... Because Digimon was big in the 90s, right? But then it kind of just oh, yeah. um, died down a bit. Well, I, I think a the, lot of that is... A, oh, sorry. I the, oh, I had the OST for Digimon, the German one. Oh, boy. Yeah. Maybe it's the games. How many Digimon games are there compared to Pokemon? Well, there Digimon's mainly known for, like, um, the, those virtual pet things, right? Yeah, like, like I, th the... I thought so, right? It was, like, before Tamagotchi, or maybe it was around the same time. Yeah, no, I think, cause I think yeah, because I think with um, because Pokemon, you gotta remember, has the full backing of Nintendo behind it, while Digimon was like coming up, um, uh, with a I think it says it's created by Bandai and Wiz, so probably not right. um got the same backing. All righty, um, boop. Digimon, Challenge for Fringy and or Mauler. Sing as much of the Stonecutter song as you can from memory. Alternative, whichever no, Simpsons song you know best. I ain't singing a Simpsons song. I don't think I can, uh, no. I know individual lines, but I can't do it all in a row. And the most I don't know it at all. Yeah, is like that candidly. I'm, I don't know. <laughs> like way too long to go through the actual thing. And we'll probably like keep skipping over random lines and it'll be a whole mess. But, uh, hey. The thought that counts. We do. Meme did a little yeah. singing on, on the forge yesterday. That was fun. Ew. Yeah. Alien movies ranked worst to best, including AVP. The worst. That's going to be pretty easy for me. I'm just going to say Covenant, Prometheus, Resurrection, 3. No, wait. AVP 2, AVP 1. Then three, then two, then one. No, but three, then one, then two. That's three, yeah. Two, right. Um, that's because I was about to say that's basically my order. The complications would be whether or not Alien Resurrection or AVP or AVP two. Like I, I'd have to rewatch them, but that would be my quick like assumption y sort of thing. Fucking hate Covenant. It's awful. <laughs> Prometheus is right behind it. Like absolute stinkers. Um, the only reason that they're going to be above. Uh, for most people, compared to like Resurrection and AVP, is because of the fact that they look much better. Um, when I guarantee you, the storyline is much more coherent in AVP than it is in Prometheus. Remember, just like so, the part where she gets infected, she removes it with the science machine. That she just walks outside, and Wayland's like, "Oh, hey, we're going on an adventure," <laughs> like or whatever. The fucking movie's so weird. 
So, so how does it feel that the Predator might have almost been a candidate for that list because Ellen Ripley was supposed to appear at the end somehow, despite it taking place in present day? Yeah, she uh, and Arnie <laughs> were a couple of like options, weren't they? Yeah, oh, that would have been great. Yeah. Uh, Mystery Man is the orig origin of the song All Star. I I'm aware of that. Yeah, I remember finding that out. When that song starts playing that movie, it's fucking bizarre. It's like, hey, this is Shrek's song. <laughs> like, what are you <laughs> doing? Uh, did you read my super chat to Rags of this stream? I've got it. I'll hang on to it for the next time Rags is here. Probably read it to him on Wednesday. 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 The Gen 8 fossil Pokemon are literally two halves of different Pokemon combined together. It's fucked up. Yeah. That sounds very gleamy indeed. Stargate SG-1 Weapon of the Day, Zat-Nick-Tel. That's is... a little zappy one, the rounded one. Um, I don't I... know how to type that word, otherwise I would check myself. <laughs> well, I'll post you it. Kind of looks like the Pokemon we just had in shape. Oh, that's exactly the one I thought of. Damn, I'm good. That looks funny. Pretty sure it's it a gold look... weapon. Uh... Like, kind of, it, it, when you use it, it goes up a little bit, like it's like extends up, and then it goes like, Pew! and that's like a little zappitism. I see. Looks like an alien vibrator. Yeah. Uh, God damn it. <laughs> put the horn away, <laughs> meme. Just put it away. And with it that. It can never be. Re what can be. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll shut up now. I can't speak again. <laughs> we are caught up with the super chats. Woo! Yay! Um, yeah. Before I do anything else, Meme and Metal, do you want to tell oh. everybody what you're up to these days, where your fleems are being found and wetted? Dude, I have my fleems everywhere. There's just fleems and schleams everywhere. No, uh, yesterday we did the forge, Meme and I. Uh, yeah. Over the Star Trek original series pilots, uh, three of them. The unaired one, the one that was first produced, and then the one who was actually the first episode that came out. And conclusion was that the, the episode that actually came out was probably the best, the best one not to do on that thing. I don't know why I said it that weirdly. It's the one they shouldn't have taken as the pilot because it was the weakest one of the bunch. There you go. Mm -hmm. It got there eventually. Yep. At the uh, least amount to say, it was just a monster story. Yeah. Go, go check them forges out. They're always good fun. For sure, I did. I did an extra forge today, a, a, a short forge or or a micro forge, if you will, where I was doing a little ramble about She Hulk. Just released that just an hour before we went live, because I'm crazy. Because you something. hate women, just be honest, jeez. I specifically the green ones. Wow. They give me the heebie-jeebies. The Herbert gibbets. The Herbert gerbets. Oh, yeah. yes, it is worth mentioning that was a five and a half hour yeah, long forge. Yeah, that was the, the longest forge to date. Again, broken when Meme was around, because Meme just keeps pushing the limits of what the forge is. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Uh, That's, uh, I don't even know how, really. Um, I don't even know what, what I do specifically to, to push oh, the length. I can tell you exactly. You a million <laughs> times more knowledge of those things above... Uh, what we talk about, so you just nerd oh, out okay. all the time. Yeah, that's what I do. It's like context I don't have. So you just go like, in this comic, that happens. And then you go like, <laughs> actually, that's not true. They used another <laughs> word here. <laughs> well, I did do the quantum physics lecture during the Crisis on Two Earths one, didn't you I? You did. That was, that was fun. The, yeah. the ones with meme around, they're always the craziest ones. They're, they're, they're good stuff. They're good, good rad. Good rad for sure. Meme even did a little sing song no. of the, uh, the, the the lyrics for the original Star Wars uh, theme song or intro song rather. That was yeah, Star that Trek. Was, yeah, that was good stuff. But yeah, those are fun. Yeah. Go check them's out. Wait. Otherwise, I'm I'll just do strumbles on the Twitch even there. Much less than before because I do other things like preparing those forges. And the last couple of things I needed to watch multiple episodes of things, so I couldn't stream that much. But maybe it's getting, it's, it's just getting more. Next month is going to be busy with everything. The sludge pipe is in full, full sludge mode. And there's a lot of, to, lots to watch, lots to cover. And it's oh, going to yeah. be painful. Yeah, because I'm, I'm, I, I decided to, to cover all of Rings of Power. 
uh, week by week for the Forges. So if you don't want to watch that show and want to see the coverage of that, I'll, I'll get you covered. I'll, I'll do the pain part. You watch the thing. There you go. Uh, how about you, me? Ah, so I've uh, so the last few weeks have been taken up by the uh, uh, the multiverse of very madnesses across the fucking uh, retardation verse. Um, so that'll be that'll be out on, uh, of course, the Mutually channel there, and so you'll get to see many funny a meme there. But as far as my own stuff, um, once I've gotten some rest, I'm thinking the very next thing I'm going to do is record this script I wrote just before I started the uh, multiverse of Manda thing. And I'm going to force myself to get through it and to get that together, whether whether or not that video, uh, we'll see how that video turns out, but I am determined to get a video out. That is my commitment to you, chat. I will get a video out. Imagine I am campaigning right now on my <laughs> pedestal. You will get a video. It will be a video. Whoa. Cheer. Whoosh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, me, me, me. yeah the, oh, no, a me. dragon. No, yeah, no. Oh, oh fuck. Uh, <laughs> Why meme lying so hard though? Oh, you know, it's, right. it's my personality. Um, <laughs> got them lanks, the old descriptione. Um, oh, we got an extra couple that have come in. I'll just read them quick. EFAP movies vanquish when it's got to happen. What's vanquish? Vanquish is a video game for me. I know it is a video game, but I'm assuming this is a movie <laughs> since it said EFAP movies. I know, it just said it's a movie. Oh, it's, oh, it's the movie with Ruby Rose in it. Okay, dun, yeah, dun, that, dun, that could dun, happen dun, 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 at some point, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. This one just says, call me Millie. All right, <laughs> Millie. Okay, Millie. Yeah. What's up, Millie? Oh my, you caught me doing an eat. Here's a chat. Why, thank you. <laughs> you are no longer caught up. Mwahahahaha. That's just rude. Bastard. So, oh, how did the Skull on Wheels thing begin? That's a great question. I'm pretty sure it's just because the icon originally was the gas mask, but in like a template-y form. So it kind of looked like a skull with wheels. I think that was it. You can go back to the earliest EFAP episodes. That's where it originates. I'm pretty sure people call me Skull on Wheels for a while. But Longman kind of just won out, you know. Uh, long, long. Skull on Wheels is cool. But it ain't that cool. Now, um... Ringy, are you there, by the way? Good sir. Is he coughing? Maybe he's coughing. I'm oh. not coughing. Our Star go Trek on. will go on forever. Nice. Ah. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> Those um, lyrics are fucking hilarious. <laughs> now, as you guys know, my video, it's in proofing mode now, which means I have to spend my whole day's like watching through it all, finding one mistake, re-rendering and watching through it all again. Like, that's, that's funny, I'll, I will be able to have like two videos per day, like rent, so I gotta be very specific with the... And then, who am I gonna find to wanna proof this thing? Once it reaches like the ability to be watched online. I'm hoping copyright doesn't fuck me over as well, I've still got some tests to do. Ooh. But I've got, what, five days? Oh, five days, yeah. So, you know, got the thing cut out for me. Um. As you know, a day after that will be the anniversary EFAP stream, of which we will likely cover many a video, have many a guest, do all kinds of thingamajims and jumbles and jooms. Um, but we've also set something up to, to release. Now, last time we did this, people, people quite liked it, so we thought we'd do it again, but maybe switch up the designs. So, uh, I guess I'll show my one first. But, uh, it is indeed true. You you may have heard rumors. I don't even know. Uh, maybe, maybe not. But myself and Fringled and Rags are doing a round two of those little lunchos you may or may not be aware of. As you can see, this is the new me. Um, I would put up the vision of the old one in case you guys don't remember what it looks like. But this guy's a little different. Got a little little mischievous look to him. He's even got something detachable. And those, uh, those tentacles, they're moving in different ways. Uh, so, Hello. there there he is, a different angle. Uh, I got me some cookies, because, man, do I, do I like them. So this launch, I believe, midnight 
on Thursday. So Friday they will become available, and then Saturday we'll, we'll inform you guys as to what in the world is going on with them. Um, oh, we got a link to the old Mola plushie in, in, in chat. Well, hopefully we'll get a new link by then, and uh, they'll be up and running for about, I think, 20... 21 days, I think is how it works, but, uh, uh Fringy, do you happen to have a... Happen to Indeed, have a... I do. Well, I'll show the general it's... public what yours looks like. This, everyone. Oh. It's Fringy as a plushie, look at him go! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look at that goo! Isn't it Look worth it. buying it just for the goo? Just for the goo, really. You buy <laughs> just... goo with a plush fringy attached. Um, and uh, so there's there's a snag of sorts, I suppose you may say, that um, minor fringies are ready. Uh, Rags's one is a little more, a little different, a little more complex, a little more special. But his isn't coming out quite the same time. They call it a staggered release. So the idea will be that you can grab the combo of me and Fringy, and you'll get a little discount. And then when Rags's comes along soon after, there'll be a unique code given out on EFAP to get yourself a discount on his. And that is essentially how we're going to try and run this good old second generation of, uh, of, of EFAP plushies. I believe... Um, you know, ju judging from how interested or how happy you guys are with these things, you got some... Got some raging in chat of give it to me. You know, that seems healthy. It's fine. We will say this is uh, allegedly 100% genuine goo, but you can't access it, right? You've got some, some magic going on there that it's kind um, of... Well, I mean, I guess in terms of accessing the properties of the goo in, in a plush form, there might be some complications, but I mean, it's there in spirit. I would say so. So, like I said, uh, these are not available for another like week. We'll we'll About let you guys know exactly how it's all gonna work, but uh, obviously we're we're quite happy with these designs. We think they're pretty neat. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty pretty nifty. They are, uh, they are fun. Sure. And of course, they if do you look uh, good. Yeah, for as long as you guys are interested in them, uh, we'll we'll keep uh, sorting them out for you, change them up here and there. Um, does Rags's version two come with snow? I'm not actually a hundred percent sure of what his will come with, but uh, I'm looking forward to seeing his. His is progressing well. It looks very interesting. Um, it's a little different. Uh, it'll be it'll be a little different surprise for them at uh, Old Makeship. Um, but yeah, I think this will be nice and neat. Like I said, available Likewise. in about a week's time. So got that to look forward to. Woo! Got a fucking six hour video to look forward to. You got your anniversary stream to look forward yeah. to. And that's, I think that's about actually it. Um, other than catching up on. Driving. Wait, EFAP movies on the Suicide Squad. I've waited too long. Eventually. Eventually. I, it's my fault. I've been delaying meme by asking for help with some other stuff. All right. <laughs> give him, give him, give him time. Uh, Let me things breathe. come to those who wait. Uh, meme, who made your PFP? It looks awesome. I think this was Odin. Um, I'm pretty sure. That does look um, like Odin. Mm. Shizzle. Yeah. Yeah, I think the, the larger image is me holding, like, a crystal ball that has, like, a Gartic phone image in it. Um, that's pretty funny. Uh, what is the color scheme for EFAP 200? 100 was purple, 50 was gold, 200 is. It is, like, a... Well, is this? A, I don't even know if this is a spoiler. Why would it be a spoiler? I'm sure it's fine. It is. Yeah. It is uh, like a, a dare I say a frosty space sort of theme. So like it's like a bluish, whitish sort of we're going for. Um, we will eventually run out of colors, and we're just gonna have to go back. You know, eventually. I don't think we'll run out of colors. There's like a billion colors. There's like three left. Yeah. You know, we used a lot of colors like already. To, you could start doing rainbow like stripes and stuff. Or different shades of the colors that are already, you know, there. Instead of red, you can have a pinker one. Or like burgundy. You know what? You can do infrared or right. ultraviolet. Just have it be not visible at all. Yeah, we shall I'm invent brilliant. more colors, damn you. Invisible <laughs> Personally invent more colors because we're running out. Just sew them into the fabric of existence. Um... 
Mola, why did you say you'll plush cookies instead of biscuits? Because it's, it's, uh, it's cookie crisp. It's the... Well, we have cookies in Britain. What do you mean? Yeah. yeah that's... No, you only have biscuits. We have, like, yeah. To be fair, I think, as far as I'm... I don't want to open up a huge fucking conversation here, but I thought biscuits were, like, the umbrella term and cookie was a type. Uh, cookie I... No idea. Well, either way... I've heard is... people make arguments about it. When um, I see, it's apparently very contentious. When I see the chocolate chip types, I'm always like, those are cookies. But if I see, like, a digestive biscuit, I'd probably call it a biscuit, not a cookie. A cookie circular? Is that, like, a fundamental aspect of a cookie? That it's if a I circular? saw a square one that had the it had chocolate chips, <laughs> I'd probably call that a cookie still. Uh, I guess it's just that you don't often associate, whereas biscuits are often, you know, different shapes, rectangular. Often rectangular, yeah. Um, oh, they're yeah. right about the next one. It said, why do you say X, Y, and Z instead of X, Y, Z? Um, I've got Americanization in my languages, I guess. Yeah. yeah, that's not something I did on purpose. Um, does it cause you discomfort? I... No, I, I find the way I speak comfortable. <laughs> I guess I wouldn't do sure it otherwise. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? But if I play Cookie Clicker, how do I get those three months of my life back? Don't. Mm -hmm. It was a trick. That's true. I only oh. play Biscuit Clicker. Oh. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> All Star is a Digimon song. Look up the movie. Yep, that that's true. It did appear in the Digimon movie. It's kind of funny, <laughs> right at Man, the end. All Star ends up in all these incredible films. That's just, it, I mean, that was its fate, I guess. Only the greatest movies of all time would ever pick it. It's pretty neat. Yeah, oh, the Digimon movie is so fucking weird because it, it is three separate Digimon movies that they just. Cut to pieces and and glued together, and then put a narration over it to act as if it's one story. It's it, strange. Is it stranger than Doctor Strange's movie though? Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Probably not. Will EFAP three hundred be the musical episode of EFAP? Every show has one. <laughs> no. <laughs> just 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 no. Uh. And with that, is there anything else any of you folks would like to say? No, yeah. I have said nah. enough. We've already the plush, the the news. That's that's enough to fill my heart with contentment and joy. Usually, for the crime of not nah. liking Green Woman, I sentence you and the crew of EFAP movies, Cat in the Hat. Jokes on you. That movie's amazing. We'll have infinite things to discuss. EFAP movies, the Digimon movie. Maybe we need to we need to really stop back up on EFAP movies. We'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Alrighty. End of it. With that, thank you all very much for hanging out with us, for, uh, for the kind messages, the kind donations, and the kind insights here and there, back and forth. We shall see you next time on Wednesday, right? Then, the fateful anniversary. Although, if we don't turn up on Wednesday, it's because too many things got in the way. So, quite possible. Yeah, which Especially is possible. Because I've got real BBC on Tuesday, and then I got Open Bar on that Thursday as well, and then I've it's it's gonna be a bit of a week for me. Uh, mm -hmm. Fuck! I yeah. really like if this video manages to go out without a hitch, it'll be a miracle. But uh, <laughs> oh my god, what a difficult miracle! Um, but yeah. alrighty, thank you all so much for watching. You sleep well now. Good night, everyone. Okay. Bye bye. See Goodbye. Raw dog here, Tonton. No.